Okay guys, so we, we are going to start with the new chapter which name is standard costing. Now let us understand one by one. Sir, the first question arises, what is the meaning of costing then what is the meaning of standard? So uh, as of now, I, I think we can say that what is the meaning of costing? Costing is nothing but sir calculation of cost. Costing is nothing but sir calculation of cost. So please write down calculation of cost. Now sir calculation of which cost is it process is it marginal no it is a standard cost so guys we need to calculate the standard cost now the question arises what is the meaning of standard anyone what is the meaning of standard bolo sir so, standard means this acha no comments bolo hello so standard basically means like a particular benchmark or something. Exactly. Can I say it is a target or benchmark? Exactly. So benchmark you can say. Chalo, exactly. So we can say benchmark. Benchmark. When standard is kept. Or we can say a target. Now that we want to achieve. Karke, which is made on the first. It is budget. Karke. That is also you can say. So we need to calculate benchmark cost, target cost or you can say that budget cost. In simplified language, I can tell you in, in, in layman language, I can say that. Let us say that you guys are appearing for a CA inter. You guys are appearing for CA inter examination. Now, ne, they have kept a standard that if you get 60%, vaisa to CMA, if you, even if you pass, that is quite okay. Let us say you are appearing for 10th examination. So, papa and mommy will say, if you get 80% then we will give you this reward karke. you will get phone or maybe you will get what not karke. whatever gaming chair or whatever you want karke. you must be or bike or whatever so now I can say that so family has given or your mom and dad has given one target that is known as standard which is known as benchmark or a target whatever you sorry yardstick one benchmark is given that you will have to achieve this now what you will try in entire year you have just this thing in your mind if I achieve this I will get this reward so you will try your level best to achieve this target exactly that is what is going to happen in big organizations we give targets to the managers that you need to achieve this target and if you achieve this target we will reward you okay so now first of all let us state the stand let us make the standards though standard costing is nothing but to calculate the target or a benchmark cost okay how to do that to understand for that matter let's take one example and we will understand with the help of example so sir on very first day you will make a target so let us say first day of the business this is first day of the business and this is last day of the business what will you do on the first day you will make a target that is you will set standard that I want to achieve this standard uh, that is you can say that you will calculate you will make standard cost sheet standard cost sheet that you want to achieve this much profit during this year and uh, last day of the year or month whatever you will get actual cost sheet you must have estimated that I want to achieve this much profit I want to achieve my sales will be this much my cost will be this much this will be my profit that profit is known as that profit is known as standard profit or you can say budgeted profit standard profit this is something which you expected like they give you that you need to get 80% target but sir is it necessary that if the target is 80% you will get 80% only no you can get more than 80% also or you can get less than 80% also so the actual profit will be here which you will get after examination you will get actual marks now there can be a variation is it necessary that it will tally no 99% cases it won't tally we are not Bhagwan. we are not God so yeah it won't tally there will be a difference in most of the cases so I can say that whatever target you kept for your manager that we need to achieve this much profit and this happens in organizations so the target is given that let us achieve this benchmark this year karke. this is the target and then you earn actual profit then you come to know there is a difference in the profit but we never say net profit difference we say net profit but that difference term is known as variance variance is nothing but difference vary it means differ on so that is variance difference variance is nothing but difference so there is a difference in net profit and so I would like to know why there is a difference in net profit 
why there is a difference in net profit so i will divide this into two parts the difference in net profit will be divided into two parts it is like this you kept a target you should get 400 marks in your examination let us say but you got 350 marks so now you want to know why there is a difference in this 50 marks why i have got this 50 marks which are on like it is a reduction in marks i want to know the reason is it because of group one or is it because of group two and if it is because of group one it is because of its subject paper one paper two paper three paper four if the major reason is paper two so next time I will focus upon this paper because I have flunked if I pass that, that is okay but 400 is passing so I will say that I have got 350 marks only so now because of which subject I did not pass so let us say I came to know paper number two so when I prepare next time I will give more importance to this subject sir no matter what happens I want to clear this subject okay same way there is a difference in net profit the net profit can differ because of two reasons can anybody tell me the difference can be because of two reasons first will be cost variance the cost must have changed that is the debit side of trading PL account you must have estimated some cost but that cost has changed drastically so that can be the one reason or another reason can be your sales must have changed that is sales variance Achha. sir if there is a change in cost you would like to know in detail because of which cost element there is a cost variance so you need to divide this cost into few parts first will be material variances the first will be material variances then there will be labor variances then there is a, a variable a overhead then there is variable overhead variances we can say and fix overhead variances okay so whatever overheads are there that we will divide into few parts so i would like to know because of material what is the difference that i have incurred and because of labor what is the difference karke. so this is what all about you are going to evaluate because of material why there is a difference what is the difference in cost if cost differs even your net profit will differ if there is increase in cost profit will reduce karke, okay so now as a manager as a owner or let us say you are interested in knowing the reason who is responsible because the standard costing is also known as responsibility accounting you are making someone responsible Ek second Zara. so this standard costing is also known as responsibility accounting let's write uh, so it is responsibility accounting chalo theek hai so it is responsibility accounting standard is like a target or a responsibility is given okay sir we will first start with this first we will start with this and then we will move to another variant other variances as of now my starting will be material variances so you can give the heading as material variances now we are starting with material then we will start with the labor then we will start with variable overhead fix overhead ek ek karke okay so i hope this much is written now i can switch to the next page if anybody wants to write down something i will wait this is what we have written can i proceed to the next page hello yeah wait 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 okay i will write i will wait okay Once done, uh, let me know. I will proceed. Okay. Okay, done. Chalo. Next part. Now, next part. Now, sir, we are focusing on which variances? Material variances. So, sir, let us give heading as material variances. So, here. I will give the heading as material variances.
चलो आई विल फ्रेम वन एग्जाम्पल यू नीड टू राइट डाउन दैट एग्जाम्पल विथ मी एंड देन आई विल गिव यू आइडिया बट प्लीज जस्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट आई विल हैव टू गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल सो जस्ट राइट वन एग्जाम्पल विथ मी देन वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द थिंग्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ एग्जाम्पल अच्छा तो लेट्स राइट यहाँ पे फर्स्ट यू विल राइट स्टैंडर्ड डेटा ओके वन पेन दैट इज फिनिश गुड रिक्वायर्स प्लीज राइट डाउन रिक्वायर्स थ्री के जी ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल सो वी आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग पेन एंड ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे वी एस्टिमेटेड दैट इफ आई मैन्युफैक्चर लेट से वन पेन हालांकि इट वोट रिक्वायर थ्री के जीज और यू कैन से दिस इज अ प्लास्टिक चेयर फॉर दैट फॉर द सेक ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई एम सींग पेन तो वन पेन और वन चेयर रिक्वायर्स थ्री के जीज ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल यस सर टू बी परचेज एट वॉट प्राइज इट विल बी परचेज टू बी परचेज एट रुपीज टू पर के जी ओके सो दैट वॉज द टारगेट ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे आई टोल्ड माई मैनेजर अच्छा टेल मी दिस टारगेट विल बी गिवन टू विच मैनेजर that one pen should take 3 kg of raw metal can you just uh, name the designation production exactly that will be given to the production manager so or when you produce one pen you should take 3 kg okay that is a target acha and this raw material will be purchased from the supplier so i told my which manager to purchase at rupees 2 from the supplier this time purchase manager exactly so i gave targets to two managers sir purchase manager and production manager now this was something which was standard which was given sir what has happened actual data at the year end that is on the last date you came to know that we have produced how many kgs to so actual production that is output is equal to actual production production is always of uh, output output or finished goods it is output or you can say finished goods is equal to 5 pens so we have produced a uh, five pens which is my finished goods and to produce this i must have consumed some raw material so material consumed is equal to 18 kg and this 18 kg were purchased from the market at what price that is actual price actual price it was purchased at the price of rupees 2.5 per kg and now calculate material variances calculate material variances okay so this is example guys this is example now let us start understanding let us start understanding this example uh, with the solution here we go solution okay that is okay even if you do not write you can write the solution uh, maybe later on this table first i will fill up then you will write okay a few things a uh, few uh, things which i am going to use as a shortcut so i will give you that idea as a abbreviation that yeah it can be used as a shortcut like in as in there are few things which i will use sq sp and ss sc so sq is nothing but standard quantity when i say uh, this is nothing but standard price and this is known as standard cost okay let us understand with the help of example same goes for aq wagera all karke now let me make one uh, table you just do not write you just understand as to what is happening and then uh, you write okay as of now you just focus as to what is happening okay chalo 1 2 3 4 lines then again so table will be prepared like this
अच्छा दिस इज स्टैंडर्ड एंड हियर इट इज एक्चुअल अच्छा और दिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बजट दैट द बजट विच वॉज मेड ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे बजट विद सी दिस एज अ बजट ऑल्सो और स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज ओके जनरली इंस्टीट्यूट सेज दिस एज अ बजट देन हियर इट इज अ क्वान्टिटी प्राइस कॉस्ट क्वान्टिटी प्राइस कॉस्ट चलो लेट इज स्टार्ट विद दिस लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू थिंग्स नाउ आई एम सींग दैट वॉट वॉज द टारगेट विच वॉज मेड ऑन फर्स्ट डे स्टैंडर्ड और बजेटेड डेटा आई कैन से टू मैन्युफैक्चर वन पेन तो आई विल राइट वन पेन ओवर हियर If one pen is manufactured, I told my manager you need to use थ्री kg of raw material. That is the standard. This target must be given to which manager? Production manager. That you need to use this many. So that target was given to the production manager. Okay. Then this थ्री kg should be purchased at the rate of rupees टू So I can say this rate वाला well, target must be given to the purchase manager. Yes, sir. Now if you just calculate, the answer will be सिक्स so can i say that on very first day what is my standard material cost to produce a product i know that if a pen is manufactured my target is i will incur 6 rupees that is what i have estimated a budget add karke chalo theek hai now i will see the actual data what has actually happened sir actually my production manager has produced how many kgs they have produced 5 pens sorry 5 pens so i will write over here which is output these are five pens and so to produce this five pens my production manager has used 18 kg of quantity and sir so every kg was purchased at the rate of rupees 2.5 to so my i have incurred 20 or uh, 45 rupees can you see this just tell me yes or no can you see this i was supposed to incur 6 and i have incurred 45 are baap re i have incurred a loss of 39 is it right or it is wrong Exactly. Can you tell me why it is wrong? What is the reason? Uh, Because budget is one pen, and actually is five pens. So we need to compare it with one pen per day. Ah, uh -huh. or I can say if the actual is five, you need to compare with actual five. Kele, what should be your cost? And for five, what you have done? Karke, we can say that way. So what I will say, I hope you understand. You will have to. These two things are not not in comparable format. So you need to make this budget now in a comparable format. So you will make this in a comparable format. Now you will make a standard which will be compared. Or this is also known as comparable standard. This standard you will write. You will say five pence we have produced. This is actual. This is actual production. this is actual production so what is being said is if five pens are produced so tell me if i tell my manager that one pen you should use 3 kg of raw material so if you produce five pens how many kg i can allow you can use this many kg bolo anyone 15 kg 15 kg exactly so 15 kg you can use can i say like this for one pen when you per when you when we produce one pen you need to purchase raw material at the rate of 2 because five pens are produced now you need to purchase from the supplier at 10 rupees nahi baba it is per kg this is per kg don't get confused purchase manager will have to purchase at 2 rupees only sir because that is per kg sir so that will be to end this will become 30 baba don't uh, please don't understand that that uh, If for one pen you are thinking your cost should be six rupees, so if five pens are produced, what is the cost that you can allow? You can say that cost should be thirty. Then for one pen, if I say my standard cost is six, so if five pens are produced, you should not incur more than thirty. Anyone else? Anyone has any doubt as to sir why it is as same? Or you understand this? Hello. so that is the rate per kg right right so no matter how many units are produced that is a, see just because we have produced more units you won't tell your purchase manager na, now don't purchase for 2 rupees per kg go for 10 rupees per kg no now that that is 2 rupees per kg that will remain same now that 
okay fair enough now can you tell me what is the difference in cost what is the cost variance can i say that i was supposed to incur 30 rupees and i have incurred 45 rupees in my organization with reference to material it means i have incurred 15 rupees extra so this variance will be in favor of the business or it is adverse it is adverse variance because company has incurred more karke so variance can be two of two types it can be adverse or it can be favorable it means sir here i can say that whatever is your variance that can be either adverse or we can say favorable so uh, for adverse we will always use a for favorable we will use f karke that is something which institute also uses so we can do that a or f that is something we will write so now the first and foremost variance which i can say the first variance is material cost variance the first variance is material cost variance acha sir when you say material cost variance what is going to be the formula that is going to be standard cost minus actual cost so where for this 5 pens i was supposed to incur 30 i was incur 45 so 5 rupees 15 rupees extra i have incurred that is 15 adverse acha now i have i have incurred 15 rupees extra i would like to know the reason who has because of whom i have suffered this loss either it can be purchase manager or sir it can be production manager yes sir so first first what i have done i have taken this difference guys first i have taken this difference which is 30 minus 45 now i will go ahead and i will take i will just talk with my purchase manager first chalo the, then i will talk with my production manager sir purchase manager then which variance will calculate you will calculate material price variance you will calculate material price variance sir let us understand how to calculate price variance i can say that chalo can you tell me that purchase manager now you are communicating with purchase manager so because of your purchase manager that what is the loss we have suffered purchase manager instead of 2 rupees i hope you understand we gave him a target you should purchase for rupees 2 and he has purchased for rupees 2.5 so because of him we have incurred a 50 paise ka loss instead of 2 2.5 can you tell me is this the only loss or need to multiply this with something or multiply with something then what multiply the number of them num uh, you have options 3 15 or 18 bolo Eighteen. Eighteen. Because what I the the way I will communicate with my manager is like this. Look, I give you a target that is standard price. You should purchase at this price. You have purchased at what price? That is your actual price. And you have purchased how many units? That is how I will say at actual quantity. So I will say you should have purchased this for two. You made a purchase at rupees two point five. So because of you, I have incurred fifty paise ka loss. And sir, you have purchased how many kgs from the supplier? Whatever is used in the factory. So we have used eighteen kgs. That must that is something we must have purchased. So we have purchased eighteen kgs. So because of you, I have incurred nine rupees ka loss. That is nine adverse. Okay. Now I would like to know because of my production manager what is the loss that I have incurred. So production manager, see first I calculated this variance difference, then I calculated price variance this difference. But when you want to multiply, you can come one step over here. So you can say as a logically I have explained where you are supposed to purchase at rupees two, you have purchased at two point five multiplied by this. Okay. There is one rule also we can remember if the answer is plus on calculator then it is a favorable. If it is negative then it is adverse. Okay, please remember this. Favorable and adverse. Yes, sir. Chalo, let us proceed ahead. Now we will talk uh, about the quantity variance, but we will never say quantity. We say material quantity is used. So we use plastic to manufacture pen. So we say material usage variance. what was what so what supposed to be my usage and what is my actual usage so now i am communicating with the manager which manager sir i am communicating with the production manager 
चलो आई एम टेलिंग हिम मैनेजर मैनेजर वॉट आई टोल्ड यू फॉर वन पेन यू शुड दिस मेनी के जीज हाउ मेनी के जीज यू हैव यूज दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड क्वान्टिटी यू आर सपोज टू यूज दिस वॉट इज द क्वान्टिटी दैट यू हैव एक्चुअली यूज तो दैट इज माइनस एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी या दिस डिफरेंस विल बी टेकन तो आई कैन से दैट टेल मी बिकॉज ऑफ माई परचेज प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर I have suffered how many kgs का loss? Not rupees का loss. I am saying how many kgs का loss? Tell me. Three kgs. Three kgs. Where he was supposed to use? See, for one pen I told him to use three kgs. So I told my I asked my manager. For production manager, how many pens you have produced? He told me five. So I said okay. So for five pen, according to these three, for five pens you should have used fifteen kgs. Okay. and how many kgs you have used so he is saying i have used 18 kgs it means i am understanding that there is a extra usage of 3 kgs why why because of you i have suffered this loss you have used 3 kgs extra so that is something which is understandable 15 where you were supposed to use 15 kgs you have used 18 kgs but sir multiply by what you need to multiply this thing by what I understand instead of 15 kgs we have used 18 kgs, but I am interested in knowing that you need to multiply this by what? अच्छा, so many students are saying sir multiply by two करके। चलो, ठीक है, तुमने बोला तो मैंने सुन लिया। Let us multiply by two, which is standard price. या तो standard के लिए अपन ऐसा लिख रहे हैं तो ठीक है, standard price. Which is two? Let us multiply. Which is this? So answer will become six adverse. Why, sir? You want to tell it this mathematically. First of all, you will say that where because you have incurred a total loss of fifteen rupees. Out of fifteen rupees, if nine rupees ka loss was because of your purchase manager, so sir, remaining loss is because of your production manager, which is six rupees. Now I came to know. Who is responsible for this fifteen rupees ka loss? But sir, I have one doubt in my mind. Can you please ask the doubt even before I explain, sir? Why this is? Why standard price and not actual price? Oh, okay. Now tell me. Now understand this. I will give you this logic. Why it is not actual price? Karke, okay? Suppose you are purchase manager. Suppose you are purchase manager. I hope you will accept this fact. Instead of fifteen, you have used eighteen. You will accept this, ha, huh, sir? Because of me, there is a. See, you are calculating that who is responsible, karke. So, sir, production manager will say, sir, I am responsible for three kgs. I accept this. Instead of fifteen, I have used eighteen. But, sir, don't multiply by two point five. Otherwise, what is happening? Inefficiency of the purchase manager. You are transferring inefficiency of the purchase manager to me, sir. You told him to purchase at two rupees, sir. He purchased for two point five. Is it is not my fault, sir. I haven't purchased for two point five. You to on very first day told me that price will be two. So I was having this picture in my mind. If I use extra or if I use if I save some kgs, the benefit or loss will be of two rupees only. Whatever happens for me, it is it. See, if he is purchasing at a higher rate, sir, please don't make me responsible for that matter. So he will say, do not take the actual price. Kalut ke instead of two rupees, he is purchasing for ten. Then you will blame me? No, sir, I am. You can blame me for three kgs, but you cannot blame me for this extra two point five. Are do you yes, understand sir. what he will say? Yes, I understand. Yes, sir. so this is understood. Why act not actual? Now a question can arise in your mind, sir. If here it is standard price, then sir, why here not standard quantity? Kisi ko laga isa man me? Chalo, nahi laga to aage badte. To, ठीक है. तो समझ में आ गया. तो tension नहीं है अपने को. तो ठीक है. तो that is. हाँ. I say, if you do not like say something, so I will say that. Understand? Like we will say, we have understood everything. Okay. 
वॉट आई एम सेंग इज सम वन कैन आस्क मी कि सर हियर इफ यू हैव टेकन स्टैंडर्ड प्राइज देन हियर ऑल्सो यू शूड सेक्स बिकॉज यू वी हैव अ हैबिट एल एच एस एंड आर एच एस दैट इफ इट इज स्टैंडर्ड इट शुड बी स्टैंडर्ड इफ इट इज एक्चुअल इट शुड बी एक्चुअल करके बट हियर यू अंडरस्टैंड लॉजिकली फर्स्ट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन दिस ना वाई यू विल नॉट टेक एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी बिकॉज actual price because inefficiency of the purchase manager because of that you cannot blame this manager okay chalo aage now let's understand this suppose suppose if i do something like this 2 minus 2.5 multiplied by standard quantity if i do something like this what will happen i will have to multiply by 15 you can check that standard is 15 chalo theek hai so there is a loss of 7.5 adverse karke okay please ha huh? if you have any arguments if you have any doubt we can always discuss it is purely logical everything is logical i will never throw a single formula on you even before i write the formula i will always give you the logic everything can be solved without formula i am explaining the logic only without formula i can say even if i do not write any formula instead of 30 i have incurred 45 where he was supposed to use 15 kg he has used 18 that is a usage ka difference and because of that what is the variance so into 2 rupees he is not responsible for actual price so you have to take standard price only now because it is a price variance he should have purchased for 2 he has purchased for 2.5 now understand this tell me how many kgs are used in the factory actually 15 or 18 18 18 to so purchase manager must have purchased how many kgs from the supplier in that case 15 or 18 18 18 only because if 18 kgs are used in the factory so we must have purchased 18 kgs that is why we are using it right otherwise we how can we use 18 we must have purchased so this purchase manager is there he has actually placed order with the supplier for 18 kgs yes sir now if you make if you make purchase manager responsible only for standard quantity what game he will play first of all understand he will say this company is going to blame me only up to 15 kg not beyond that they are going to take standard quantity okay so even though i am purchasing 18 kg okay still they are going to blame me for 15 kg only because 18 kg is required by production manager so i need to purchase 18 kg for that matter but sir they will blame me only for 15 kg very good let me have a deal with the supplier as a purchase manager i can tell my supplier 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 do one thing first 15 kg supply at 2 rupees only then next 3 kg which i will purchase supply at the rate of 2.5 or let us say even 3 rupees per unit karke this is quantity and this is price karke i can just say you want money only na how does that matter please change the quotation first 15 kg will be at 2 rupees after that next 3 kg you just take your higher price if you want instead of 2.5 take 3 rupees karke okay now now when the variances are calculated you are going to blame him only for this 15 kg and he will say because of me there is no variance but i hope you understand purchase manager is responsible he has purchased at a higher rate see what i will tell my purchase manager see purchase manager whatever he is using extra i will take care of that i will have a communication with my production manager see what is your job as a purchase manager what is your job whatever you purchase from the supplier that should be purchased at the cheapest cost whatever you purchase from the supplier whatever and whatever you purchase is what you purchase you purchase actual quantity so if that fellow is using 30 15 ka 18 i will have a talk with him but at the end it is in your hand to purchase so you are actually purchasing 18 kg so therefore i will make you responsible for 18 kg and not 15 kg are uh tumko pata nahi matlab i think i have explained everything but still uh, some doubt must be there in your mind you can ask me bolo please tumko pakka sabko samajh mein aata hai ya ek ek ko puchna hai do you understand na everything उटकलीजिकल एक्चुअली बट आई एम सींगज तो या
तो एनीथिंग आई विल नेवर थ्रू अ फार्मूला वी विल ऑलवेज अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिक व्हाई दिस फार्मूला इज डेवलप्ड इट इज लाइक वी आर मेकिंग समवन रिस्पांसिबल फॉर नाइन रुपीस का लॉस यू आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर सिक्स रुपीस का लॉस यू आर रिस्पांसिबल सो दिस इंडिकेट्स द परफॉर्मेंस इज नॉट गुड दिस मैनेजर्स आर नॉट वर्किंग इन अ बेटर वे करके चलो सो दैट वाज द क्वेश्चन दैट वाज अ कांसेप्ट क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू दिस तो वी आर डन विद वन कांसेप्ट आई थिंक यू हैवंट रिटर्न राइट सो प्लीज कॉपी प्लीज कॉपी दिस पार्ट बोलो आई डोंट हैव अ डाउट रिलेटेड टू द फार्मूला बट व्हेन वी वर डूइंग बजट बजट वाला चैप्टर एट दैट टाइम यू सेड दैट कि स्टैंडर्ड एंड बजट में देयर इज सम डिफरेंस सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड इज समथिंग व्हिच इज सेट ऑन द फर्स्ट डे राइट व्हेन एंड वी सेड दैट वी आर प्रोड्यूसिंग ऑन दिस इज बजट इज मेड फॉर सॉरी बजट इज मेड बजट इज सेट ऑन द फर्स्ट डे फॉर वन पेन राइट now tell me when you are comparing you are comparing tell me standard when do we make the standard it is made on the last day can you tell me why it is made on the last day anyone Be because uh, actually you know kitna banaya yeah. it is made on the last day exactly so on last day you will compare this so that is what the difference is generally both are same but institute differentiates like this otherwise you can use this interchangeably there is no problem but institute says like this whatever standard you make on first day that is known as budget you make a budget and standard cost see so this is something which you make on first day we, we are done with this chapter then when do you calculate this variances on first day or on last day on last day so this is standard and actual so this comes on last day so budgetary control first day wala chapter standard costing is last day wala chapter on last day you are calculating because of whom i have suffered a loss and because of whom i have got, got some benefit is this understood yes sir fair enough so that is what the solution is please copy acha someone has asked doubt sir is it possible for a price variance or usage variance to be favorable and the other is adverse yes at with everything is possible as of now i have taken both are adverse but now the scenario will come where every variance can be adverse or a favorable that can come and i will give you those reasons also what can be the reason for that matter as of now we are done with this concept okay uh, so let's start with first question and we will see to it as to what is given in the question so let me read that acha even before i start with this question i would like to give you an idea i hope you understand one thing that it doesn't make any sense to write price here also here also instead at the end what you guys are going to compare is these two things so we will do one thing this price column will not be prepared if the price is given in the question it will be directly written here itself rather than writing there we will write here itself so even this column is not required okay so i will just make only this column okay so now the way i am preparing the table you just need you will understand as to what i am trying to say okay so now let's do one thing let me read the question acha even before i read the question uh, let us make the format the specific format which we will always make so the working note number 1 will be table table so first we will make table then we will make the solution so let us make the table when you make the table it is going to be this Yeah, the format will look like this. Understand that it is gonna be like this. Uh, first, there are only two columns. Yeah, there are three columns, and each column is divided like this. Yeah, so this will be known as budget. This will be known as standard. This will be known as actual. then here i can say it is a type then it is a quantity quantity price cost quantity price cost let's start sir let us start now understand one by one first of all the first variance let us calculate the variances so now let me read the data for that matter this table will always be uh, this, this table should be ready with us now we can start with this i hope you guys are done with the table i can start reading the question please make this table okay now let's read the question as to what is given sir it is written nxe manufacturing concern furnishes the following information so sir some information is provided acha there is a some printing error we can say so let me just highlight that part ha 
So now there is a data which is given, standard data is given, actual data is given. Okay. Manufacturing for 70 kgs of finished product, 100 kgs. Acha, tell me, 100 is input or output? Please, I need answer. 100 is input or output? Input. This will go inside the machinery and once 100 goes inside the machinery, there will be some loss and you will get 70 kgs of finished product. Okay. So, this is the material which is required 100 kgs. For what? For 70 kgs of finished product. So, if I write here like this, I hope you will understand this is material I can say. And I will say for 100, this is 100 kgs. This will go inside the machinery and here you will have output. And you are getting 70 kgs at the end output. So, this is known as input actually. This material is nothing but input which will go inside the machinery as 100 kgs. And what you're gonna get is 70 kgs. Yes. Sir, what is the price? Price of the material is again it is a standard data. So, price is 1 rupee. Instead of writing price here, then again copying that price, same. I will write 2 here, then I will write here also. So, I will directly copy this here itself. That my the price is my price. I told my manager you need to purchase 1 kg at the rate of rupees 1. Yes, sir. What has happened actually? Actual output. Actual output is 2,10,000 kgs. It will be written over here. If my actual output is 2,10,000 kgs which came out of the machinery, for that matter how many kgs I have used? 2,80,000. And what is the cost of material? Sir, it is cost. It is not price. The cost is 2,52,000. This is actual data. Sir, can I calculate this? Yes, 2,52,000 divided by 2,80,000, you will get the price. Because this 2 multiplication, you're going to get the cost. So, 2,52,000 divided by 2,80,000, you will get 0 0.9 as a price. Okay, yes, Vaishnavi, that is right. Now, I need to revise the standards. Can I say that 2,10,000 kgs kg, what should be my cost for 2,10,000 kgs ka output this is this see this should be my cost this is my cost that I will compare. So for 2,10,000 kgs this is my cost what should be my cost so I will cross multiply for 70 kgs if I give a target of 100 kg input you can use so for 2,70,000 so you can just cross multiply the things and you can get this answer it is like for 70 2,10,000 to 100 ke liye kitta. just cross multiply and you will get this answer again this is written extra for your information no need to write but yeah it is preferable because it is first question just write it down that is gonna be uh, 10 into 2 lakh 10,000 divided by 7 2 lakh 10,000 divided by 70 into 100 that is 3 lakh so you can use 3 lakh kgs so I can I was expecting cost of 3 lakh chalo now that is understood now once the table is made no, Huh? Return, na it is. Yes, sir. So for this output, this is my actual cost, and for this output, what should be my cost? Same way, na the way we did here. Understood that five pen wala. Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh? Ki five pen ke liye what should be and what is my cost that will be compared. Yeah. So that was written. Ki two lakh ten thousand is the output. So that output is always written here. And input is written here. Okay. Chal. Now, let me calculate the variances. Even though we are making the diagram, but uh, in examination, you can write one by one. Uh, chalo. Let us write one by one only. Uh, it's okay. Like you can divide into two parts. So divide by two parts. Vertical or diagrammatic format. That is quite okay. There is no problem in that. So, uh, chalo. Main aisa likh one by one. Likhte. Ek ke niche ek. So the first one is material cost variance. The first one is material cost variance. Please write down now this is main solution material cost variance. Okay, sir, what is the formula? Sir, the formula will be this standard cost minus actual cost. I hope you will understand when I say standard cost minus SC that is uh, and AC standard cost and actual cost. Somewhere you can write the full form, it is recommended. Okay. I will provide the sheet also, but somewhere you can write SC means standard cost, AC means actual cost, write somewhere. So you are expecting 3 lakh ka cost. What you have actually incurred is 2 lakh 52,000. So I can say you are expecting 3 lakh, 2 lakh 52,000. So 48,000 I have incurred less. That is a favorable situation for the organization. So 
so 48,000 favorable that is something you need to understand yes sir now now what I would like to know that if there is a benefit of 48,000 it is because of fresh manager so no, I need answer in chat box let us see how many of you can answer material price variance see first cost variance is done now price variance प्लीज कैलकुलेट द आंसर क्या बात है रिधिमा अद्वैत वैष्णवी ध्रुवी देर वर मेनी नेम्स क्रेश निशी राइट आंसर वेदांत तेरा अलग है पता नहीं आर्ची राइट आंसर वेदांत यू मस्ट सेम बट सेम सम मिस्टेक यू मस्ट डन लेट्स चेक अलक्ष नहीं अर्पित राइट ठीक है सी इट इज लाइक दिस स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस प्राइस का डिफरेंस स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस माइनस एक्चुअल प्राइस into actual quantity I remember like this I logically remember technique is this and logic is this I am communicating with my purchase manager tere ko ek rupiah mein kharidna tha you should have purchased for one rupee you purchase for 0 0.9 very good very good because of you there is a benefit of 10 paisa and how many kgs you have purchased this so that is 1 minus 0 0.9 into this you need to remember like this first variance was like this cost cost Second variance is price price ka difference and then one step back. Chalo. So that is gonna be 1 minus 0 0.9 into 2,80,000. That is gonna be 28,000 positive value and something if it is positive favorable. Logically, saste mein kharida. instead of 1, you paid only 0 0.9. Ha, Nishi, even that answer is right, I can say. Now the third variance. Third variance is material usage variance. We are communicating with production manager. Again, here you can remember like this. First, how many kgs you should have used? That is standard quantity. How many kgs you have actually used? That is actual quantity. And the price will be always standard, sir. Because production manager never controls actual price so you cannot blame him for that matter okay he's in the factory which are he's producing how can you blame him for actual price no you cannot make him responsible so yeah again many right answers Advait, Vaishnavi, Ridhima, Akrish, Vedant, Dhruvi so you have understood this concept but sir agar by heart karne ka, can you give me some technique yes sir quantity quantity ka difference again one step back that is into this First, cost cost ka difference, khata. second, price price ka difference, one step back, that is two like 80,000, step back, then difference, one step back, though into one, if you take the price for that matter though, three lakh minus uh, two lakh 80,000, three lakh minus two lakh 80,000, instead of three lakh, we have used two lakh 80,000, very good, but you will always take the standard price, which is one, so that answer is going to be 20,000. Uh, favorable yeah so now I know the benefit I have got the benefit of 48,000 out of 48,000 ka benefit uh, if I just uh, give you an idea over here so I can just say that there is a cost variance cost variance has two parts it will always tally the price variance and usage variance so you can cross check that yeah it is going to tally if I have got benefit of 48,000 out of that 28,000 ka benefit is because of price that is purchase manager and 20,000 ka benefit is because of usage that is production manager. So I have got to know who is responsible for this benefit or who is responsible for this loss. Very easy, must the chapter, Abhitak, I think there is a control as to what is happening and we are done with this question. Okay, done with this. Okay guys, let's start with question number two and let's have a look as to what is given in the question. The standard mix uh, to produce one unit of a product, a product means output and to produce this product we require raw material. This is raw material. When you say this, 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 this is input. Product is nothing but your output or a finished goods which comes out of the machinery and this is going to be your input. This is going to be your input. Understand that. Yeah. So you require three types of raw material. Achha, so let us make our uh, diagram first. That would be easier for us. How you gonna make the working note number one? Always table. So guys, working note number one, please write table. Sir, when you make the table, few columns are uh, 
few rows will always be there first you need to draw four lines how many lines you will have to draw sir four lines so let me draw four lines one two three four then there are uh three uh a b c d karke then there is a total again so three raw metals are there now so there is a gap okay so first you, you need three rows then because there are three uh raw metals so three rows again then one total one row for total budget standard actual then type quantity quantity price cost quantity price cost here we always write output and here it is our input total input that we write over here chalo sir start karte to sir format is ready let's start putting the values okay output output is always of finished goods okay input is nothing but raw material let us start let's start to uh, fill it up okay let us start to fill this to chalo question number 2 sir the data which is given in this question is for one unit you can check that the data which is given is for one unit ओके सर फॉर वन यूनिट यू रिक्वायर दिस मच एक्स वाई एन जेड कितना कितना तो आई कैन राइट हियर वन यूनिट टू प्रोड्यूस वन यूनिट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट यू रिक्वायर मटेरियल एक्स मटेरियल वाई और मटेरियल जेड हाउ मेनी सिक्सटी एट्टी हंड्रेड तो यू रिक्वायर टू फोर्टी यूनिट्स सो आफ्टर टू फोर्टी यूनिट्स आर कंज्यूम्ड वन यूनिट इज प्रिपेयर करके वन फिनिश गुड्स इज प्रिपेयर यस सर ओके लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मैन्युफैक्चर अ कार तो फॉर अ कार यू रिक्वायर वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स सेम वे देर इज वन प्रोडक्ट फॉर विच यू रिक्वायर वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स टोटल टू एक्स वाई एन जेड एंड नंबर ऑफ यूनिट्स टू फोर्टी यूनिट्स देन दैट वन फिनिश प्रोडक्ट विल बी प्रिपेयर या वॉट इज द प्राइस बिकॉज द वर्ड गिवन इज स्टैंडर्ड बिकॉज द वर्ड गिवन इज स्टैंडर्ड यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द प्राइस विच इज समथिंग विच विल बी रिटर्न ओवर हिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव यस Let's proceed ahead. During the month, what has happened? During the month April, okay, ten units were actually produced. Ten units. I hope you understand. This ten units will be written over here. For ten units, what is supposed to be my cost? What should be my cost? And what is my cost? That I will compare for this ten units. What should be my cost will be compared with what is my cost. करके for this ten units. हाँ sir. आगे बढ़ो. and the consumption was as follows consumption so whatever raw finished goods you have actually produced this is actual production for that what is your actual consumption this is actual data you have consumed 640 kgs over here 950 kgs over here 870 kgs and here it is 2460 at what rate to 17.50 18 and then 27.50 okay and that values are given acha i am not this is working so even if you do not write that is okay i just need the total okay so the total is let me check 6 uh, even though it is given i would like to cross verify 614 to 17.5 m plus 915 to 18 m plus 817 to 27.5 m plus mrc yes that is right 52225 52225 karke that is the cost which is given and it is written calculate all material variances so we will calculate all variances and this is the table guys in front of you yes sir now can you do this yes sir acha there is a shortcut ha huh? i always use this shortcut if you want you can use this 10 divided by 1 into into 60 equal to 80 equal to 100 equal to what is this understand very simple you want this answer 
that for one unit if it is 60 to for 10 it should be how much so first i calculate as to your output has increased by how many times so if i say 10 divided by 1 it will indicate that your output has increased by 10 times so even every input will increase by 10 times so just do this 10 divided by 1 that is this into into so now everything will increase by 10 even input will increase by 10 or you can add 110 here in this case or you can cross multiply whatever you do I am more comfortable with this I, I go like this this divide by this then multiply multiply this equal to this equal to this equal to and then this equal to Achha, sir I directly know that this answer will be 50,000 can anybody tell me why I am so confident about this this answer will be 50,000 in the question it is given that when one unit is produced you can see in the question guys it is given that when one unit is produced what is your standard cost 5000 i hope you understand how luxury that is right so we can say that because actually 10 units are produced so for for 10 units what can be the target for one unit i give you the target you should incur 5000 so if 10 units are produced the target will be uh, then 50000 even that can be done but yeah we won't do like that we will just calculate 600 into 15 same answer you will get into 20 1000 into 25 m plus mrc 50,000 sir there is one more working we will have to do sir what is that working to so understand whatever is your answer over here whatever is your answer here that will be divided in the standard ratio standard ratio can you tell me what is your standard ratio on very first day it was decided the standard ratio should be this 60 60 is to 40 is 200 this is a standard ratio it means on very first day i gave some instruction to whom sir i gave some instructions to my production manager the production manager i need one unit from him he said okay then i told him to produce this one unit you will have to use 240 kgs he said okay then i gave him bifurcation see out of this 240 x should be 60 y should be 80 and z should be 100 this is a standard mix or standard ratio now i will ask him you have used how many kgs he is saying i have used 2460 kgs so now i am telling him if you have used 2460 kgs in totality sir what should be the ratio if i whatever ratio i gave you on very first day accordingly what on what answer should pop up i hope you understand that is if you just divide this value in this ratio Achha, there is a shortcut again what you can say 240 is something which is the total of that so i hope you understand it can be done like this 2460 divided by 240 then into chalo, i will give you this shortcut also if you want okay i will give you the logic also if you want the logic of the shortcut but yeah first of all let's write the shortcut i will do something like this 2460 divided by 240 into into 60 equal to 80 equal to 100 equal to so karo it is like this when you are going for this so you will do this 24460 into 60 divided by 240 you will do which is a total of this thing so karo zara yes uh advet okay and that dhruvi that was right Achha, you understand what i just did i just said that whatever you have used if if i say whatever standard ratio i have given instruction with the reference to standard ratio this should be the mix this should be the ratio so accordingly if i say so this ratio should be this so accordingly that should be your mix in this ratio okay okay that is right so now you understand that yes uh dhruvi that is right okay now chalo let us calculate one do you understand this shortcut also how it is developed karke? because if i calculate the first answer see i i can tell you the, if you calculate the first answer what will you do you will say something like this sir 2460 into 60 divided by 240 
और सेकेंड आंसर यू विल से टू फोर सिक्स जीरो इंटू एटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू फोर्टी इतना रेशो तो तुमको आता है तो सी दिस इज कॉमन टू फोर सिक्स जीरो डिवाइड बाई टू फोर्टी इज कॉमन तो आई से फर्स्ट वो कर लो देन जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्सटी एंड एटी करके वाई सा या तो यू जस्ट यू डू एट यूर एंड यू नो दैट नाउट टू हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दिस आंसर चलो लेट अस गो फॉर दिस अर्पित व्हाट इज दैट आई डिडेंट गेट यू लाइक क्या आंसर था ये एक जीरो ज्यादा है हर एक के अंदर में भी हाँ ठीक है चलो तो अभी एक एक करके चैट बॉक्स में आई नीड आंसर फर्स्ट वेरियंस का मटेरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस विथ एडवर्स एंड फेवरेबल ऑल्सो विथ ए एन एफ डोंट जस्ट गिव मी फाइनल आंसर आई जस्ट नीड ए एन एफ ऑल्सो या क्रिश दैट इज राइट जस्ट टाइप द आंसर एंड ए ओके वैष्णव दैट इज राइट वेदांत दैट इज राइट क्रिश आई विल हैव टू चेक प्राइस आई डोंट नो दैट इज राइट वैसे ओके अर्पित दैट इज राइट तो चलो मेनी पीपल हैव गॉट दैट निशी दैट इज राइट आंसर फर्स्ट मटीरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस तो चलो लेट्स राइट मटीरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस सर वेन्यू से मटीरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस इज इट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन कॉस्ट स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्ट माइनस एक्चुअल कॉस्ट तो लेट इज राइट स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्ट प्रियम दैट इज राइट यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई एडवर्स एंड फेवरेबल ऑल्सो स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्ट माइनस एक्चुअल कॉस्ट तो यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टू इनकर दिस मच कॉस्ट फॉर टेन यूनिट्स एंड यू हैव एक्चुअली इनकर दिस मच कॉस्ट तो यू हैव इनकर एक्स्ट्रा कितना फिफ्टी थाउजेंड माइनस वेर यू आर सपोज टू इनकर फिफ्टी थाउजेंड यू हैव इनकर फिफ्टी टू थाउजेंड टू ट्वेंटी फाइव यू हैव इनकर टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एक्स्ट्रा सो टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एडवर्स दिस इज गन बी योर आंसर नाउ कॉस्ट वेरियंस इज सर डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट इफ माइनस इट मीन्स एडवर्स रिमेंबर दिस माइनस मीन्स एडवर्स ओके नाउ आफ्टर दिस वेरियंस आई विल कैलकुलेट द सेकेंड वेरियंस विच इज मटीरियल प्राइज वेरियंस अच्छा वॉट इज द फॉर्मूला द फॉर्मूला इज लाइक दिस स्टैंडर्ड प्राइज माइनस एक्चुअल प्राइज इन टू एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी सर हाउ टू रिमेंबर दिस फॉर्मूला वेरी इजी लाइक दिस दिस इज अ डिजाइन स्टैंडर्ड प्राइज माइनस एक्चुअल प्राइज यू कैन सी स्टैंडर्ड प्राइज माइनस एक्चुअल प्राइज इन टू जस्ट वन स्टेप बैक यू कैन गेट दिस एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी लॉजिकली आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इट इज लाइक दिस तेरे को यू शुड हैव परचेज इट फॉर फिफ्टीन यू मेड अ परचेज एट सेवनटीन पॉइंट फाइव इट मीन्स आई हैव इन कट अ लॉस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई फॉर हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स करके ओके चलो सो लेट इज राइट एक्स वाई एन एज हेड So the price, the which was instructed, was fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. At what price you have actually purchased is seventeen point five. Then there is eighteen and twenty-seven point five. And how many units you have purchased? It is actual quantity six. Pehle I always write. It saves time. First write down, then take the calculator. instead of calculate uh, taking the calculator three times at the end you take the calculator first write it down 870 now you just need to remember one formula that plus means favorable minus means adverse just remember this now we will use m plus okay function now 15 minus 17.5 into 640 m plus okay and while writing that just take the answer answer is 1600 minus that is adverse then 20 minus 18 into 950 m plus so 1900 positive that is favorable 25 minus 27.5 into 870 m plus that is 2175 adverse and finally 1875 adverse you can check that yes or when you do if this is positive just subtract these two whatever you do you get that answer positive negative wala yes or uh, dhruvi uh, which answer you have okay fair enough fair enough anyone has any doubt any difficulty please let me know sir can you explain this part again whatever doubt you have but you have to ask me okay i am not someone parmatma who can know ki you have this doubt you have to ask me bindas ki sir i did not get this point correct टोटल ऑफ दिस 
अच्छा वाई इट कैन नॉट बी डन अंडरस्टैंड वाई इट कैन नॉट बी डन लेट एस सी दैट लेट एस सी दैट I went to the shopkeeper. I told him to give me let us say uh, I want to buy something. So I told him to give Maggie. And then let us say the cost of the Maggie is I have purchased some units. That is quantity and the rate he has charged quantity into rate. Uh, the cost of the Maggie is ten rupees. Uh, I have purchased let us say two Maggies and each costing rupees ten. So I had to pay twenty rupees for a Maggie. And after that this is gonna be my amount column. That is cost column. then i told him to give something else uh, let's say the ice cream ice cream i told him to give one ice cream uh, let us say that family pack so that family pack for him uh, he has charged me let us say that 150 rupees okay so the 150 rupees he has charged over here at the end i went out of the shop and how many units i have three units and what is the amount i paid him 170 can you say that Every unit costed you one sixty, yes or no? No, sir. No, not every unit cost you one sixty. So if you take the price cut total, that doesn't make any sense. What will it indicate? You are saying after saying this, you are saying that every unit costed you this much. Nay, na that is something which won't make a sense, right? Can you say that for every unit you have incurred one sixty? Nay, na. No, sir. Samjha which is ki why you won't take the total because. इट वोट मेक एनी मतलब उसका कोई सेंस ही नहीं है ये 160 का वैसा ओके फेर इन सो सर दिस इज यूर प्राइस वेरियंस नाउ सपोज यू आर इन हरी एंड यू वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट यूसेज वेरियंस सर वॉट इज द शॉर्टकट यू ऑल नो द टोटल लॉस गाइज विच आई हैव इनकर्ड इज दिस मच इफ आउट ऑफ दैट दिस मच लॉस इज बिकॉज ऑफ द प्राइस Sir, the remaining loss will be because of the usage. Okay, sir. So, sir, price cost variance is done. Price variance is done. Now, quantity variance. Quantity variance. The name is usage. We use the quantity. So, let us write that. Let us write that usage variance. Kar ke third material usage variance. acha when you say usage variance my manager should have used this much quantity he has used this much quantity actually into you always take the standard price because my production manager is not responsible for actual price sir or just use this technique sir this difference minus this difference aisa karne ka just come one step back you have this price ekdam simple ekdam logically technically first logically i have explained but i always use this technique because i don't remember the things so i say like this Minus this, minus this, and do this. Khatam. So now let's write x by your z. So what is your standard quantity? Six hundred. Then it is gonna be eight hundred. Then it is gonna be one thousand. This is something he should have used. He has used how many kgs? So six forty nine fifty eight seventy six forty. Nine fifty eight seventy. Now what is the standard price? It will come from here. You can say. Upper nahi dekhna to. Fifteen, twenty, twenty five. You can directly write it from here also. Just to save the time. Yeah, that can be done. Now, just take the calculator and finish this work. Let us finish this. Okay, you will say six hundred minus six forty into fifteen m plus eight hundred minus nine fifty into twenty m plus three thousand adverse one thousand minus eight seventeen to twenty five three two five zero favorable three fifty adverse. so so this is gonna be your answer so this is gonna be your answer okay fair enough now if you want you can cross check that these things are going to tally yeah, the, whatever is your loss so if you just take this total yeah the total loss you have, you came to know because of whom now you are going to ask few questions you are going to ask few questions to your purchase manager No, sorry, purchase manager. No, sir, you will ask 
few questions to your production manager sir what is the question or what are the questions that will be asked let me tell you that what are the questions those will be asked see the first question that will be asked is this after going for this usage wala part the first question is i have given you some instruction now i am communicating with purchase production manager sorry and i hope you understand when you communicate with your production manager you always take the standard price because he is not responsible for actual price right so you will always take the standard price acha theek hai let me do one thing this data is useful to me so let me just copy this data so that uh, i can explain this stuff on the next page okay so having done this now understand one by one okay one by one now the first variance which you will calculate guys is now the fourth variance over here which is material usage vari or mix variance again you are communicating with your production manager material mix variance okay so generally the word which is used by institute is this rsq what is rsq please write down somewhere revised standard quantity revised standard quantity is equal to rsq maybe we will write all the abbreviations at one place for that matter otherwise rsq means revised standard quantity now when you say revised standard quantity minus you will say actual quantity into the standard price that is that is now understand this now i am communicating with with manager production manager i am telling him you have used how many kg so he says sir i have used 2460 kg i said okay now whatever 2460 kg you have used you understand it should be used in what ratio i gave you instruction on very first day na that x should be this much y should be this much z z should be this much it means x y z should be in this ratio that is this ratio so if you have used 2460 what should be what should be the ratio of that the ratio should be this accordingly x should be this much y should be this much z should be this much so x y z if i write over here to your x should be 615 then it should be 8 to 20 then 1025 and how many kgs you have actually used you should have used this many kgs and you have actually made this mix this is known as standard mix actually this is known as standard mix the mix should be this this is standard mix and what is the actual mix of this whatever you have used this is the actual mix of that otherwise what you can do if you if you don't want to complicate the things so you can just copy the rest from here same formula dekho you can check i'm just directly copying that part only the first part is change has changed you can see this is the formula logically i am telling i am telling him it is the mix there is a difference in mix i told you to mix in this ratio on very first day that is this ratio so this should be the standard mix this should be the mix and this is the mix so there is a difference in mix so i am asking you change the mix also you did not follow my instruction and because of that what is the profit or loss that i have incurred let us calculate again 615 minus 640 into 15 M plus six seventy five adverse eight twenty minus nine fifty into twenty M plus two thousand six hundred adverse one zero two five minus eight seventy into twenty five M plus three eight seven five nine hundred favorable. i hope you understand this mix wala part also so first you did not you the usage was extra that was okay that was a usage variance but after that you haven't followed one more instruction that is mix variance and because of there is a benefit actually 
and why there is a benefit maybe i can discuss in detail for that matter it is like this jab bhel wala bhel wala hota hai apne ko we know that if he is when he is like uh, manufacturing we cannot say manufacturing he is making the bhel so when he makes the bhel i can say that he uses lots of ingredients let us say onions and tomatoes and other things karke kurmuras whatever you can say so now if i talk about onions and tomatoes understand there is a possibility the price of onions has increased in this case what will happen what he will do he will keep the same quantity this bhel will be kept the quantity of the bhel will be kept same the only thing what he will do he will reduce the mix of onion instead of he will increase the onion will be reduced and tomatoes and other stuff will be increased so that quantity will remain same and in such a way he will increase the profit like or he will keep the balance correct so same thing whatever is the costliest goods you will reduce that so now understand here which one is costlier this one is cost acha sorry here or channel price if you take so still here also which one is costlier z so what he did you can understand see the total is same the total is same of both this the so total is same 2460 total usage is 2460 this ratio he should have used in this ratio he has actually used he should have used in this ratio so i hope you understand he should have used 1025 units of z but what he did instead like it is onion it was costliest thing he did what he said it is costlier let's use less so instead he used only 870 kgs and whatever was cheapest you can see you can see that uh, so he got some benefit over here see it is like onion and tomatoes uh, tomatoes should be like, it should be let us say onion should be 2 kgs just for the sake of understanding we are making 10 kgs ka bhel then this onion should be 2 uh, kgs and tomatoes should be let us say that of uh, 5 kgs accordingly total 5 kgs will be there out of 7 kgs will be there okay you have used 7 kgs only but because the prices of onions has increased you made it only 1 kg you and instead you have used 6 kgs of tomatoes in this case so na ha bolo sir isme par this isme to aisa hua hai because the ratio is not necessary ki yahi ratio mein karna hai understand there are both variances which are adverse okay but sometimes it can happen see i can tell you in detail explanation if you want just listen to this now i can tell you that your cost variance is there then your price variance is there no variance is study we never study variance in isolation it is always studied in detail it is like this your this variance was let us say 10 favorable so here it was 15 favorable and the two adverse a 15 favorable and let us say five adverse this is the that is how the answer is the price variance is a favorable and usage variance there is a loss of this now i just told you that sir because of production manager this loss i have incurred abhi tak samjha kya kya maine bola thoda fat fat bola but have you understood yes, okay now but to be very frank because you are at inter level i am not giving you extra knowledge but now if you want to listen i can tell you that you cannot blame production manager you just need to check the details how you will check if this variance is favorable that is a price variance there is a possibility purchase manager must have purchased goods of a low quality and because they have purchased goods of a low quality low quality raw material is purchased that's why that that, that was favorable favorable and because it was of low quality there was a more scrap which was generated and because of that there is a more usage of raw material so you cannot blame purchase production manager directly even before you blame your production manager you need to check as to because this variance is favorable whether the quality is the same or it there is a inferior quality of product which has been purchased karke that is one thing one more thing if you say this variance is adverse you need to check about the machinery also 
whether the machineries have replaced or not whether whether servicing of the machinery is done by the department or not karke to when you do, you never blame someone directly i know mathematically you can say it is because of production manager i say and i just chal bola aage badhte hai karke but in reality the discussion happens like this ki bhai what is the reason to so he can tell the reason why there is a difference of this karke waisa acha one more thing even this adverse favorable it is not looked into like this see there is one thing which is standard there is one thing which is we can say revise the standard then there is one thing which is known as actual sir what is this there is a planning variance and there is a operational variance i am going into much detail just understand i told my manager to purchase the raw material for 2 rupees okay on very first day i gave this instruction purchase manager ko i hope you understand during the year there is a possibility if there is a change in the market scenario the price can increase or decrease this was the price which set on first day na but it won't be throughout the year so there is a possibility maybe after two months because of covid or because of any other situation in the market the raw material is available for 3 rupees per kg now it was 2 rupees per kg now it is available for 3 rupee per kg now can you blame your purchase manager for this no are baba the price of the material if the in general market only there is a inflation how can you blame him ki do ka tune teen mein khareeda you can't blame him now yes sir let yes, us say sir. he has purchased for 2.5 still he made it at 2.5 if you say if you tell him like this tere ko do mein bola tha khareedne 2 rupees per kg you purchase it for 2.5 because of you there is a loss he will say sir you gave standard on very first day but sir during the year there was a change in the market scenario so please revise your plan there was a change in the market scenario because of this raw material was available at 3 rupees only still i i took various quotations from the suppliers i have bargained and after bargaining i have purchased at 2.5 sir so you need to check my this is a planning variance it was a defective planning there was a market scenario so that one difference one rupee ka difference will be here one rupee ka adverse difference planning you cannot blame him you cannot blame your uh, purchase manager for this you will you will tell him in market it was available for 3 but you still made it at 2.5 so it was sasta cheap so because of you there is a benefit of 0.5 so this whole discussion happens but here i am not telling you everything in detail because at your level it is not required only but still because you said it so i gave you gap practically alag hota hai bahut there is much detail analysis which is done uh, okay understand ha तो तेरा डाउट क्या था वैसे एक बार वापस बोल चाहिए तो मैं भूल गया वैसे बातों बातों में हाँ आई थिंक अरे बाप रे हाँ वॉट रेशियो एग्जैक्टली सो नाउ सी रियल इन रियालिटी फर्स्ट इट विल बी चेक एज टू सी देर आर सर्टन प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर विच द कंपोजिशन कैन नॉट बी चेंज बिकॉज इफ यू चेंज द कंपोजिशन दैट क्वालिटी विल बी द क्वालिटी ऑफ द फिनिश गुड्स विल नॉट बी सेम but there are certain products where you can change the mix karke so accordingly that production manager will do whether he will change or he will not change it depends as to what kind of product we are dealing in karke no information is there so we cannot comment here so we can say it is a normal product where composition can be changed hello yes sir matlab is pe koi aisa assumption ka note nahi likhna padega nahi kuch nahi likhna hai bhai waise to kitne sare notes aa jayenge ki bhai i was just mere dar ko abhi bataya i told you many things so there are various other notes also which can come only one thing that pop up in your mind but there are various other things which i can tell you ki this doubt can also be there but because it is at inter level i am not saying ki sir it can also happen like nobody question sir how can you blame this manager sir for 17.5 sir in the market only the price is 17.5 so you should not blame this that question should be there from your side वैसे देखने जाएंगे so there are various questions which can arise but because this can be taken at ca final level i am not dealing with this jo apne ko inter mein that is specifically calculation part at ca final level there is a theory also which where we do in detail karke but ha to theek hai maine bas ek planning aur operational variance bola that that is there in final okay theek hai uh can we start aage ka part yes okay yes. any doubt again when we are learning you can have doubts you can ask me ki sir i feel like this we can discuss i can tell you what can be done if it is at final level i will say i will explain something and i will say it is at final level let's not discuss in detail over here chalo the last variance first question i just asking you have changed the mix and because of there is a benefit that is something which we did now the next thing material yield variance right material yield or it is also known as sub usage variance
material yield variance or you will say material sub usage variance let us understand this now i will ask my manager first i i did individual differences then i went for a mix now i will go in totality tell me my purchase manager my production manager sorry i am asking him my production manager because whether he should have used how many kgs or how many units to produce 10 finished goods he should have used 2400 units but to produce this 10 finished goods he has used 2460 car raw material so tell me in totality whether more scrap is generated or less scrap is generated more scrap there is a abnormal loss we can say no are baba instead of 2460 yes. he has used this it means he has used can i say 60 units extra where he was supposed to use 2400 only he has used 2460 so 60 extra units he has used so we need to calculate that variance it means i can say yield is not good where he was supposed to use this much only he has used extra it means yield is not good we are using more things we are using more raw material there is a more scrap yield is nothing but production productivity which is not good correct we are there is a more scrap which is generated so one variance is calculated for that sir what is the formula total standard quantity how many units he should have used he should have used and total <coughs> how many units he should have used and how many units he has actually used that is total actual quantity sir this difference will be taken multiplied by now sir i understand that this uh, minus this uh, but sir at what a price there is a question the price will be standard the reason is i am communicating with the production manager so you cannot take actual price but sir standard price how will you calculate you can't take the total now only i told you now what can be done then anyone we need to buy the total no uh, we will take the average it is like if you go to the shopkeeper you say give me 10 units at the rate of rupees 2 this this is the rate then give me it uh, more uh, let us say 15 units with the price is 3 so i then say here you paid 20 here you paid uh, 45 what total you, you have bought 25 units at the end and the payment is 15 into 3 that is 45 plus 20 you made 65 rupees can i say that on an average every unit costed you 2.6 that is something which can be said on an average i'm not saying exactly what average can be taken that on an average the cost of one unit is 2.6 car is same way we will do here also because we don't have that price you cannot take the total you can take the average because if you take the total that 2400 into that total will not give you 50000 okay so how can you get that uh, yahan ka answer so you need to divide this like this total cost will be divided by total quantity so it is standard na so unit standard price so total standard cost will be divided by total standard quantity are ek second oh अरे यार शिट तुमको समझा मैंने क्या गलत लिखा नहीं टोटल स्टैंडर्ड सॉरी वो डिवाइड क्यों किया मैंने इट इज अ सब्ट्रैक्शन ना यू शुड हैव यूज्ड दिस मेनी केजीज एंड यू हैव यूज्ड दिस मेनी केजीज इन टोटलिटी सो यू नीड टू टेक अ डिफरेंस तो या यू नीड टू टेक अ डिफरेंस ओवर हियर फॉर्मूला इज लाइक दिस that in totality you should have used 2400 but sir you have used how many kgs you have used 2460 kgs 24000 i think for a second 24400 ha huh? you have used 2460 kgs multiplied by so it is like this this difference minus this difference into this rate but how will you get this rate 50000 divided by 2400 so 50000 divided by 2400 standard cost 50000 divided by 2400 and let us calculate the cost so that is going to be 60 into acha let's do one thing let us do everything on the calculator like this minus this into this then divide by this you will get the answer that is like this 2400 minus 2460 into 50000 divided by 2400 you get 1250 adverse 
यू गेट दिस आंसर वन टू फाइव जीरो एडवर्स अच्छा इफ यू वॉन्ट टू क्रॉस वेरीफाई द थिंग्स थिंग्स कैन बी क्रॉस वेरीफाइड तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल I can give you the whole uh, summary over here. It is like this: the first variance is cost variance. Cost variance is divided into two parts: price variance and usage variance. Then you ask two more questions to your purchase production manager. Sorry, mix variance, and you can say that yield variance. अच्छा तो इफ यू जस्ट टॉक अबाउट द कॉस्ट वेरियंस वट इज द आंसर द कॉस्ट वेरियंस इज टू टू फाइव एडवर्स टू ट्वेंटी फाइव एडवर्स टू 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 फाइव एडवर्स देन वॉट इज द रीजन ऑफ दिस एडवर्स तो आई कैन से दैट वन एट सेवन फाइव तो आई कैन से वन एट सेवन फाइव एडवर्स इज बिकॉज ऑफ परचेस मैनेजर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ यूर प्रोडक्शन मैनेजर देर इज थ्री फिफ्टी का लॉस आई वुड लाइक टू एनालाइज दिस थ्री फिफ्टी इन मोर डिटेल So I can say because of mix there is a benefit of nine hundred, but because of yield there is a more scrap which is generated. What is the reason? Is it the quality of raw material? Is it the that we are not maintaining the machinery properly? There is no servicing which is done, or is it that training of the worker is not done properly? So let us train them. Whatever the reasons can be, it will be evaluated. And yeah, then we will take the action. But that action wala part is not in our syllabus. We just need to calculate the variances. या तो यू जस्ट टेक द टोटल वेदर इट टैलीज और नॉट वन टू फाइव जीरो का लॉस माइनस नाइन हंड्रेड का बेनिफिट या नाउ दिस आंसर कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड और डिफरेंटली आल्सो देर इज अनदर फॉर्मूला इफ यू वांट आई विल ऑलवेज यूज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला बट इन फ्यू केसेस आई कैन टेल यू देर इज अनदर फॉर्मूला विच कैन बी यूज सर वॉट इज दैट अनदर फॉर्मूला द अनदर फॉर्मूला कैन बी द अनदर फॉर्मूला कैन बी लाइक दिस पहले इधर तक लिख के हो गया हैव यू रिटर्न टेल हियर एवरीवन ओके चलो तो नाउ द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वेयर आई कैन से दैट फॉर्मूला कैन बी दिस सी फॉर यूसेज वेरिएंस सी यूसेज वेरिएंस इज नथिंग बट मिक्स प्लस यील्ड हाँ सर सर हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट यूसेज इट इज अ स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी माइनस एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सर हाउ डू यू कैलकुलेट मिक्स It is nothing but sir R S Q. This is known as R S Q. So R S Q minus uh, this. क्या बोलते हैं R S Q minus A Q. अच्छा. Now you want to calculate the yield variance plus yield variance. Mathematically, if I tell you, so if yield variance you want to calculate, it is gonna be if uh, these things goes on this side, so that is gonna be S Q. माइनस ए क्यू देन प्लस आर एस क्यू प्लस ए क्यू इज इक्वल टू यील्ड लाइक इफ दिस गोज ऑन द अपोजिट साइड सो इट विल बी सब्सट्रैक्टेड सॉरी इट विल बी सब्सट्रैक्टेड इफ इट गोज ऑन द दिस साइड इट वॉज देर ओनली ओके देन दिस ए क्यू गोज ऑन देर साइड तो माइनस का इट विल बिकम प्लस नाउ आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड फ्यू थिंग्स यू कैन कैंसिल मैथमेटिकली आई एम टेलिंग यू यू कैन कैंसिल तो कैन आई सी हील्ड इज नथिंग बट इट कैन बी एस क्यू माइनस आर एस क्यू अगर मैथमेटिकली तुमको करना हो सो दैट इज गना बी द फॉर्मूला फॉर दिस तो लेट इज कैलकुलेट एक बार मैथमेटिकली ऑल्सो सो नाउ द फॉर्मूला कैन बी एस क्यू माइनस आर एस क्यू देन दैट इज द डिफरेंस विच यू विल टेक इन टू मैथमेटिकली आई एम जस्ट सिंग देन लॉजिकली आई एक्सप्लेन इन टू वी ऑलवेज टेक स्टैंडर्ड प्राइस सो एक्स वाई एक लिख कर रखो कभी काम आएगा आगे जाके एक जगह पे काम आने वाला तो ऑल्टरनेट मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला लेटेस्ट रिस्ट राइट द सो आर एस क्यू आई हैव हा आई हैव आर एस क्यू विच इज दिस तो लेट मी कॉपी दैट आई हैव स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी ऑन द प्रीवियस पेज दैट इज दिस और I can just copy this. Only one thing will change. AQ के जगह पे आर एस क्यू आ रहा है ठीक है तो लेट मी कॉपी दिस ओ भैया तो ओनली चेंज इज मिडल वाला पार्ट वेर आर एस क्यू इज कमिंग ए क्यू के जगह पे तो उसको यहाँ पे फिट कर देते हैं जस्ट चेक द फॉर्मूला नाउ इट इज एंड क्वान्टिटी माइनस यू विल स्टिल गेट द सेम आंसर यू कैन क्रॉस चेक
मैथमेटिकली आई हैव प्रूवन कि चलो अगर करना तो या यू कैन मैथमेटिकली डू दैट और आई जस्ट गिव यू द डेरीवेशन ऑफ द फॉर्मूला मैथमेटिकली लॉजिकली ऊपर है सो दैट वॉज इट और आई विल जनरली यूज दिस ओनली दिस इज जस्ट एक्स्ट्रा विच इज रिटर्न द सोल्यूशन एंड जियर दिस इज समथिंग एक्स्ट्रा विच इज जस्ट रिटर्न फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग या एंड वी आर डन विद दिस क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट इन ऑल यू कैन आस्क ये मिक्स वाला वेरियंस अभी तक आई आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड कंप्लीटली आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड वन थिंग दिस इज नॉट दैट मच क्लियर बिकॉज इट इज अ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अच्छा सर आई हैव वन मोर डाउट सर वाई हैवेंट यू कैलकुलेटेड मिक्स वेरियंस एंड यील्ड वेरियंस इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन कैन एनी बडी टेल मी द रीजन वाई आई हैवेंट कैलकुलेटेड मिक्स एंड यील्ड वेरियंस इन द प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन एनी वन exactly exactly that is the point if there is only one material sir how can you say mix there is only one material but if there are two or more materials then only mix variance can be calculated to so, chalo i can just say that mix variance can be mix and yield variance will be calculated when there are two or more raw materials I hope uh, that's because only one raw material is with. Okay, you also gave the answer. I just saw the chat box now. Okay, so that was the thing. I hope that things are crystal clear. The only thing, guys, which I ex uh, uh, expect or I want is you just need to revise this uh, question and solution. अच्छे से, so it will give you the confidence. The first question was basic, where only there were three variances. Now in this question, we went for uh, how many variances? Five variances. करके. Even in the fifth part, I give you alternate solution also. Okay. so that sums up the solution we can see the uh, that is the page where you can see this is the first and here it is the first three variances are here so first one to copy easy it was copy, uh, quite easy and we are done with this solution and question yeah okay let's start with this uh, before we start we will revise as to what we have done so listen to me carefully sir when you say standard costing what is the meaning of costing sir costing means calculation of the cost okay sir sir which cost you are interested in i am interested in calculating this standard cost what is standard something which is set on very first day like i can say it is benchmark target or budget it means on very first day like i can take your example even before you appear for your examinations you will make a target that i need 60% i need 40% i need 50% you will make a target okay so that is a target which is made by a company i want to earn this much profit okay okay this is a target right and at the end of the day you got this much profit obviously you are not god okay so whatever you estimate it won't match there must be some difference <clears throat> and that difference is nothing but a variance in costing we say variance <clears throat> and <clears throat> sorry uh this variance is nothing but guys net profit variance sir i would like to know first of all this variance can be favorable or it can be adverse it means you are estimating 100 rupees ka profit and you actually got 120 ka profit tell me is it adverse or favorable favorable you got more profit sir instead of 100 you got 120 that is good if there is good news it is favorable if there is a bad news that is adverse karke yeah it that difference is in our favor it is favorable yeah now i would like to know sir if there is a profit variance what is the reason behind that i am interested in knowing i am curious to know so the net profit variance is guys divided into two parts that is a cost variance and sales variance it will be divided into two parts it can be because of cost it can be because of sales that is debit side or credit side now now if you are talking about debit side i am interested to i am interested in knowing the bifurcation it is because of which cost so there is a material labor and overhead cost overhead can be further bifurcated into variable and fixed karke yes sir now we started with this variance that is material cost variance okay i would like to know that why there is a difference in this cost material cost 
anybody anybody can you tell me uh, anyone uh, can you tell me as to the material cost variance arises because of these two managers designation <coughs> these two managers con con <coughs> sorry bolo huh Production manager, purchase manager. Exactly. Production manager and purchase manager. So material cost variance. Okay. Uh, so, <coughs> sorry. So I can say that sir, first of all, there was one example and this data was there in front of you. Directly I can tell you to manufacture five pens, this should be your cost. This should be standard. <coughs> what is your cost is actual cost <coughs> now guys um okay <coughs> okay uh to uh aram say bolta no, that is better uh material uh price uh, material cost variance uh, can be is in the hands of two managers uh production manager and purchase manager okay sir now if you talk about uh this in order to manufacture a 5 pen, you should have incurred 20, 30 rupees and you have actually incurred 45. Can I say that I have incurred 15 rupees extra? That is my adverse variance. That is my cost variance. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is a difference in cost. Now, this difference in cost, that is, I have incurred a loss of 15 rupees. It can be because of two managers. So, let us talk with the purchase manager. I will tell him, I told you to purchase at the rate of rupees 2. You purchase at the rate of rupees 2.5 and how many units you have purchased? This many. I hope you understand. Uh, because of my purchase manager, I have incurred 50 paise extra. 50 paise extra. He has paid and for how many kgs? 18 kgs. Correct. So see that formula is there to this. And the answer is 9 adverse. Achha. If I know that this 50 rupees ka loss uh, out of this 9 is because of this manager, then I can say that now. Now there is one more variance, usage variance. So my production manager should have used 15 kgs, but instead he has used 18 kgs. So I can say that he has used 3 kgs extra. Agree. But now tell me this 3 kgs extra will be multiplied by what? Do you understand? It will be multiplied by 2 because that production manager does not have control over the actual price. So we say that the uh, discussion was there. It, it We did it in the previous lecture, but I hope you understand. The formula is gonna be this that is 15 minus 18 into 2 and you will get the answer so guys this is a short revision Achha, if you remember this usage variance is further bifurcated into two parts that is a mixed variance and yield variance but tell me this is possible when this is possible when usage variance can be further bifurcated between mix and yield when anyone when there are two or more raw materials hello because mix can happen only when there are two or more raw materials you can see in this question there was only one raw material so only three variances were there but yeah there was one more question where there were three raw materials so now the mix can, is possible you can change the mix also so you can see after usage variance we have further bifurcated that usage variance into two parts when and it is written also mix and yield variance will be calculated when there are two or more raw materials okay so that is a summary okay we are done with this uh, guys uh, let's start with this question question number four so let me give you the heading uh, so let's give the heading question number four if you would like to know the reference in the module uh, let's give the reference also if you want for your uh, reference i can give you the reference of module as to where it is <clears throat> So if I just talk about this question, this question is on page number, uh, sorry, this question is question number 14. You can see on, on page number 16.13.60, question number 14. So if you want to write down, you can write down question number 13. Uh, then the page number was, sorry, 14, 13.60. 14. This is the reference of the module. Okay, this is the reference of the module. Okay, now let's start with this question. Now let's start as to what is given. <clears throat> let's read. So it is written JK Limited manufactures NXE by mixing three raw materials. You can see. Achha. First of all, tell me if it is written there are three raw materials. 
Is it possible to calculate mix and yield variance? Yes or no? Yes. yes, it is possible because when there are two or more raw materials, there is a mix which is possible. Yes, sir. Okay. Focus over here. Okay. For every batch of 100 of NXE, what is your NXE first of all? Is this your raw material or your finished goods? Tell me. Finished goods. Finished goods. Because why? You are manufacturing it. You can understand. You are manufacturing this. So, in whatever you manufacture is your finished goods. So, I can say that to manufacture NXE out of your machinery which is your finished goods, what do you require if this is machine? So, this is machine. If you want this output, then there are three raw materials A, B, C. So, by combining these three raw materials, you get an XE, okay? And the data is there. For every batch of uh, uh, every batch of 100 kgs of NXE, 125 kgs of raw materials are used. Karke, okay? Now, tell me uh, input output. Uh, there is a problem that which can arise. So, tell me out of this, which one is input, which one is output. So, 100, it is output or input? Output. Output. And to get this output, the input of raw material will be 125 kgs. Okay, that is clear. Let's do one thing. Uh, let's make the table. Uh, this time, when you make the table, uh, what can be done? Karke, to what can be done? Uh, let me just have a look over here. Chalo, let's read. You will understand as to what it is. Uh, achha, chalo, table bana let, let us make the table. This time, when you make the table, let me check the formatting. The way we make the table, uh, always I will keep the same format. So, working note number one, table. Okay. So, let's write working note number one, table. Are bapre, ye nahi chahiye, let's come here. Let's write working note number one, table. <clears throat> now, guys, when you make table, understand uh, how many lines and all karke. So this time I will say first of all we need to draw four, uh, you need three rows. So to get three rows you will have to draw four lines. Okay. So there are three rows which are there. After that you can leave six lines. There are three products but still you can leave six lines because some working will also come. One, two, three, four, five, six, six rows I need. Then there is one total ka column. <clears throat> that is how you can make the table. Then. Then uh, the first column will be quite small, like it has only two columns, type and the quantity. Uh, then the rest of the table will be divided into two equal parts, which will have three columns, three sub columns. Achha, so please make this table. This is budget which is made on first day. Then for comparison purpose. <coughs> Achha. 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 Okay, now so the guys there are columns like budget, standard, then I can say actual. Okay, now. Here we go, there is a type, then quantity, quantity, price, cost, quantity, price, cost. Now let's understand. First of all, how many raw materials are there? So if you see the question, you will understand there are three raw materials. There are three raw materials A, B and C. So let's write over here A, B and C. A b and c these are my raw materials okay now there is one more thing which is given here you always write output which comes out of the machinery whatever is your input which is written over here total input okay now i hope you understand 125 kgs will be written over here this much kg will be the input and 100 kgs will be the output that is my product nxc so to get 100k output your input is going to be 125 okay uh, that statement was written over there you can see that this statement was written ha sir aage badho chalo let's read ahead as to what is given in uh, april 20x2 uh, 60 batches were prepared to produce an output of 5600 so actual output is this 
so this much batches were uh, prepared to produce an output output of 5600 so now i will say for 5600 what should be my cost and for 5600 kgs what is my cost that will be compared karke what should be my cost will be compared with what is my cost okay let's understand now if i proceed ahead guys it, there is a data which is given the standard uh, and the actual uh, for the april is given mix 50 30 100 now now there is a catch i hope you will get it this 50 30 and 20 percent will be calculated of abc of 100 or of 125 when you calculate it should be of 100 or it should be of 125 bolo hello I would like to know this. That's it. Simple. Just send me the answer in chat box. I would like to know. Uh, Advet, that is right answer. I would like to know just a ka. Uh, yeah. If 100 is my output, input is 125. Yeah, Vedant, that is right answer. Moksha, uh, Ridhima, Arpit, nah, Arpit, nah, Ridhima, that is right answer. See, it is written, it is written that, first of all, this is what raw material. And this is mix of raw material. And when you talk about raw metal, that is nothing but input. So, whatever is your input, that will be in this ratio. A will be 50%, B will be 30% and C will be 20%. Whatever is your input. Now, what is your input? Your input is not... 100 understand 100 is the output that you get but in order to get 100 ka output what goes inside the machinery is 125 and whatever is your 125 it will be in this ratio 50 30 and 20 that was the instruction which was given so i hope now that is clear many students have given the right answer now i am not taking name of every minute yeah 125 125 anyone has any doubt please let me know so 125 is your input 50% should be A, 30% should be B and 20% should be C. You can check that 50, 30 and 20. Karke. Yep. Now let's calculate this. Let's calculate 125 into 50%, 62.5. Then 30%, that is going to be 37.5. Then 20%, that is going to be 25. Okay, so uh, 62.5, 37.5 and then 25. Karke. That is going to be your input. To get the output so this will go inside the machinery total will be 125 and then you will get output of 100 that is a standard okay what is the standard rate sir that is specified so standard rate which is specified is guys this 20 uh 10 and uh, 5 that is a standard rate you can see that standard price 20 10 and 5 20 10 and 5 okay chalo now if i proceed uh, if i just read ahead if i just read ahead what is given is actual mix Achha. now i know the actual price so i will just write it down let uh, the rest part you will have to tell me now how to calculate this anybody anybody i would like to see who can calculate this anybody who can calculate this value the highlighted portion that is actual quantity of a let's see who will give me the right answer actual quantity of a what is my actual input of A? Read some information which is there in the question. First four or five lines. Then there is a table. Yeah. And ca calculate. Advet nahi. Nishi nahi. I would like to know this highlighted area. Priyam Nai uh, Vedant Nai Nishi and Vedant you got same answers but Nai put to Gadbadi kya uska andar dekta Vedant Nai Nishi Nai chalo peta chalo ek chiz ek chiz sabse pehle first of all again this is a mix percentages actual mix percentages what is actual mix karke? It is in this ratio 60, 20, 20. The first job will be to calculate this. The way you wrote 125 over here, you will have to calculate actual quantity, actual quantity, actual input. They haven't specified anything. Sir, what to do? What to do? They haven't specified anything. Now, let's read this again. 
understand what was given 60 batches were prepared to produce an output of 5600 i hope you understand to get this output to get this output no one has given the right answer to get this output of 5600 tell me if 60 batches you have prepared it means what will be your total input i hope you understand in one batch your input is 125 and you have prepared 60 uh, 60 batches uh, to get this output so this is gonna be your total input now hello you are getting it yes sir, yes sir. okay it was clearly written in every batch the input is 125 and to get this output there are 60 batches which were prepared so i can say that here first of all here uh, you can uh, see this as to here it can be calculated that is 60 batches were prepared to produce an output the so 60 batches multiplied by 125 and every batch has a input of 125 so 60 batches into 125 so this was guys your uh, input which is important figure it is difficult to calculate this so you can highlight this now the rest part is easy once you know that this is actual input that is 7500 what is the ratio that we will just multiply Uh, the ratio is uh, 50, 60 20 20 so let's write 60 20 20 percent okay let's calculate Anyone has any confusion? Uh, you can tell me, sir, I did not get this. Uh, I hope uh, that is clear. So now uh, we can just proceed with Aage ka part. Okay. So I hope that is done. Now, the rest thing is easy. First, please calculate this cost. I am not interested in individual values. So 4500 into 21 M plus 1500 into it M plus 1500 into 6 M plus MRC. Double one, double five, zero. Check. Double one double five zero. Achha, now anybody can tell me this. Now it is easy, right? Uh, I just go like this. Ki, uh, itne ka in, uh, iske liye ye. It is like this. Your output has increased by 56 times. Your input should also increase by 56 times. I make this calculations. Uh, I will give you that working again if you want. That is going to be this. 5600 divided by 100. Multiply, multiply. 62.5 equal to. 37.5 equal to 25 equal to so please calculate 3500 37.5 2100 25 equal to 1400 you can say 125 equal to that is 7000 so actually the input should be this to get this output your input should be this but your actual input is more you can see that the input is this 7500 anyone has any doubt with reference to any value please ask me sir can you please repeat this part because it is thoda sa complicated so if you come across any doubt you have to ask me otherwise the general assumption is you have got the point okay Ye wala. This one. Hello. So quantity column of standard. Achha, ye, ye wala na. Achha. See, if I tell my manager to get output of 100, your input should be 62.5. So to, if he has produced 5600, how many units I will allow that you can use this much karke. So for 100, if I say this much, so for 5600, I can allow you can use this much. It is like understood? Fair enough. So, I, I, what I am saying, if your output has increased by 56 times, which is this 5600 divided by 100, if your output has increased by 56 times, you will allow him to increase the input also by 56 times. 
ओके आई होप दैट इज क्लियर नाउ आई कैन प्रोसीड राइट ओके फेयर इन नाउ प्लीज कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू प्लीज कैलकुलेट दिस वैल्यू थ्री थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू ट्वेंटी एम प्लस टू थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड इंटू टेन एम प्लस फोर्टीन हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव एम प्लस एम आर सी नाइन्टी एट थाउजेंड दैट इज गन बी द वैल्यू दैट इज गन बी द वैल्यू विच विल बी देर ओके नाउ नाउ इफ आई आस्क यू टू कैलकुलेट द प्राइज वेरियंस दे आर आस्किंग ओनली फॉर टू वेरियंसिस इफ यू जस्ट टेक द क्वेश्चन they are asking only for two variances first of all tell me is it possible to calculate all five variances in this question yes or no or only three variances can be calculated hello all are possible all are possible but if question is not asking then why the hell you should calculate if you want you can write note all five variances can be calculated but question has asked only for two so we are calculating only two variances or if you want we can calculate all there is a chalo na to let us calculate two only let us calculate two let's write one student note that is reference note all five variances can be calculated as there are two or more more than two, two or more raw materials or there are two or more raw materials but question has specifically mentioned to calculate only price and usage variant so it is possible to calculate all but uh, if question is asking specifically for two to kyu dimag well, let's not waste the time let's calculate the two chalo i need price variance ka answer from your side guys so be very careful and calculate you have the data i need final answer let's see how many of you can calculate that so i need answer in chat box because you you just have to turn the pages you will have to check the formulas but do whatever it takes but give me the answer put that effort from your side i need answer in chat box material price variance rg uh mm, yeah that is right answer vedant nahi arpit nahi priyam are 9000 adverse nahi aayega that is a cost uh, nahi nahi 9000 adverse nahi aayega do teen logon ne bola nahi 9000 adverse is not the answer मटेरियल So I need price variance. The first question from their side is material price variance. Priyam, ah, uh -huh, now that is right. Okay, that was just that plus minus wala. But you need to take care of that also. Okay, now, chala let us calculate that material price variance. Now, if you talk about metal price variance, sir, how to calculate sir price to price ka difference multiplied by actual quantity? Yes, sir. Chalo, let's write. Now, when you write this, the formula is gonna be if you just want to write the formula, S P minus A P into A Q. Please write it somewhere if you do not remember. S P stands for standard price, or A P stands for actual price, or and A Q stands for actual quantity. So please write somewhere. Okay. 
रिधिमा दैट इज राइट ध्रुवी दैट इज राइट वेदा दैट इज राइट ओके अद्वैत ओके यू सेज ऑल्सो ओके दैट इज राइट ओके वैष्णवी दैट इज राइट भावी का नहीं सम कैलकुलेशन वी सी वी विल सी दैट देखो क्या देर इज अ देर इज अ बी देर इज अ सी दीज आर माई रॉ मटेरियल्स सर वट इज माई प्राइज निश्चित दैट इज राइट सर अभी यूसेज वाला मैं नहीं देखता फिर अभी अभी लेट्स ट्वेंटी टेन फाइव ट्वेंटी टेन फाइव सर दिस इज द प्राइज एट विच आई टोल्ड माई परचेस मैनेजर भाई परचेस एट दिस प्राइज वॉट ही डीड लेट्स चेक he has purchased at the rate of rupees 21 8 and 6 so because of him there is some profit and there is some loss okay multiplied he has purchased how many units sir he has purchased this many whatever we have consumed he has purchased 4500 1500 now If some answer, any answer is plus, that is favorable. If any answer is in negative, that is the adverse. Okay, please remember this. Okay, now I generally use m plus ka function. So twenty minus a twenty one into four thousand five hundred m plus. Answer was negative, so I have written adverse. Ten minus a eight into fifteen hundred m plus three thousand positive. That's why it is favorable. Five minus a six into fifteen hundred m plus. Fifteen hundred, but negative. So that is adverse. MRC. The answer will be three thousand adverse. Okay. That is how you will do the answer plus minus. And yeah, always you need to place M plus and at the end MRC. Okay. Now, so I hope now you have got the usage also. Then that is easy. Vedant. Okay. Bhavika. That is right. Now. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Priyam. That is right. Okay. For usage. Fair enough. Krish. That is right for usage. Okay. Fair enough. Pradhima. Uh, Nay. चलो देखते हैं। नाउ गाइस लेट्स गो फॉर द सेकंड पार्ट व्हाट इज माय सेकंड वेरिएंस सेकंड वेरिएंस इज अ मटेरियल यूसेज वेरिएंस सर ओके व्हाट इज द फार्मूला सर द फार्मूला इज These quantities he should have used, and he has used this many kgs and this rate. करके, so that is gonna be standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard price. A, B, C. So now, if I talk about standard quantity, that is gonna be this three thousand five hundred or two thousand one hundred. One thousand four hundred minus minus minus. What is actual quantity? Four thousand five hundred, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred. Four thousand five hundred, fifteen hundred, fifteen hundred. Yes. Multiplied by what is the standard price of twenty ten five? Twenty ten five. That's calculated. Three thousand five hundred minus four thousand five hundred into twenty, so twenty thousand adverse it is. Six thousand favorable. Five thousand five hundred adverse. Fourteen five hundred adverse. So they were asking for this, so we just gave them these two answers. We were asking this, and we gave this answer. Okay, so guys, we are done with these two variances. We can say that we are done with these two variances. Yes, sir. Let's proceed with the next variance. So, sir, sir, sir. There is one data. Do you have one doubt, ki sir? This data, why it was given in the question? Anybody any doubt? No doubt. Okay. I hope we have quantity purchased. Quantity purchased. Okay. First of all, I hope you guys are done with this. Now let's understand. So, then why this data was given in the question quantity of raw material purchased? Actually, actually, it is the policy of the company. It depends upon the company. This price variance can be calculated at the point of consumption. 
or can be calculated at the point of purchase also okay in c final level there is a big discussion as to single plan and partial plan because c this entire topic of standard costing is there in ca final where it is taught for around 40 to 45 hours okay here we are finishing in 10 to 12 hours so but still i will give you some idea so there is a consumption and then there is a purchase now understand this suppose you are a manager purchase manager every company has their own opinion like fifo lifo depreciation ka then slm wdv karke so now understand first of all tell me this is which quantity this is which quantity when you are blaming him this is which quantity purchase wala ki consumed wala no idea sir we don't know what is happening karke sir this is which quantity tell me consumed na baba ye output hai you get this to get this output you have prepared 60 batches and every batch was having 125 so this is something which actually which is actually consumed by machinery and then come that machinery gave you the output of 5600 this is something which is consumed hello so now this purchase variance we always calculate at the point of see this at the point of consumption at the point of consumption Yeah, to based on consumption. We always calculate based on that, based on consumption. We always calculate like this only. This actual quantity is consumed. Which quantity it is consumed? Now, but this same price variance, or if we want, it can be calculated. Now, let me just change the page or now let us write again material price variance sir material price variance can also be calculated at the point of purchase that is based on purchase it can be calculated based on purchase guys so yeah metal price variance can also be calculated based on purchase how let's understand now if you talk about this uh, based on purchase so the formula will be standard price minus actual price into actual quantity but this is which one purchased Now, how many uh, raw metals are there guys? There are A, there is a B, there is a C. Entire thing will be same. Entire thing will be same except entire formula is the same you can see but except this. What will you change? This quantity. Instead of quantity consumed, what you gonna write as quantity purchased? It is this 5000, 2000. Uh, 1200 5000 2000 and 1200 please calculate this answer institute has done like this why we will discuss that also but calculate that is 20 minus 21 into 5000 that is going to be 5000 adverse please do this that is going to be 4000 favorable 1200 adverse and 2200 adverse Please calculate this. What is the difference? It is this. Purchased. Achha. Now understand this. Understand this. Are you done with this? So that I will start explaining the point. Hello. Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Now understand. Main kya bolta hai? Main aisa bolta hai. See, suppose you are a purchase manager. You are a purchase manager. What is your job? Your job is to purchase from the supplier. Your job is to purchase from the supplier, the raw material. That is one thing which is there. And whatever raw material guys you purchase, that will be used by which manager? That will be used by there is one more manager. That is production manager. That will be used by him, production manager. Now, there is a store. 
in between there is a store where we keep stock there is a opening and closing stock which will be there opening and closing stock of raw material which will be there now understand so now this is known as purchase we are purchasing this much quantity but i hope you understand then this is something which is consumed karke okay consumed purchased now is it possible first tell me yes or no we have purchased 100 units but uh, only 80 units are consumed karke is it possible yes sir yes because we can keep 20 units in godown right there is a possibility you will keep 20 units ka stock okay now if you follow this method that is let us say that standard price was 10 and the actual price was 12 so i can say that there is a 2 rupee ka loss because of this manager instead of 10 he has paid it 12 so here i can multiply it by 2 here also i can multiply it by 2 so here there is a loss of 100 adverse instead of 10 rupees we have paid 12 rupees and here there is a loss of uh one uh sorry not not 100 adverse that is gonna be 200 adverse and here it is gonna be uh 160 adverse so first of all tell me if you are the owner of the company which variance you feel as a better variance for your organization tell me consume consume okay uh but yeah chalo, consume why because when you purchase that is not your cost you consider this as a cost only when it is consumed right yes, sir. or okay chalo, okay you are saying that sir 80 units are consumed at this so when see i can say that in cost sheet in cost sheet tell me which cost will be written 100 into actual price is let us say 12 okay actual price is 12 so 100 into 12 will be written or 80 into 12 will be written tell me in cost sheet 80 into 12 yeah you understand this. this is the cost so sir because this is only my cost that goods are there in my closing stock so that should not be considered as my cost that is the stock which is there so we should calculate the variance only when it is used so we always do this only all the questions which we have solved we do this only but extra institute says and that is logical also see there is a possibility that uh, this manager purchase manager can leave job in the next year he may leave the job in the next year there is a possibility now what happens is when you give this standard costing at targets now based on that you reward also you give them reward also if you did well we will give you the reward if you have performed bad then we won't give you the reward you know what is going to happen let us say i hope you understand because of purchase manager what is the actual loss first of all tell me what is actually the loss incurred by the company is it 200 or 180 actual loss it is 200 because during this year this purchase manager has actually purchased this many units and for these units instead of 10 rupees he has paid it 12 so i hope you understand he is responsible for this 200 ka loss do you agree with me because he has actually purchased yes. the only fact is we haven't used those all units we have used only 80 it will be used in the next year so when these are used in the next year we will blame him in the next year we are not blaming him because we have used 80 only in this year we are blaming him only for 80 units for this 20 units we will blame but we will blame him in the next year but certain companies can say that nahi sir, aisa nahi karte hai. the loss at the point when it is incurred the loss when it is incurred we should blame in this year itself karke. so we should blame him for 200 only it means this pr uh, price variance can be calculated based on quantity purchased instead of quantity consumed karke. it can be calculated there is a possibility company can calculate to see actually what is the real benefit and real loss it can be done Alright, so module may they have just said also. Chalo, I will give you that idea. The question number 14 it was no. Huh. See, what was our first variance? Uh, the first variance was 3000 adverse, then 1400 adverse. But note, total price variance as well. It can be calculated at the time of purchase as well. And if I do that, 
और आंसर इज गना बी टू थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड विच वी डेड करके तो इफ यू वॉन्ट इट कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड प्रैक्टिकली द रीजन टू ब्लेम हिम एट दैट पॉइंट टाइम ओनली तो एज एन मैन द क्वेश्चन गिवज यू द डेटा ऑफ क्वान्टिटी कंज्यूम्ड विच इज जनरली इन अवर टेबल एंड अलग से इफ द डेट ऑफ परचेज इज ऑल्सो गिवन प्लीज कैलकुलेट वन मोर एक्स्ट्रा वेरियंस हालांकि दिस इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ सोल्यूशन दिस इज जस्ट अ नोट सोल्यूशन एंड हियर इट सेल्फ दिस इज जस्ट वन नोट विच इज गिवन फॉर यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग but still i would recommend if some data is given like this please you also write one note and give this answer karke uh tumko samjha sab sara we can say we are conclude we can conclude this question hello yes sir okay so we are done with this okay guys uh, let's read as to what is given it is written that gap limited operates a system of standard costing okay sir in respect of one of its product okay who, uh, which is manufactured with a single cost center that is in one factory from the following details so it is given that budgeted data then there is actual data i can see that there are a and b two raw materials so accordingly first let me make my table then only i will proceed with the solution so working note number 1 table why the table banane ka let's make the table then let's solve the question so this is the table guys when you make the table again uh, you need three rows where the you need three rows so these are three rows which require after three rows you need to leave two rows because two raw materials are there then one for a total karke okay so that is going to be guys table that is going to be the table here you will write standard then here you will write uh, 9999999999 here you will write budget here you will write standard and here you will write actual after writing this here you will write a quantity type now i am writing a shortcut huh? quantity quantity price cost quantity price cost chalo let's read the question and put in the values so let me put the values which are there it is written there are two types of raw material raw material a and b this is going to be your input which is going to be a uh, 60 40 100 and your output is going to be 80 which is over here output i will i am writing over here output what is the rate which is 20 and 30 it is this 20 and 30 okay sir then actual data actual output is 80 units so i compare like this for 80 units what should be my cost and for 80 units what is my cost all right of the popot hoga you understand that i should not prepare budget the same 80 80 is there so i can copy that thing that data was there 2400 ka cost will be incurred karke chalo a and b actual this is 70 it is given it is 30 it is given 70 and 30 that's it this is the data which is there in the question guys this is missing figure so let me highlight this these were missing figures okay these were missing figures i am not aware as to what is this value okay but sir they have given some information generally they will ask you to calculate price variance but they have given the price variance which is 105 let us utilize that let us utilize that and calculate this price variance so it will help you to calculate the actual price okay so first let us calculate the actual price you will write actual price of material a actual price of material a now when you say actual price of material a here we go when you say actual price of material a sir what is the formula for actual price of material a the formula of variance if i talk about price variance so what is the price variance material price variance material a if i just talk about the price variance ka formula price variance is equal to i know the formula sir the variance is nothing but this standard price minus actual price into actual quantity yes sir standard price minus actual price into actual quantity sir okay what do i know 
I know that this is 105 adverse sir. Yes sir. Do I know the standard price sir? Yes sir. It is a 20. Do I know the actual price? Nice sir. This is something which you want to calculate into. What is your actual quantity? 70. Okay sir. Now, please understand. I hope you remember sir. Adverse means minus. Favorable means plus sir. So it is minus 105 sir is equal to 20 minus or I can say divided by 70 is equal to 20 minus AP that is actual price. Now 105 divided by 70 that gives me 1.5 negative is equal to 20 minus AP. Now AP is equal to 20 plus 1.5. So therefore actual price of raw material A is equal to 21.5 that is gonna be the solution so please write this down that is gonna be my solution kya baat hai? Vedant uh, that is right answer Dekhte hai. Yeah, the, we are done with the first part guys which is 21.5 if anyone has any doubt in this missing value you just let me know okay so that is gonna be the answer You just need to remember this part. Okay. ये कितने लोग फोन कर कर के अभी आज पेपर हुआ है ना तो everyone is calling कि अच्छा था बुरा था जो भी था ठीक है. Now तो चलो. So uh, yeah. Uh, this is guys the the value which is twenty one point five year. Okay, okay, okay. So let me write. Abhi concentrate karna bhi free ho jata hai. But okay, let's concentrate. 21.5. Okay, chalo. Now, uh, Vedant has given me the answer for the second question also. So I expect guys from you. Let's see. Material quantity, actual quantity of this. Now, it is not given. So please calculate everyone. I can give you some time. Let's see. Actual quantity of B. I will wait around for one minute max. Let's see. It can be calculated. There is one more variance which is there. Use it. Krish, right answer. Archie, nine. Nishi, right answer. Achha, uh, Advait, right answer. Dhruvi, nine. Uh, Archie, nine. Then Krish, right answer. Vaishnavi, nahi. I need quantity. I need this. I need this. You can calculate this. Then you will get this. Then go here. Just see to it. You can get this. Easy, easy. Not that. Dhridhima, nine. Dhruvi, right answer. Chalo, let me write now the second part. What they were asking guys, they were asking for actual quantity of material B. So let me write that actual quantity. Actual quantity of material B. Ajha, sir, the working will be divided into two parts. Sir. Material usage variance is 107. Huh, uh, Advait, there are various ways to calculate the answer. There are many ways to get the answer. But yeah, I am following one of the method maybe. Okay, understand this. Now, what I am saying is first of all, what it is 105. Achha, usage variance also you gave me. Let me check that. Uh -huh, Advait, that is right. But okay, chalo. let me first focus upon this. Uh, now, Actual quantity of material B, first of all, the working will be guys divided into two parts now, two parts, Pella A part. What will you do? We will write this formula. What is material cost variance? There is one more variance which is given, the material cost variance. So material cost variance is nothing but, can I say material price variance plus usage variance? Huh. Material price variance plus usage variance are sorry 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 uh, the formula here it is gonna be uh, my mistake stand ha 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 my mistake total standard cost minus total actual cost so now what is your material cost variance? So that answer was given, sir, 275 adverse. 
it was specified that your tender cost is 2400 yeah but it was not given total actual cost so let us write total actual cost but sir we can find this then a particular price gradient plus material cheapest gradient plus kaise do you do you particular cost gradient is 275 a and Price change is 105, so each price will be different. One second, one second. Which 105 you are talking about, it is uh, which variance, first of all, 105 is A ka variance, right? But sir, price variance is only because of A, because B ka standard price and actual price is same, 30, 30. Chalega, but uh, see, as I told you, there are always different ways to get the answers. I'm, sir, it clicked me false. Theek hai, bol. So, I have to directly go to like, jo, total actual cost find 2675 and 1505 less. Kiya. So, I got 1170. So, what do we do? What do we do? We do just present it, right? Pujo bol it is just presentation of that. Achha, okay, I am not doing anything new, we are just presenting it in a better manner. Okay, so now let's calculate the total actual cost. See, there are different ways. It's up to you. Total actual cost is going to be 2400. It was negative. So now it, if it comes on this side, it will be add, added. And that is going to be 2675. That is going to be your cost. Okay. 2675 that is going to be your cost once you get this cost now that is metal price variance now here we go B part material now here let me calculate this once you know your total actual cost actual cost is divided into two parts total actual cost is guys divided into two parts actual cost of a plus actual cost of b so how do you get actual cost of a and b it is nothing but actual quantity into actual price plus here again actual quantity into actual price Achha. what do i know do I know the total actual cost? Yes, 2675. It is like this. I know this cost. I know this total also. Difference will be there. Then divide by 30. The, that is what is going to happen. So, yeah, I know 2675. I know this cost. This 21 and uh, 70 and 21.5. 70 and 21.5. Plus, sir. Uh, out of your actual quantity and actual price what do you know actual quantity and actual price you don't know the actual quantity but you know the actual price which is gonna be 30 for b actual quantity is something you want okay so Thirty nine units actual units that is what they are asking for. Yes, sir. Okay, so that is the answer. Thoda lendi bindi hai, but yeah, we just need to do it. Karke. Okay, so that is thirty nine. Okay, let me write. Please, I will repeat that again and again when I am solving, when I am teaching anything, and if you come across any doubt, you should ask me. Chalo, fir aage badte. 39 once it is done you can find out this value 70 plus 39 that is gonna be first of all 109 then 
यू शुड बी एक्टिव यू शुड बी अलर्ट एज टू वॉट इज हैपनिंग ओके नाउ अच्छा मेनी पीपल हैव सेंट द आंसर लेट मी चेक दो थिंग्स अरे आराम से इतने जल्दी आंसर भी मत एक एक करके चेक करते हैं आई विल चेक चलो एक एक करके वो आगे के आंसर चेक करने में देन इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट आई विल गो वन बाई वन एज ऑफ नाउ आई एम डन विद दीज टू ओके इफ एनी थिंग इज पेंडिंग जस्ट लेट मी नो दरवाइज आई एम स्विचिंग टू द नेक्स्ट पेज गाइज ओके तो या आई होप दिस मच इज डन या लेट्स रीड सेकेंड पार्ट दैट इज थर्ड पार्ट material price variance very easy sir material usage variance very very easy price and usage variance the price variance uh, i have given yeah i have got the answer dhruvi and nishi that is right and yeah it's okay you will get the answer please calculate at your end that is very easy sir you can get it price variance you know these things difference difference this into that's it and you get the answer so let me just copy this table for my reference and i will calculate the values over here this is just a extra copy which is done now answer number 3 material price variance that is standard price minus actual price इंटू एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी ऐसा कुछ होता ये डिफरेंस ये डिफरेंस प्राइस प्राइस का सॉरी प्राइस प्राइस का डिफरेंस इंटू क्वान्टिटी जब ए बी दैट इज ट्वेंटी थर्टी माइनस माइनस ट्वेंटी वन पॉइंट फाइव थर्टी इंटू एक्चुअल क्वान्टिटी विच इज सेवेंटी एंड थर्टी नाइन या and you are going to get the answer 20 minus 21.5 into 70 sir there is no difference in price variance only so yeah that is nil and that is going to be 105 adverse now i know the price variance the usage variance can easily calculated that is the fourth part the next variance they are asking for is material usage variance Uh, which can be easily done. So I'm not checking your answers now. I know that you will be easily like, still. Uh, yeah, uh, Vedan Dhruvi. Uh, uh, okay, right answer. Uh, I know that it can be done easily. That's okay. Even if you don't send the answer, I know it can be done by you easily. Usage variance. So this much usage should be there. This much we have used at this rate. Correct. Yeah. So please calculate. That is gonna be. Actual uh, this much quantity you should have used. You have actually used this much quantity multiplied by standard price. So standard quantity which he should they should have used is sixty and forty minus minus. Actual usage is seventy and thirty nine. And at what price twenty and thirty? Two hundred add hours. Thirty favorable. One seventy add hours. Please check. Now here we go. Now something complicated. Maybe there is a possibility. Now you will get doubt. So please again, uh, again refer the previous question. Whatever you do, but I will check this answer now in front of my screen. Mixed variance ka answer. so please send me the answers mix variance ka yes nishi that is right answer uh advet that is right answer now there is a mixed variance guys uh, maybe you will come across doubt let's see uh, what about mixed variance you can see uh, the mixed variance i taught you it is like this first of all if the input is 104 what should be the standard mix standard mix should be in the this ratio 60 to 40 you can see 
on very first is the instruction was given that a should be 60 and b should be 40 that is a and b should be in this ratio so if i apply that what is gonna be my standard mix which is also known as rsq rsq is nothing but revised standard quantity that is known as rsq institute calls it as rsq so if i calculate rsq so 104 will be divided in this ratio 109 will be divided into this ratio into 60 percent that is going to be 65.4 minus equal to 43.6 yeah so that is going to be the ratio okay now it means a should be 65.4 uh, these are uh to pe, and uh, if i just talk about this uh b should be 43.6 karke. let's see now mix variance material mix variance now if you calculate the formula is going, going to be r will come the entire thing will remain same the only thing which is going to change is usage and mix everything is same except one column that is instead of this sq what will come is rsq and if rsq comes this indicates that whatever is your input 109 this indicates this is actual mix of 109 what should be the mix of 109 so the mix of 109 should be vedan that is right okay mix of 109 should be this 65.4 and 43.6 that should be the mix that is in the standard ratio 60 is to 40 65.4 minus 70 into 20 m plus 92 adverbs 43.6 minus 39 into 30 m plus 138 favorable last answer 46 favorable please check this i hope uh, that is clear uh, there is as such no doubt with that okay fair enough so sorry Show that RSQ should I explain or you got the point? Understood? Yes, sir, okay. Fair enough. Sorry? I have not written and this writing. Okay, fine, fair enough. Uh, once done, let me know, then we will proceed, yeah? Done. done. Now, now there is a yield variance. To calculate the yield variance, there are two ways. Material yield variance. Material yield variance. Uh, whatever method you follow, uh, you can see that we have discussed that in the previous question while solving that. That to calculate the yield variance, there are two ways you can check. Uh, the first one was this in totality. This formula can be used or mathematically we have concluded this formula like this usage is nothing but mix plus yield we know the usage can be used sq sq minus of uh, channel quantity minus actual quantity for mix it is uh, rsq minus aq that is a uh, this r will come over here so now if you just want to calculate the what is the formula for yield so at the end we have got this sq minus rsq is equal to here so the formula is going to be sq minus rsq if you use that that is quite easy then there is no need to worry about i can just directly say yeah here uh, if i just use that formula so again i will copy usage variance entire usage variance i will copy okay usage variance i will copy and then i will change one thing over here that is this column i will change so material yield variance and material sub usage variance are the same same, 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 same. I must have written that, na? Nahi likha kya kidar? Nahi. Likha hai. Still, let me check. Ha, it is written, na? Arpit, see. Okay? Fair enough. So, now. Now, here we go. Uh, this variance is nothing but, you just need to again copy this variance. 
usage variance except this column actual quantity instead of this we will write uh, rsq so the effect is nullified you can say just mathematically if i say once added then subtracted so if you combine this this effect is nullified what remains is this only and logically also the explanation was done in the previous lecture that how how much scrap is generated so Sixty minus sixty-five point four. One zero eight adverse. Then forty minus forty-three point six into thirty. अरे एक सेकंड यार मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ? कुछ अच्छा Sixty-five point four into twenty. That is one zero eight adverse. One second. Eh? That is going to be the answer. Again, there is another way also. If you want to calculate two one six adverse, there is another way also. Or you could have done like this in totality. In totality, you should have used hundred, but you have used one zero eight. Then here is the difference. So hundred minus one zero nine you have used. And what is the standard weighted average rate? The standard rate will be this over here. Two thousand four hundred divided by hundred. So we will get that answer directly. Hundred minus one zero nine into two thousand four hundred divided by hundred. That is going to be two one six adverse. So it is up to you. Oh, uh, so that's it. So that was the another method. Whatever you are comfortable with, you can just follow that. Uh, at the end, if you want, uh, you can just uh, cross verify uh, by preparing that uh, what we can say so that that diagram. That you have a cost variance. And guys, cost variance has two parts. Price, usage, then mix uh, yield. What is uh, your uh, usage variance? One uh, seventy adverse. Next variance forty six favorable to one six adverse. Please check the tally whether it tallies or not. To one six minus forty six. Yes, it tallies one seventy. And then one zero five adverse. So one zero five plus one seventy. That is going to be two seventy five adverse. Just check. Yeah, that is going to be two seventy five adverse. Yes. That was two seventy five adverse. Yep, we can write this much, and we are done with this question. Okay, guys. So we started with what? So we started with the standard costing. Okay, sir. In standard costing, I can say that standard cost is nothing but calculation of standard cost is nothing but budgeted or a target cost, which is decided on first day. Guys, this is something that you want to achieve. Let us say you decided a cost. You decided that this is the sales which I would like to achieve, and this is the profit which I would like to earn. That is the standard profit that you wanted to earn, sir. On last day when you got actual data, what is the actual profit, net profit that you have earned? It is over here. So you have a standard profit. You have a actual profit. Now what? 
whatever is there suppose you estimate a profit of rupees 100 and you have got profit of rupees 120 so there is a difference that difference is known as a variance and this difference is of profit so this is known as net profit variance okay first of all this 20 ka difference is adverse or favorable logically speaking this is adverse or favorable hello Favorable. favorable yeah that is favorable the reason is you have earned extra so difference can be in your favor then it is favorable or it can be against the company that is adverse karke for company yeah sir this difference can arise because of two reasons this difference can arise because of two reasons because of change in cost because of change in a sales so sir when you say because of change in sales so uh, that can be the change in the material cost labor cost variable overhead cost or a fixed cost Achha. Sir, if I talk about material cost, sir, there are two managers who are responsible. Laksh, just tell the designation. Two managers are responsible for this material cost. Bullo. Laksh. Sorry, sir, I just joined the lecture. Okay. Uh, please complete the previous lectures just in case you haven't done that. Okay, otherwise that backlog will always be there. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, RG that is right. Uh, Khushi, for material variance, there are two people who are responsible. Khushi? Yes, sir. Yeah, Nishi, the right. The purchase manager and huh. the... Bolo. Production manager. Yes. Please, please, revision karne ka, nahi to baad mein wo, thik hai, chalo. Now, so now there are two people who are responsible, that is a purchase manager and production manager, Vaishnavi Dhruvi, right answer, chalo. Now, uh, Edwet, if I just talk about material variances, total how many variances are there in material? Three, four, five. Uh, total of five types. Five, can you just name them? The first one is cost, now tell me. Uh, cost is subdivided into price hmm. and... Uh, uh, price and usage hmm. and usage is further divided hmm. uh, usage is further divided into uh, material uh, mix variance hmm. and uh, sub usage variance it feels like you're referring to the notebook i hope that is not the case no 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 okay fair enough so that is a uh, mix and yield variance now there are formulas also which we have discussed okay now so that was the discussion which was all about sir material costing now sir sir now we will start with the labor so everyone i need your 100 percent attention okay so let us start with the labor now let us start with the labor okay so we are done with the short oh uh, guys uh, let us start with the question number seven uh, once we do this question you will understand uh, the labor variances so you don't have to worry just uh, read the question labor wala and you will understand labor variances with the help of this Let's start with this question. What is given? Let us understand. Achha, first of all, first of all, sir, in material, there is a quantity, then there is a price, and then there is a cost. I hope you understand the, what is the change that will happen over here. Like uh, even before I solve the question, just to give you an idea, if in material there was a quantity, here you make the payment based on what hours. I hope you understand. Worker, you will have to work for 10 hours. And for every hour, I'm going to give you 2 rupees karke. Then you will, that cost will become 20 karke. So that is how the cost is calculated. 10 hours you will work. Every hour I will give you 2 rupees. 20 rupees will be paid. Yes, sir. Aage bado. Let's proceed. Achha ji. Chalo. So let's proceed. Now understand. Let's read the question. Entire format, entire thing, solution will remain same. Only name will change. It is a replica of material. Replica of material. Okay. So let us do one thing, let us do one thing, uh, even before we start, uh, we can just make a format, okay, we can make a format, uh, so just uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait, Achha, chalo, chalo. So, shuru karte, let's start with the labor ka part, uh, labor ka, quite easy, okay, uh, let us make the standards and all, karke. so uh, the, the thing will be quite easy, let me read the question. Uh, yeah, even before we read the question, what you can do is you can always make a format. So uh, it is our habit. Sir, before we start the question, we make a table. Let's make the table. So how do we make the table? Table is very simple. I first need three rows. First to write the standard and all. Second to write the output and third row to write down that quantity hours and all that data. Then if there is a only one type of labor, then one more row for that matter. Okay. 
your entire table will be divided into few parts like the first one is like this two then yeah so please make this you need to buy hard this budget something which is decided on first day sir budget mere sath likhte likhte see the more effort you put in now it will be helpful to you later on budget sir sir after budget what do you write sir standard or sir after standard what do we write actual okay now here what comes is a type then here we write hours then we write hours rate then cost or the rate cost or the rate cost okay sir so that is r is rate cost r is rate cost okay having done this sir having done this now let us read the question here what we write is output output what is expected output okay let's start reading the question so let's start reading the question let's split the window and let's write the data i hope you guys are done with the format now let's read okay now the standard and the actual figures of a firm are as in there okay the data is given standard and actual data standard time for the job job bole to there is only one work that if one job comes that is one work one job i can say one job how many type labor there is only one labor that is 1000 hours are required for one job acha ji and the data is given only for that one job only sir standard rate per hour is a 50 that is 50 karke okay and then there is a actual time taken is 900 hours and actual wages paid are 36000 36 total is given 36 acha can you tell me if nothing is given so by working for 900 hours if we have taken 900 hours we must have completed how many jobs one or two nothing is given what will you assume tell me hello one only na are baba yeah i hope you are getting it nothing it means for that one job everything was given that one job the standard was given and for one job the actual data was given so now i will say that one job one job for that one job you should have taken 1000 hours for that one job you should have taken 1000 hours into 50 so we were expecting to pay 50000 to our workers but what we did is these workers have worked for 900 hours and sir the payment was done 36000 so 36000 divided by 900 that is going to be 40 if you want to write down this working note it is going to be Thirty-six thousand divided by nine hundred. So thirty-six divided by nine hundred. Ah, that becomes uh, this. Uh, that is a uh, forty rupees per hour. Now let us calculate. For one job, I was expecting to pay fifty thousand, but for that same job, I have paid thirty-six thousand. So there is a difference of fourteen thousand in the cost. It is favorable or adverse? So, uh, uh, Nishi, it is adverse or favorable? Hello. Uh, I hope Nishi, you are there. Uh, yeah, sir, can you repeat the question? I am saying that. Uh, यस सर ठीक है मैं बोल रहा है कि द डिफरेंस बिटवीन थीज टू इज एडवर्स और फेवरेबल ओके फेर फाइन तो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ओके चैट बॉक्स में आई गॉट द आंसर ठीक है चलो नाउ फेर इन ऑफ सो लेट्स राइट तो फर्स्ट वेरियंस विल बी द फर्स्ट वेरियंस विल बी लेबर कॉस्ट वेरियंस राइट लेट्स राइट डाउन लेबर कॉस्ट वेरियंस acha when you write labor cost variance now you know the formula that is a standard cost minus actual cost now i don't need this table uh, they have said calculate the variances so let us calculate the variances the first one will be standard cost minus actual cost standard cost minus actual cost so the standard cost is uh, 50000 we were expecting and what we have paid is uh, 36000 So you can see that fourteen thousand is nothing but a uh, positive. If the value is positive, always remember over here. Uh, generally, when we calculate the variances, 
positive means favorable minus means adverse so it is positive value that is a favorable logically you have saved 14,000 rupees that's why now again it can be because of two reasons guys it can be because of two reasons either HR manager I told him to hire workers at the rate of rupees 50 but the hiring was done at the rate of rupees 40 so I have saved 10 rupees per hour where the target was given that whereas when you make the hiring the hiring should be done at the rate of 50 but the hiring was done at the rate of rupees 40 it is in my favor so labor rate variance labor rate variance so now let us write labor rate variance what is the formula that is nothing but standard rate uh, the payment should be done at this rate uh, minus uh, payment is done at this rate which is actual rate multiplied by which hours anybody can help me that payment should be done for 50 hours at the rate of this payment is done at the rate of 40 multiplied by how many hours actual hours, actual hours. and the payment is done for how many hours 900 hours so into actual hours okay so you gonna take actual hours Okay. so now in that also yeah actual hours we can say that paid okay please write this actual hours paid okay so we can say that where the payment should be done for 50 rupees it is done at the rate of 40 multiplied by for 900 hours so that is 9000 and that is favorable yeah that is the benefit which we we have done we have got now because of production manager again HR manager is done instead of purchase manager here it is HR manager now again production manager I told my manager take by if you produce if worker is working on this job now you need to take care of the fact that he should take 1000 hours but workers have taken 900 hours it means these guys are quite efficient we can say that the workers are quite efficient here where they should have taken 1000 hours they have completed that job in 900 hours yes sir now what was the name which was given over there here it was price we said rate here it was usage in case of material can you say labor usage variance hello yes or no yes yes we can say but we won't say that the reason is we are using the labor but see material is something which is non-living so we can say that it does not have any feeling material because it is non-living but if you talk about labor and when he checks the report and it is written that labor usage variance it means it feels bad like he is using me karke vaisa karke company is using us actually that is what we are doing but oh, usage word is not something it is appropriate word to be very frank because it can hurt the feelings so, considering that we never use usage word instead then sir which word you will use we will use efficiency i hope you understand where my worker should have taken thousand hours they have taken 900 hours it means my workers are efficient you are getting this my workers are efficient they have completed job in much faster way hello yes sir okay fair enough the chalo so i can say that now let us write instead of usage we need to write efficiency labor efficiency variance okay Shallow efficiency lick dia. Let us calculate. That is nothing but standard hours they should have taken minus actual hours into standard rate per hour. Standard rate. So where they should have apna design apna yad rakhne ka it is like this. Uh, where they should have taken 1000 hours, they, sh they have taken 900 hours. The work is done efficiently, they are efficient, the variance will be favorable multiplied by standard rate is 50 because production manager does not have any control over actual rate. So, sir, 100 into 50 bullet of 5000 favorable, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and it tallies. You can see that it tallies. Here it is 1400, here it is 1900, and here it is this. If you want, you can just cross check. So, yeah, you can make that statement that cost variance has two parts that is uh, rate and efficiency.
ओके जी तो दैट इज हाउ योर आंसर विल बी गाइज दैट इज हाउ योर आंसर विल बी ओके नाउ लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द नेक्स्ट पार्ट वी कैन से दैट वी आर डन विद दिस एनी डाउट इन दिस क्वेश्चन प्लीज यू कैन आस्क एनी डाउट अदरवाइज इट इज नथिंग बट अ रेप्लिक ऑफ मटेरियल टू बी वेरी फ्रेंक द ओनली द नेम दैट मटेरियल का लेबर एंड दैट प्राइस का यू प्राइस का रेट एंड देन फॉर यूज इट इज इफिशियंसी दैट्स इट एंड द एंटायर थिंग रिमेन्स सेम नो नथिंग नथिंग चेंजेस ओवर योर सो वी आर डन विद दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर डन विद दिस क्वेश्चन डन ओके गाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद क्वेश्चन नंबर एट सर एन पी एक्स लिमिटेड यूज इज स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग सिस्टम फॉर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ऑफ इट्स प्रोडक्ट एक्स ओके तो वी मैन्युफैक्चर वन प्रोडक्ट एंड वॉट डू वी यूज वी यूज प्रोडक्ट एक्स वी मैन्युफैक्चर एंड वी यूज स्टैंडर्ड कॉस्टिंग सिस्टम ओके चलो फॉलोइंग इज द बजट डेटा गिवन इन द रिलेशन टू द लेबर आवर सम डेटा इज गिवन फॉर मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ अ वन यूनिट ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट इट मीन्स इफ वी मैन्युफैक्चर वन यूनिट of product x now tell me when i say one unit of product x this data ridhima this data is with reference to input or output one unit so one unit is input or output nahi baba what we are manufacturing is product x so to if you want this output worker will have to work for that matter hello that is going to be output please so uh, be very uh, clear with reference to this small small question this is my output which i need with output is something which is coming out of the machinery so product comes out of the machinery for that matter worker will have to work so to produce to produce this one unit we have set this standards okay this budget that's all there are three types of workers which are there with me skilled semi skilled unskilled okay and they will have to work for this many hours and the payment will be done at this rate acha In the month of January 2020, total 10,000 units are produced. Acha, this 10,000 units is known as standard output or actual output. Tejas. This 10,000 units is known as. Now I will ask each and every one because I have seen that many people do not pay attention. So after every, like uh, after every two three minutes, I will ask question. This 10,000 is known as standard output or actual output. Tejas. Actual. Actual. Exactly. and to get this actual output this is the actual details we have produced this much and workers have worked for this many hours karke theek hai let us do one thing by this one thing is uh, clear there are three types of worker so sir i know that sir what kind of table will be prepared so let us make the table working note number 1 table let's make a table very important if you know how to make the table the rest part is quite easy first you guys need three rows so just draw three rows So these are three rows. Then, because there are three types of uh, workers, I will leave three lines, three rows again. Then one row for total. Yeah, that is how the table will be made. Three rows because there. Then after that, there are three types of workers. So yeah, just connect this. Just connect this. Yeah. The first column has two subdivisions. Then next two main columns has three subdivisions. that is how your format will be that is how your format will be that is uh, here it, it is known as budget which we set on first day let's say then there is a standard then there is a actual then here we can have type types of workers type then here it is hours hours rate cost Hours, rate, cost. Yes, sir. We are done with this. Now let's write how many types of worker. Three. I will write the shortcut. I will use the shortcut. That is, instead of a skilled, I will write a S. Same as skilled, I will write S S. Unskilled, I will write U S. Then you can say total. And then output will be written over here. Output. So, acha. So. please tell me now i will name someone you just need to refer the question and i need to tell me uh chalo let i will write now this is quite easy to produce one unit the data is given for one unit the budget data is given for one unit it means to produce one unit of output three workers will have to work 
that skilled will take two hours on semi skilled will take three hours then it will take five hours so combining once 10 hours ka work is done by these three types of workers then we produce one unit sir what is the rate which is decided it is a six it is a four it is a three okay chalo so i hope you understand how the data is written this is the actual data which is written let us copy this Achha, anyone what will be written over here on both the sides over here whatever area is highlighted Vaishnavi what will you write over here the area which is highlighted how many units you will write for hour yeah Vaishnavi that is right answer we will write 10,000 because you can see your actual output is 10,000 so you will compare like this for 10,000 units uh, what should be your expense and for 10,000 units uh, what is your actual expense we will compare this now now what is my actual cost let's write workers have worked for 18,000 hours then they have worked for 33,000 hours Achha, then 58,000 total 1,9,000 then the rate is 7 3.54 18,000 uh, into 7 uh, that is 1,26 I don't need that individual bifurcation I will just write the total okay 18,000 into 7 m plus 33,000 into 3.5 m plus 58,000 into 4 m plus so 4 lakh that amount is right we have just cross verified whether it is right or not so it is right 4 lakh 73,500 that is my actual cost okay now 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 I will read that uh, idle hours ka data later on I will read that data but sir before that I will have to finish this I will have to finish this so if you want to finish this, uh, chalo, I will ask someone, uh, Vedant, can you tell me uh, in the highlighted area, what will you write? In the highlighted area, what will you write? 20,000. 20, exactly. For one unit, if you take two hours, so for 10,000, how many? You can just cross multiply. Meto, I do like this, 10,000 divided by one. So I get number of times. That is 10,000 divided by one into into now. Everything will increase by 10,000 times. Because output has increased. So 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 and then 1 lakh. Now just multiply 20,000 into 6 uh, M plus, 30,000 into 4 M plus, 50,000 into 3 M plus, MRC, 3 lakh 90,000. Just check, you should get this answer. 3 lakh 90,000. That is going to be your answer. Acha, now, 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 in this case, after doing this there is one more point sir please do not solve okay or uh, just solve with me only that is what i can say okay don't be like uh, ahead of me because otherwise you will have to make some corrections okay now understand sir there is one more table you will have to prepare Achha, which one sir there are idle hours matlab Achha, sir anybody anybody can explain Sir, idle hours matlab kya? What is, what like, anybody can give me the example, sir, this is the meaning of idle hours, bolo. Sir, worker workplace pe hai, but kaam nahi kar raha jo kaam pe. Uh, like, why, why? Free time, free time, uh, starting me when he is going to start his work, but he is going to machine time. Achha, to idle hours ke do part hoote hai. Ek hoota hai normal idle time, another one is abnormal. I know the normal idle time in advance, so it is already incorporated. Ki wo utna hi lagega karke. Abnormal is something which is not expected. So can you give me the example of abnormal idle time, which was not expected? Electricity failure ho gaya, raw material time pe nahi pocha, to workers bhi kaam nahi kar sakte. Exactly, that is what the example. Exactly, so these three examples were given, like raw material is not there, or the machinery broke down or the power failure is there because of any damn reason now he cannot work so yeah that is nothing but abnormal idle time karke that he is there in the factory but because of any reason he cannot work either raw material is not available power is not there or machine broke down karke okay so now it means now i can say that if he came to the factory for eight hours two hours electricity was not there so he has actually worked for six hours you will pay your worker for how many hours six or uh, eight or six Eight, because he was in the factory for eight hours it was your problem that electricity was not there for he was sitting in the factory right so you're gonna pay him for eight hours only these are idle hours but he has worked on machinery for how many hours six hours this is known as hours worked 
So let us make that equation r speed minus idle hours. You cannot get r worked. करके. So guys, let's make this equation over here. यहाँ से you can just drop down arrow. And yeah, here I can write r speed total r that is minus idle r. You will get r worked. अच्छा ठीक है ना सो आई कैन से दैट इफ देर आर एटीन थाउजेंड आवर्स देन यू कैन सी देर आर थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड आवर्स देर आर फिफ्टी एट थाउजेंड आवर्स टोटल आवर्स आर वन लैख नाइन थाउजेंड यस सर किल्ड सेम इज किल्ड अनस्किल्ड नो दीज आर माई नंबर ऑफ आवर्स ओके आर जी लेट मी सी दैट ओके दैट इज राइट आंसर uh the last one is not right rg as i said there is some efficiency mein there is a problem that i will tell you why karke okay now you can see that abnormal that is idle hours which we were not expecting so even though we paid worker for 18000 hours understand but sir skilled they worked only for 500 hours sir uh, sorry for 500 hours for 700 and 800 hours they haven't worked acha there is a printing error guys please just rectify that here it is zero so please just rectify that that is 2000 actually if you take the total so 500 plus 700 plus 800 that is going to be 2000 so let us write that 500 700 800 500 minus 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 equal to equal to equal to let's write down total idle hours so that is 2000 so even though i paid my worker 190000 hours ke liye but sir 2000 hours so electricity was not that machine broke down so yeah they have worked only for this many hours let us calculate individually also 18000 minus 500 17500 acha then 33000 minus 700 that is going to be 32300 then 58000 minus 800 that is going to be 57200 acha so yeah this is your answer now there is one more thing i can say that these are the calculations which are required then we will start with the things okay now for whatever hours my workers have worked for whatever hours my workers have worked you need to understand that you need to understand one more thing over here either it can be written like this or yeah or it can be like wherever you write that is okay now once it is written over here now understand uh, having done this now i will tell you one thing if they have worked for this many hours 1 lakh 7000 hours on the machinery what was the standard mix ratio which was decided on very first day on very first day i told my manager see if we produce one unit uh, if you produce one unit na then for that matter your skill should be work, skill should we should take 10 hours in totality to produce one unit and that bifurcation should be like this skill should be 2 hours same skill should be 3 and uh, unskill should be for 5 hours karke to same way if my workers have work for this hours 1 lakh 7000 what is the standard ratio 2 is to 3 is to 5 i hope you understand if they have work for 4 lakh uh, to if they have work for this many hours this is also known as this answer is also known as revised standard hours if you want to give the heading once the answer is calculated this will be known as revised standard hours okay it is like if they have worked for 1 lakh 9000 hours so they should have worked in this ratio because on very first this instruction was given that skill if skilled is working for 2 hours semi skill should work for 3 hours karke so accordingly if you bifurcate this 1 lakh uh, 7000 you can do that please tell me anybody what is the value which will be written over here for skilled accordingly hello yeah uh, 21000 uh, uh, ek second not 800 let me check 1 lakh 7000 divided by a uh, 10 into into 2 that is going to be 21400 na yes 21400 then 3 equal to that is 
then uh, phi equal to that is phi three phi double zero. Generally, what I do? How do I calculate? I do something like this to calculate this answers. Okay, uh, I generally follow this shortcut. One lakh seven thousand will be divided by guys. One lakh seven thousand will be divided by ten because the total comes ten or this total we can say ten and multiplied by you can say two equal to. Three equal to five equal to this shortcut is followed to get this answer. Yes, so I have written that shortcut. So now entire working is there. You can see that labor is thoda sa complicated because in between there are idle hours. Correct. Okay. Now let us calculate the variances one by one. That is something a structure which is there. If anyone has any doubt, even a single doubt, sir, how this was calculated? Please ask me. If any calculation you did not understand, yes. चलो, let us calculate the first variance which is a cost variance. Oh, Priyam, can you just tell me uh, the cost variance का answer on the calculator? Then we will write labor cost variance कितना? हाँ, yeah, okay. Take your time. Dhruvi, uh, Krish, that is right answer. Nishi, that is right answer. Achha. Exactly. We can say that for 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 uh, one ten thousand units, this is this was the standard cost which we should have incurred, and what we have actually incurred is four lakh seventy three thousand five hundred. So yeah, that is gonna be the cost. So, chalo, let us write one by one the first variance. Now, once the table is done, we are writing the solution. So, be very careful as to uh, from where we are picking the values. Okay. So, the first part is labor cost variance. Labor cost variance. Achha, sir. Sir, when you say labor cost variance, now formula is very, very easy, sir. What should have been your cost is known as a standard cost. What is you have, whatever cost you have incurred is known as the actual cost. So just take the difference. Sir, very easy. Okay. So you are expecting it is like this difference of these two guys. Like you are expecting to incur three lakh ninety thousand minus uh, four lakh seventy three five hundred. Four lakh seventy three five hundred. So three lakh ninety thousand minus four lakh seventy three five hundred. So that is gonna be eighty three five hundred. And because it is extra, it is adverse. Logic, uh, technically, because it is in negative, it is adverse. Logically, you have paid more. It is not in benefit of company, so it is adverse. Yes, sir. Final answer you should always underline or double underline because it becomes uh, like examiner ka kam will become thoda easy. So if he is feeling ki bhai he has written in much better way, he can allocate more marks. There, that is a possibility. Uska kam easy karo, tumara kam easy hoenga kare ki. So it is preferable. Not now, at least at the end. Once you are done with the paper, and if you have a time, at least underline the main answers. Okay, at the end. If not during the uh, course, but at the end, at least try. Acha, sir. Labor cost variance ke baad there is one more variance. So, moksha. After labor cost variance, which variance I will write? Moksha. Exactly. So, chalo, let's write labor rate variance. Now. सर वंस वी राइट लेबर रेट वेरियंस रेट रेट मतलब रेट रेट का डिफरेंस सर रेट 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 बोले तो दिस दिस रेट वी शुड हैव पेड वी हैव पेड दिस रेट एंड फॉर हाउ मेनी आवर्स द पेमेंट वाज डन दिस मेनी आवर्स चलो तो लेट अस राइट इन दीज आर विच आवर्स प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड दीज आर आर स्पेड हाँ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट दीज आर एक्चुअली आर स्पेड वी मेड द पेमेंट एट दिस फॉर दिस मेनी आवर्स वी कैन सी दी मेड द पेमेंट एट द रेट ऑफ सेवन फॉर दिस मेनी आवर्स ओके so what is going to be the formula that is standard rate the payment should have been done at this rate the payment is done at this rate which is actual rate multiplied by actual hours and actual hours paid yeah that is going to be your formula no uh, now uh, you can see that there is a skilled then there is a semi skilled and then there is a unskilled first copy the columns 
like standard rate first copy column that is a standard rate yeah uh, nishi uh vedan that is right answer for rate okay so now six four three six four three payment should have been done at this rate sir payment is done at what rate is seven three point five four it is always a good practice if you write columns first First write down everything then pick up the calculator. Don't do that. First you will write one thing then you will take calculator. Krish that's right. Okay. Now what are actual hours paid? It has the, it, these are this. 18, 33, 58. Eighteen, thirty-three, fifty-eight thousand. So now if you just calculate the answer. Let's see. What is going to be the answer? So 6 minus 7 into 18,000 M plus. Always press M plus. And if the value is negative, you write adverse. So 18,000 negative. Okay. 4 minus 3.5 into 33,000 M plus. So that is 16,500 but positive value. So it is favorable. 3 minus 4 into 58,000. So 58,000 negative. So 58,000 adverse. MRC if you press, that is 59,500. So negative. Bolo to adverse karke. Yes, sir. This is my answer. Now, now, now. Something. Priyam. That is right answer. Dhruvi Ridhima. Okay, right answer. Yeah. In standard costing, sir, when you give me the answer, it is preferable if you give adverse and favorable also with that. Chalo, sir. Labor cost done. Labor rate done. Sir, now to labor efficiency will come. Yes. But, but, but. This time, there is a small change. This time, there is a small change. Sir, what is that small change? Your answer will not be 24,000. Why? You will understand. Tell me. I will give you an example. Let me give you an example. Let us say that I told you, ki, sir, output, input. Just example. Just one example. Just understand this. One example. Output, input. Achha, if I tell you that one question should be solved in one hour, that is input is required. One question should be solved in one hour. You said, okay, sir, one question should be solved in one hour. Okay, now understand. What has happened? That happened, something like this has happened, standard and actual data is there. So, you, you, you have solved 10 questions. Achha. So in order to solve 10 questions, which is your output, you should have taken how many hours karke? How many hours you should have taken? Can I say you should have taken 10 hours karke? Yes, sir, you should have taken 10 hours. Yeah. Now what has happened is, whatever 10 questions you guys have solved now, you went to the library for how many hours? That is R speed, let us say that. R speed. Just R's ka data, okay? Just R's ka data. R speed. You went to the library. These are hours which should have taken, you should have taken. Now, hours paid, let us say that you went to the library for, uh, um, uh, let's say that 11 hours. Okay. Out of 11 hours, uh, because uh, electricity was not there in the library or any other problem, because of that you could not study for 3 hours. Okay. And you actually studied, that is hours worked. Hours worked is nothing but actual study. You, you studied only for this many hours or a friend came to friend came to you went to watch a movie or any or let us say that you were sitting idle that because of which the work was not done three hours that light was not there electricity was not there whatever the issue is and uh, you you studied only for eight hours we can say tell me now if I ask you you are efficient or you are inefficient out of 11 hours even if you went to the library you did not study for three hours you studied only for eight hours that is hours work that is so you are inefficient or efficient what will you compare will you compare this and this for 10 uh, questions you should have taken 10 hours and you took 11 or you will say you will compare with 8 go low 8 1 and 2 see that makes more sense you will compare with 8 you will say that sir light was not there please don't blame me okay sir 
यू सेड टू टेक टेन क्वेश्चन के लिए टेन आवर्स सर आई डिड ओनली सी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वॉज नॉट देयर सर दैट इज नॉट माई प्रॉब्लम वर्कर विल सी दैट यू टोल्ड मी टू प्रोड्यूस टेन क्वांटिटीज टेन यूनिट्स इन टेन आवर्स तो आई केम टू द फैक्ट्री फॉर इलेवन आवर्स बट सर लाइट वॉज नॉट देयर फॉर थ्री आवर्स तो आई कुड वर्क ऑन द मशीनरी ओनली फॉर एट आवर्स एंड बाई वर्किंग फॉर एट आवर्स आई गिव यू आउटपुट ऑफ टेन आवर्स सर तो इट इज गुड एक्चुअली आई एम इफिशियंट वेर आई शुड हैव टेकन टेन आवर्स आई हैव टेकन एट आवर्स करके तो फॉर इफिशियंसी आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड स्टैंडर्ड विल बी कंपेर्ड विथ आर्स वर्क फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डू यू हैव एनी डाउट इन दिस कंसेप्ट एनी बडी हैज नहीं नहीं सर आई नीड आई यू शुड हैव कंपेर्ड फॉर इलेवन ओनली वाई डिड यू कंपेयर विथ एट प्लीज इफ यू हैव दिस डाउट टेल मी एवरीबडी इज क्लियर दैट कंपेरिजन शुड बी डन बिटवीन टेन एंड एट हेलो Fair enough. So that is clear. Now, now there is one more variance. Tell me, idle hours. These idle hours are uh, good for company or bad for company? We can say the benefit bad. bad for company. It means see, worker is there in the factory. He is sitting idle, and still company is making the payment. It is a bad situation for company. Okay, so it is a bad situation. So first. we will have to calculate this variance and then you will calculate this variance so first let us calculate idle time variance so now there is one more variance which will come that is labor idle time variance so chalo let us write third variance labor idle time variance now what will be the formula formula is first of all you can always write always adverse this variance will always be adverse because it is bad for the company so irrespective of the sign okay now what is going to be the formula sir formula is very easy idle hours now understand standard costing is also known as responsibility costing yes sir standard costing is also known as responsibility costing now for this idle hours multiplied by now this idle hours are because of production manager we can say because he did not maintain that factory or he did not mean the machinery ka servicing was not done so it is his problem why he did not do that wagra so for idle hours he is responsible and we will never blame him for actual hours we will always blame him for standard hours standard rate sorry we will always blame him for standard rate because he does not control the actual rate the rate is decided by hr manager same way the explanation was given in purchase and production manager okay skilled low semi skilled low on skilled low to so, sir my idle hours are here my idle hours are here copy from that table and just come here and write it down sir what is your standard rate oh, sir again that is also written this is your standard rate 643 to copy multiply 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 equal to equal to equal to and yeah just this right now 500 into 6 uh, that is 3000 adverse 700 into 4 uh, that is 2800 adverse 800 into 3 that is 2400 adverse and here it is going to be 8200 adverse i hope that is clear यस सर सो दैट इज क्लियर यार ये नोटिफिकेशन का एक लापड़ा है लेकिन ठीक है चलो आई होप गाइस दिस इज क्लियर नाउ वी विल गो टू द इफिशिएंसी वेरिएंस आफ्टर दिस सर बोलो सो कैन यू प्लीज गो बैक टू द प्रीवियस पेज एक हां दिस वन ना अ अच्छा यस सर डन डन ओके चलो कभी भी ऐसा रहेगा यू कैन टेल मी इफ यू वांट टू राइट समथिंग एंड यू तो यू कैन डायरेक्टली टेल मी कि सर प्लीज स्विच दिस राइट दैट इज क्वाइट ओके चलो आफ्टर लेबर आइडल टाइम वेरिएंस नाउ देयर इज अ लेबर एफिशिएंसी व्हिच वी जनरली कैलकुलेट लेबर एफिशिएंसी नाउ ओनली आई हैव डिस्कस्ड विद द लॉजिक सो नाउ आई होप यू विल गिव मी द राइट आंसर आई विल गिव यू टू ऑप्शंस दिस आवर्स standard hours will be compared with hour speed standard hours will be compared with hours work so first option is this second option is this first or second option for efficiency second option 
second option you make that makes more sense because worker will say i have worked for this many hours so this comparison will be done so this comparison will be done and when the difference is calculated multiplied by which rate standard rate or actual rate standard rate now because production manager to will say i don't uh, have any control over actual rate how can you blame me yeah so yeah you need to understand now what you going to do this minus this into this because see instead of formula we just have that pictorial presentation if it is there you will remember so you need to just remember like this this minus this into this logically we have explained uh, i have explained why you should take this hours karke chalo theek hai chalo let's write so the formula will be the formula will be standard hours this many hours you should have take and because it is efficiency you will say how many hours you have taken that is actual hours but remember after actual hours what will you write worked then multiplied by standard rate yeah so please remember this formula standard costing yeah many people find this it is difficult but i feel that that is comparatively very easy topic and this entire discussion is there at ca final level now so please pay attention marginal costing uh, we are done with marginal yeah also marginal costing standard costing budgetary control these topics are there at ca final level so yeah it is preferable that you need to pay attention over here chalo so what are your standard hours so it, these are over here let's just copy yeah these are my standard hours i don't need that one lakh okay hours worked are this minus minus multiply by standard rate which will come from here upar so you can see that just calculate the things and finish it off yeah please calculate the things at your end uh, don't copy paste okay please calculate and check the answers then you will understand more instead of copying if you just calculate at your end and then please check these things so guys that is efficiency what we can say is yeah labor efficiency now labor efficiency will also have two parts if you remember if you remember in your uh, material usage there were two parts mix and yield again there are two parts that is labor we can say that mix and labor yield okay so let us calculate those two parts uh, please write down this much then we will proceed okay labor mix labor mix variances now labor mix ka what is the formula it is gonna be this it is gonna be this okay see it is gonna be this for whatever hours we have utilized see first these hours ka difference is done this into this so year rate ka ye done then idle hours ka also done now this also done now in totality we can say 1 lakh 7000 1 lakh 7000 hours workers have worked on the machinery okay and on very first day the instruction was given with reference to mix if worker is working on the machinery if skilled person is working for 2 hours semi skilled should work for 3 hours sir so the ratio should have been this so this should be the standard mix which is also known as revised standard hours standard mix so the formula is like entire thing will remain same guys entire thing will remain same entire the only thing which is going to going to change is this ऊपर का फॉर्मूला पूरा सेम द ओनली थिंग विच विल चेंज इज रिवाइज स्टैंडर्ड आवर्स एंड रिवाइज एंड आवर्स आर दिस एनी वन हैज एनी डाउट कॉम्प्लिकेशन टू टेल मी दीज आर दब वट एवर इज यूर आवर्स वी हैव टेक ऑन लाइक दिस इट इज लाइक दिस इफ यू सेक द टोटल विच इज वन लैख सेवन थाउजेंड आवर्स 
सो वन लैख सेवन थाउजेंड आवर्स दे हैव वर्क फॉर तो इट इज़ लाइक दिस दिस इज नोन एज स्टैंडर्ड मिक्स द मिक्स शुड हैव बिन इन दिस रेशियो द एक्चुअल मिक्स इज दिस दे हैव एक्चुअली वर्क ऑन दिस रेशियो सो दैट इज तो दिस मिक्स मिक्स का डिफरेंस वी कैन से इन टू स्टैंडर्ड रेट करके any uh this is something again uh which is a replica of material now we have been doing at least third or fourth time so you must be getting some confidence yeah that is how it is done karke still if you come across any doubt please you are uh, free to ask you can tell me kids sir please explain this yeah so now favorable please write at your end एक सेकेंड यार क्या हो रहा है पता नहीं मेरे को ओके सो या दिस विल बी योर आंसर गाइज दिस इज कैन बी योर आंसर अच्छा नाउ आई होप यू नो दैट हाँ अच्छा चलो राइट डाउन आई विल वेट प्लीज कंप्लीट दिस फर्स्ट डन चलो तो देखते हैं नाउ इफ यू कम हियर अंडरस्टैंड uh what we gonna do is now the next variance that is labor yield or sub efficiency we can say labor yield or we can say sub efficiency variance acha now uh the mathematical shortcut if i tell you in this i hope you understand uh mathematically i can say see uh first of all uh we have solved that if you see that like calculations like ya to simple uh, words i can just see that here it is uh, written so what you have done it is like rectification you have written revised standard of hours now put it here so that effect will be nullified karke so that entire for now entire formula will remain same i can just say that entire formula will remain same so instead of actual hours what is going to come is this रिवाइज स्टैंडर्ड आवर्स करके सो नाउ अदरवाइज दैट ओके चलो तो लेट मी सी लाइक दिस ओके सो नाउ दैट एंटायर थिंग विल रिमेन सेम एक्सेप्ट वन थिंग दिस दिस विल दिस विल बी रिमूव एंड या दैट इट व्हाट विल रिटर्न इज दिस अच्छा वी विल कैलकुलेट दी आंसर प्लीज अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट वी डिड करके ओके अगेन द सेम फॉर्मूला वाज टेकन बट सी पहले द सेम फॉर्मूला वाज टेकन बट दिस वाज रिप्लेस्ड ओवर हियर नाउ अगेन द सेम फॉर्मूला वाज टेकन बट नाउ दिस रिवाइज एंड आवर्स आर रिप्लेस्ड विद दिस करके ओके चलो एंड कैलकुलेट द थिंग्स so yeah that is going to be our answer guys this is going to be our answer 26 27300 now what i can do is bolo bolo
अच्छा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अच्छा अंडरस्टैंड दिस आई कैन जस्ट सी दैट आई होप वी कैन से लाइक दिस कि इफिशियंसी इज नथिंग बट मिक्स प्लस यील्ड इज दिस क्लियर नाउ फॉर मिक्स वॉट फॉर दिस इफिशियंसी वॉट डू वी डू स्टैंडर्ड आवर्स माइनस एक्चुअल आवर्स राइट नाउ If I just talk about uh, this part, uh, mixed part, so what we did is R S H minus uh, A H. That this should be the mix of one lakh seven thousand. That is, it is, it is nothing but standard mix. That is R S H. करके तो this should be the mix and this is mix. So there is a change in mix. Even this is clear. Yes. Sir. Fine. Plus I can say that yield variance. Now I would like to know the formula. Mathematically, I am saying. So now yield variance will be it is nothing but R S H minus A Y. Now if R S H goes on this side, it is gonna be minus R S H, then plus A H करके is equal to yield, right? Yes. Then if you just uh, strike it off, like you can say that there is a positive A H, there is a negative A H that goes. So what remains in the formula is this standard R S minus uh, revised standard R. Hello. Fair enough. And logically, it is like this. Again, if I give you the logic, it is it is a mathematical calculation. But if I give you the logically, it is calculating efficiency in in totality. Like where my workers should have taken ten thousand hours for ten thousand units, they should have taken one lakh hours. They have taken how many hours? Where they should have taken one lakh hours, they have taken one lakh seven thousand hours. So tell me in totality, if I check in totality, uh, my workers are efficient or inefficient in totality, if I say. Inefficient, na? Where they should have the job, we should have been done in one lakh hours. These guys have taken one lakh seven thousand hours. These guys have taken seven thousand extra, right? Yes, sir. Yes. Ha ha. Now, if I would like to multiply, multiplied by which rate? I I always take standard rate. And how can you calculate total rate? You cannot add this. Okay, that is gonna be the wrong thing. You need to take the average. That is gonna be three lakh ninety thousand divided by one lakh. So, if you, another formula. That is a mathematical formula which I have explained over here. Other than this, if you want to do it, it is going to be this, where they should have taken one lakh hours. They have taken one lakh seven thousand hours, multiplied by three lakh ninety thousand divided by one lakh. That is going to be the standard rate, weighted average rate. Now, we, even if you take the answer directly, you will get this. It is twenty-seven three hundred adverse. Or now this is clear. Yes. Fair enough. Acha at the end, it is always recommended if you do what if you make that tree. Ah, uh, sir, revised hundred adverse for SS is thirty-three one hundred. Let me check thirty-three one hundred. Nay na. नहीं नहीं अदवेद आई मेड मिस्टेक नो ओके फेर इन नहीं 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 ठीक है चलो तो नाउ नाउ एट द एंड लास्ट व्हाट यू कैन डू इज गाइस लास्ट व्हाट वी कैन डू इज चलो अभी इसको लिखा है तो लेट अस कीप इट हियर एंड लेट मी गिव द रेफरेंस हाउ वी डिड दैट द सेम एक्सप्लेनेशन वाज गिवन लाइक विद मटेरियल ऑल्सो व्हेन वी डिड दिस ओके नाउ लेट्स मेक अ डिसीजन ट्री लेट अस मेक अ नॉट डिसीजन ट्री इट इज लाइक अ सॉल्यूशन का ट्री की या दैट इज हाउ द सॉल्यूशन फ्लोस करके Do I have space over here? Yes, I do have space. So, no, it's not enough. So, let us make here only. The space is here only. So, chalo. We have space over here. So, I can say that, sir, labor cost variance is divided into three parts. It is like rate, idle time, efficiency. Efficiency is divided into two parts. Next, sir, and here it is. Chalo. So now, if I just talk about the cost variance, guys, it was eighty three five hundred adverse. Acha. If I just talk about this, it is fifty nine five hundred adverse. Idle time eighty two thou eighty two hundred adverse. Efficiency fifteen eight hundred adverse. in here it was 11500 favorable you can check it will tally okay 
and then it is 27 300 adverse you can now cross check these things if you just add these two that is take the difference it is gonna be this method is a this then plus m plus because this is negative press m minus like I do something like this 11 500 m plus 27 300 m minus then mrc yeah exactly 11 500 m plus 27 300 m minus mrc the, uh, yeah i will get negative this now again wap is zero karke 15800 m minus then 82 m minus everything m minus so you can just add it only everything is in minus 59 500 plus 8200 plus 15800 yeah that is gonna be 8300 and it will tally that is how the solution is anyone has any doubt any problem please let me know otherwise we are done with this question that took like around 45 minutes but that's okay but the yeah the job is done we can see sorry again can you come again kya bola aapne part b baaki hai ek second ek second shanti ye part b अच्छा हाँ सॉरी 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 अब वी आर नॉट डन विद द क्वेश्चन मैंने बत वो लग अच्छा देर इज वन मोर पार्ट्स ओके थैंक यू फॉर दैट नाउ तो सर वी आर डन विद द फर्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज लेबर कॉस्ट वेरिएंस अच्छा सर देर इज वन मोर पॉइंट व्हिच इज गिवन आल्सो शो द इफेक्ट on the labor rate variance Achha, effect should be shown on the labor rate variance only one variance we will have to calculate that is labor it is specifically written only labor rate okay if 5000 hours of the skilled labor are paid at the rate of 5.5 .5 per hour and the balance are paid at the rate of 7 it means it means it means it means the payment is done over here or uh, skilled labor skilled labor bolega skilled is over here 8000 now 8000 ka payment is done like this 8000 ka payment is like done like this they are saying the payment is done like this of uh, if 5000 hours are paid at the rate of what 5.5 .5. and the balance bole to balance bole to kitna aega bolo anyone 13000 do you understand that out of 18000 yes, so 18000 will be paid at the rate of 7 karke now in this case how will you calculate the variance so let us calculate the variance so that is what they are saying so let's go to the part b let us go to the part b yeah oh, i don't require as such this thing okay so part b if you write part b uh that is gonna be uh let's see huh, maybe uh archi but I, huh, that answer is right but i need to give the total rate variance total okay so uh what change they are saying so Skilled ka, I can say skilled labor ka. Sir, if I just talk about skilled labor, he has got paid uh, for how many hours? 18,000 karke. So, skilled labor ka, if I just talk about 18,000 hours, he has got paid. And yeah, if you just talk about these two parts, first is 5,000, the second one is gonna be balanced, that is 13,000. Multiply, multiply, here it is said 5, here it is said 5 point. Five, and here it is said seven so yeah that is how the thing is let us calculate the variance how will you get the variance this is actual like uh, this is actual data they are saying actually something like this has happened okay now how will i calculate the variance labor rate variance they are asking only one variance which is main answer now labor cost variance labor rate variance sorry let me just bring that thing over here or uh, instead of again keep on writing let's just keep it let's just copy paste that thing you you cannot do that okay but yeah i have that freedom so let's just do that okay now see what is going to happen is uh, your solution is going to change for this skilled wala part because some information is given see what will happen is uh, like now this will be divided into two parts understand this what will happen you will see that standard rate which was decided was kitana for skilled you can check that it is 2 rupee or in nahi sorry ye to 2 rupees question 8 ka hai na acha question only 2 to hours hai. 6 rate 6 rupees was decided you can check that okay, 6 rupees was decided Haan, sir, 6 rupees was decided and now i can say that yeah 
the one payment the one rate is 5.5 another rate is 7 the two rates are there multiplied by this 18,000 is also now divided into two parts 5,000 and 13,000 that is the only change which is gonna be there Tumko samjha gya sabko? Hello, did you get this? What we just did it, this uh, 18,000 is divided into two parts now and the rate is different for these two categories. Understood? Yes, sir. Fair enough. Chalo. So let's complete this thing. 2,500 favorable. Thirteen thousand adverse. Fifty-two thousand adverse. Yeah, that is gonna be the answer. Yeah, your final answer right. And now I can say finally it took fifty minutes, but yeah, we are done with this question. We are done. Okay, guys, uh, let us start with question number nine. But before we start with this question, it is preferable if you understand one concept. A concept, समझ लीजिएगा. काफी अच्छा सा कंसेप्ट है लेट लेट अस गिव यू एन आईडिया लेट मी गिव यू एन आईडिया आउटपुट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड इन यूनिट्स और इन आवर्स लेट मी गिव यू दैट आईडिया दैट आउटपुट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस्ड इन यूनिट्स और आवर्स इट इज नथिंग बट स्टैंडर्ड आवर्स understand that how how let me give that example suppose 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 we have made a target that one question should be solved in one hour one question should be solved in one hour so now if i tell you budget standard Then if I write action, okay, here I can write output in units, in hours. Now let's, let's write the data of hours, okay. If I tell you that, if you guys uh, made a target on very first day that you will study for 10 hours karke. this is hours ka data tell me if you have made a target for 10 hours you will study in a day so tell me how many question you are expecting what is the output that you are expecting 10 questions, ten questions. yeah exactly so we can say 10 questions karke you are expecting ah uh, i can say that if you expect 10 questions it means you expect 10 hours ka output output hours is nothing but by working for 10 hours you need output of 10 hours how you will understand this now understand let us say that because of any damn reason because a friend called you or any any other reason you could study only for eight hours Achha. you could study for eight hours and you have solved let us say that nine questions Can I say, first of all, can you tell me to solve a nine questions, how many hours you should have taken? Nine hours. Nine hours. Even this much is clear. Achha, one more thing. I can say that by working for eight hours, you give output of how many hours? Nine hours. Now, I hope you understand if I write this statement. By working for eight hours hours produced is equal to nine hours or units produced that is question solved actually is equal to nine questions so this is output which can be expressed in terms of units also and hours also did you get this concept that output i can say that i have worked for eight hours sir but by working for eight hours i gave output of nine hours you can see i have solved nine questions sir so by i can see like this also either i can say by working for eight hours i have solved nine questions or i can say by working for eight hours 
आई हैव गिवन आउटपुट ऑफ नाइन आवर्स तो आइदर इट कैन बी मतलब इट मीन्स आउटपुट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन यू कैन सी दिस आउटपुट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन आवर्स और इट कैन बी एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म्स ऑफ यूनिट्स ऑल्सो this concept is it clear if you want to write somewhere for your reference future reference you can write down because sometimes what will happen in the question they will not give you this units ka data they will give you hours ka data so accordingly you will have to write just no, don't no, okay ha so if you want to write please copy this वंस डन जस्ट टाइप डन इन द चैट बॉक्स सो आई विल हैव एन आइडिया कि हो गया करके डन ओके ओके तो वेट लिख देने का कोई टेंशन नहीं ओके okay. चलो हम्म अच्छा सो नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस चलो यहां पे आते हैं ओके आई थिंक और निशी हंस निशी इज इट डन और ये पहले का मैंने अभी देखा डन ओके फेर इन सो नाउ फेर इन तो यहां पर आते हैं नाउ लेट्स गो विद दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन नाउ मे बी यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस लैंग्वेज वट एवर दे हैव गिवन अच्छा वन मोर पॉइंट विच आई वॉन्टेड टू पॉइंट आउट लाइक दिस इफ आई टेल यू दैट इफ आई टेल यू दैट देर इज वन मोर पॉइंट इफ आई जस्ट पॉइंट आउट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद दिस फैक्ट्री का टाइम इज फ्रॉम ट्वेल्व पी एम टू टेन पी एम तो फैक्ट्री वर्क्स फॉर टेन आवर्स एंड टू वर्कर्स आर देयर सो इफ आई एस्क यू एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वर्क इज डन फॉर हाउ मेनी आवर्स फैक्ट्री वॉज ओपन फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी आवर्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वॉज डन फॉर ट्वेंटी आवर्स करके बिकॉज एवरी वर्कर हैज देर आर टू वर्कर्स ना तो एवरी वर्कर हैज वर्क फॉर टेन आवर ही हैज ऑल्सो वर्क फॉर टेन आवर्स तो टोटल वर्क विच इज डन इज फॉर ट्वेंटी आवर्स कंपनी विल हैव टू मेक द पेमेंट फॉर ट्वेंटी आवर्स टेन आवर्स टू दिस पर्सन टेन आवर्स टू दिस पर्सन सो नाइन टोटल आवर्स इज नथिंग बट आई कैन से दिस इज वर्कर्स नंबर ऑफ वर्कर्स इन टू आवर्स करके नाउ यू विल अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन दैट थिंग ओके लेट्स रीड ओ भैया सर सर स्टैंडर्ड लेबर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एंड द एक्चुअल लेबर एंगेज इन अ वीक सो डेटा इज गिवन फॉर अ वीक for a job or as under so for particular job the data is given okay acha there are three workers now so guys let's make the table uh, generally we first make three rows so just make three rows working note number 1 working note number 1 yeah what do we make table so just write table first i need three rows so let us have three rows acha once you have three rows you can leave three lines but instead of three guys you leave six lines why sir because some working will be there in between so because some calculation so instead of three leave six lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 sir. three rows are six rows i need then one column for total karke so that is how the format will be okay so that is how the format will look like here we go standard or the budget i can say 
standard then there is a actual then here we go type then hours hours rate cost yeah that is how the simple format will be okay once the formatting is done now we will just try to fill up this format sir let's try to fill it up sir let's try to fill it up chalo so now uh, let's try to fill up this format then things will become quite easy so let's fill it up okay chalo sir how many workers are there let me split the things the then job will become more easy uh, first of all there are three types of workers skilled semi skilled unskilled okay so i will write there is a skilled then there is a semi skilled and then there is a unskilled then there is a total three types of workers are there skilled is semi skilled and unskilled yes sir, sir. age 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 standard number of workers in the gang so gang is like uh, when there are many people a group is there we say it is a gang karke so yeah in skilled we can say the group has 32 people that is it is a gang of 32 then there is a gang of 12 and 6 karke so now i can write it uh, that the gang is uh, like this uh, okay theek hai and this this is the gang which is there these are the number of workers standard number of workers and it is given that during the 40 hour week if i can say that the data is given for a week you can see that the data is given for a week and in one week if the working hours are 40 it means i can say that yeah that 40 divided by 8 that saturday sunday is off there is a possibility that something just to give you an idea that we work for 5 days let us say in every day factory opens for 8 hours which is general hours so 5 into 8 so 40 hours we work for that factory opens for 40 hours but i hope you understand factory is open for 40 hours and there are 32 workers so what will you do every worker will work for 40 hours not so 40 into 32 do you understand this calculation 40 into 32 hello yes sir fair enough so let's make that calculation if there are 40 hours factory is open for 40 hours and every it has 32 workers the gang hai, there are 12 workers and there are 6 workers okay so now 40 into into 32 that is 1280 then 12 equal to that is 480 then 6 equal to that is 240 that is 2000 so there are 2000 hours so we were expecting that yeah there are 40 uh, hours in a week we have this many workers so total work done will be of uh, 2000 hours what was the output that was expected if nothing is given what will you write in hours if you express if the output is expressed in hours how many hours you will write tell me if output is expressed in hours how many hours you will write it is like this if you we have planned that you will solve uh, you will study for 10 hours And in 10 hours you will solve 10 questions 10 questions is nothing but as good as you will give output of 10 hours or it's simple na if workers are working for 2000 hours how much how many hours ka output is expected 2000 hours ka na aur tumko samajhta hai ye cheez hello yes sir fair enough chalo now how many actual number of workers are there in the employee to so actual number of workers are 28 18 and 4 so now i can say that please understand there are 40 hours in a week understand okay 40 hours in a week but sir actually there were not 32 workers we have employed only 28 workers so now the actual hours will be 48 into this 40 into 28 then 40 into this 18 and 40 into 4 karke that is how it will be done so just let's complete this sir we have worked for 40 hours but there were only 28 workers so total will be 1120 40 into 18 so that is going to be 720 40 into 4 that is going to be 160 take the total 160 plus 720 plus 1120 that is going to be 2000 hours so yeah we were planning to work for 2000 hours in totality we have worked for 2000 hours but yeah the composition is different number of workers like that composition has changed i can see mix has changed i can just see that mix has changed there will be a mix variance yeah now now please understand how the solution is written first i have written that 40 40 and these are number of workers these are actual number of workers standard and actual theek hai chalo is it necessary tell me if workers have worked for 2000 hours they will give output of 2000 or this answer can be 
more than 2000 or less than 2000 is it necessary that it will be equal to 2000 yes or no it not can be more or less more or less exactly because you have seen that by working for by by studying for 8 hours you have solved 9 questions so i can say that by working for 8 hours you give output of 9 hours 9 questions is nothing but output of 9 hours yeah you can see that this was different karke r okay same way now let's see what is given over here it is given that the gang has produced 1800 1800 standard labor hours karke so that will be written over here 1800 hours produced output is given in hours they have written units also but they have given hours this thing also can be written that they have produced 18,000 units but instead of see if you don't understand anything now just assume this 18,000 are units and solve entire question still your answer will be right that workers have produced 18,000 units or you can say 18,000 hours ka production is done chalo if you understand something let me see my workers are efficient or inefficient my workers are inefficient or efficient Inefficient. Inefficient. Do you understand that even though they have worked for 2000 hours, they gave us output only of 1800 hours, so they are inefficient. Okay, chalo. now how will you complete this? How will you complete this? I hope you understand. You will cross multiply and you can get these answers. Generally, I do like this. Please, it is preferable if you do this. I can write the working also. That is going to be 1800 divided by 2000. You will get number of times. It is going to be 90%. Then into into. So, then 1280 equal to then it is gonna be 480 equal to then it is gonna be 240 equal to that is how you can do that so i generally follow this technique that this divided by this into this into this into this so 1800 divided by 2000 into into so 1280 equal to 90 percent that is the one thing this is this Yeah. Now let us write the standard rate and the actual rate which will be given in the question. What will you write? Standard rate and actual rate that will be given in the question. Let's have a look. What are the standard rates and actual rate? Let's have a look. So if I just have a look, yeah, my standard rate and actual rate will be first of all standard rate is given. Yeah. So let's just copy that. That is three two one. Three two one. Yeah. Three two one. Now the actual rates are four three two. Four three two. So now what mistake you can make in examination? What mistake you can make in examination? Tell me, first of all. This difference, is it idle hours, yes or no? Tell me, this difference of 8 and 9, is this idle hours, yes or no? No, sir. no. please understand. What is the idle hours means? Worker were there, but they were not working. Zero, zero, they were not working. This, this indicates my workers are slow Achha, here they are fast because by working for eight hours they gave output of this nine here see what uh, what mistake you can do in examination ki sir the total to 2000 aata ye total to 2000 aata hai lekin they have given out they hours are produced this to 200 nahi idle hours nahi hai bhai they have worked for 2000 hours but they have worked slowly and because of that slow process they produce only this much output but they have worked for 2000 hours don't say that there was an idle hour. Karke. Idle hour aisa kuch nahi. They were working slowly. Are you clear with this concept or still you have some confusion? Are you clear with this thought process? Yes, sir. Fair enough. Chalo. So now anyone has any doubt, please you can just ask me, sir. Nahi samjha karke. Please repeat and all. Karke. Okay, there are not idle hours. My worker came to the factory. They worked for 2000 hours. But by working for 2000 hours, where they should have given output of 2000 hours, they gave output of 1800. It means my workers are slow. My workers are slow. They are inefficient. Achha, ji, chalo, hai. Let's calculate this and this. 1152 into 3 m plus 432 into 2 m plus 216 into 1 m plus. Wait a second. 1152 into 3 m plus 432 into 2 m plus 216 into 1. 4536 4536 now 1120 into 4 720 into 3 160 into 2 yeah 6960 so that is how your answer will be that is how your answer will be okay now one more thing is it possible to calculate mixed variance just tell me yes or no in this question 
yes first yes, of all sir. but before you go for that just check have they given any data with reference to idle hours that this many like the the way they have given us for the in the previous question there are idle hours karke if they say idle hours then only write idle hours don't assume anything there is no idle hours right because the data is not provided so in that case uh, directly now this will be divided in this that is a standard mix what is the standard mix ratio that is going to be 1280 is to 480 is to 240 so please divide in that ratio skilled semi skilled on skilled this is known as rsh revised standard hours i can say rsh चलो निकाल दो आंसर 2000 अच्छा ये तो सेम आएगा ना अरे बाप रे बट लेट अस राइट इट दैट व्हाट एवर टू थाउजेंड आवर्स दे हैव वर्क इट शुड बी इन दिस रेशियो एंड इट इज इन दिस रेशियो करके ठीक है दैट डिफरेंस विल बी कैलकुलेटेड या नाउ now i hope you understand what the variance which will not come is idle time variance and even they they haven't asked what they have asked is cost rate then cost has two parts rate and efficiency and efficiency will have two part mix and yield what i feel i don't know why but i strongly believe that now you guys can handle this question like the entire work is done now you can handle this but you can calculate the answers is it possible to calculate the answers चलो तो पहला वेरिएंस का आंसर आई विल आस्क इंडिविजुअली ओके या और हु विल गिव मी द आंसर तो वैष्णवी चलो कैन यू गिव मी द कॉस्ट वेरिएंस का आंसर ऑन द कैलकुलेटर टेक योर टाइम एंड देन मे बी आई विल आस्क समवन एल्स बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉस्ट वेरिएंस का आंसर कितना होएगा इजी क्वाइट इजी आर सी ध्रुवी दैट इज राइट आंसर वैष्णवी हां वैष्णवी दैट इज राइट आंसर तो चलो लिखते हैं मैं अपना लिखता हूं तुम अपना लिखो ठीक है यू प्लीज Uh, don't copy. It is like a practice question now. I can say so you guys have to calculate. Yeah, Priyam Vedant. Uh, that is right. Now you please write at your end. Okay, first. Maybe write down. You write down. Write down. Labor. You write down. Write down. Write down. Cost variance. Okay, sir. What is the formula? Let me write shortcut this time. Sir, that is standard cost minus actual cost. Okay, you can also use shortcut. Abhi ke liye for the time being. Sir, where you should have expended this much, you spent this much. Sir, two four two four extra we have spent. That is adverse. Acha ji, ठीक है. So that is the first answer. दूसरा, second. After labor cost variance, labor rate variance. Krish, I need labor rate variance का final answer. Take your time, but give me the answer, okay? Labor rate variance का final. Yes, hmm. Write it in a fair and at the end tell me the answer. That's it. Okay. I will wait. Uh, Nishi, uh, that is right answer. Uh, Arpit, that is right. Vedan, that is right. For uh, rate, Krish, that is right. चलो ठीक है. So now I will write. रेट इज नथिंग बट सर रेट रेट का डिफरेंस मल्टीप्लाइड बाई दीज आवर्स तो या स्टैंडर्ड रेट माइनस एक्चुअल रेट इंटू एक्चुअल आवर्स थ्री टू वन Actual rate is four three two. Actual hours one one two zero seven twenty one sixteen
ओके सो या दैट इज गना बी योर आंसर विच इज नथिंग बट अ रेट वेरियंस ठीक है ना आफ्टर रेट ना ध्रुवी इज इट पॉसिबल टू कैलकुलेट आइडल टाइम वेरियंस नो हाँ बिकॉज डेटा इज नॉट गिवन नाउ अर्पित लेबर इफ अच्छा अर्पित हैज गिवन आंसर ठीक है तो ठीक है तो किसी और को पूछते हैं आरची दैट इज राइट क्रेश नो चलो ना विल विल डू वन थिंग आई विल कैलकुलेट द इफिशियंसी वेरियंस एट माई एंड वंस यू गेट द आंसर प्लीज जस्ट आंसर दैट इन चैट बॉक्स इफिशियंसी वेरियंस वंस यू कैलकुलेट एट यूर एंड आई एम राइटिंग एट माई एंड बट इफ यू गेट द आंसर प्लीज just write it down so i will come to know that this many people have got the answer i won't take your names but i can see those okay i'm writing chup chap se you just send the answers okay vedant edwit fair enough theek now labor efficiency variance नहीं अद्वैत मिक्स में आई थिंक यू मेड सम मिस्टेक प्लीज चेक मिक्स ओके प्रियम दैट इज राइट ओके स्टैंडर्ड आर्स मैन इज एक्चुअल आर्स इन टू स्टैंडर्ड रेट ओके ओके खुशी ध्रुवी दैट इज राइट ओके नो वन वन फाइव टू फोर थ्री टू टू वन सिक्स वन वन फाइव टू सर वट आर मई एक्चुअल आवर्स मई एक्चुअल आवर्स आर वन वन टू जीरो सेवन ट्वेंटी I can see. Okay, Priyam. Okay, fine. Ah, uh, that's okay. Okay, Vidhima, Dhruvi, Khushi, Vaishnavi. Okay, Vedant mix right. Okay. Okay. If you have got these answers, means abhi tak ka tumara sab clear hai. If you have got these answers, okay. Because you understand each and every bit of the. standard costing abhi tak ka because it is like those five variances only okay anish that is right priyam that is right krish or uh, vidan that is right for mix okay yeah so that was the efficiency if anyone has not written please just check now yeah uh, there is a space so let me just wind up this question here itself labor mix variance that is i'm going to revise standard hours minus actually yeah to simple hai first i will do this i will say the entire variance is same except for the first column let us copy that again the fifth one is labor yield entire variance seems or oh, except for the now second column not first column theek hai from here i will delete the first column from here i will delete the second column theek hai 
what will be written over here rsh reverse standard over here also it is written as rsh let us copy rsh that is this Yeah, so these are my answers. Uh, if you can just make that diagram, that's quite okay. Yeah, we are done with this. Uh, that was quite easy. We can say nothing difficult. The only complication was this table. Once you make the table, the rest thing is easy. The only thing in this question was the data of output was given in hours instead of units. That data was given in terms of hours. That is hours produced 1800. That's it. And yeah. We uh, guys, uh, let's start with this. Uh, in order to solve question number uh, 11, I can say you need some explanation. This concept is based on variable overhead. Acha, sir, can you give me some example of variable overhead? Uh -huh. That is nothing but power we can say. Like electricity. It is like when the worker is working. If worker is working for one hour, sir, we have to make the payment to the worker. Yes, sir. But sir, when the worker is working, machinery is also working. So it will consume some electricity and power. That cost is a variable overhead. Okay, now. Let's read again the same table will be prepared. First, you guys will have to always the same table working note number one. Let us start with this working note number one. Let us make a table. Let's make a table. So let's make a table. Table will be like this. First, I need three rows. There is only again one type of overhead. So yeah, again fourth row is for that one type. Then yep. here we have a stand here we have a budget. A cha shit uh, one thing okay. Let's make the format like this budget. Standard actual. Then here it is a type hours, hours rate cost, hours rate cost. Where we write output. Uh, can we proceed? Hello. Yes. Chalo. To dekhte kya diya gaya. Sir, what is given in the question is this. From the following information of G Limited, calculate what you guys will have to calculate. Calculate variable overhead cost variance, variable overhead expenditure variance, and variable overhead efficiency variance. So, what all things you need to calculate is a cost variance, expenditure variance, and efficiency variance. T. Understand these three variances. First of all, budgeted production is six thousand. Budgeted production is six thousand. Okay, and for that matter, see this is budgeted production. Budgeted variable over was one lakh twenty thousand. Uh, standard time for one unit of output is two hours. Can you tell me how many hours can be written? What is written is this. Standard time for one unit of output is two hours. So you expected that to produce the one unit, it will take two hours. So tell me if the budget is made for six thousand units. How many hours it will take? 12,000. 12, yeah, 12,000. How will you get this? So very simple. 
or you made a target of 6000 units and on very first day you are making a plan that every unit will take uh, two hours so every unit takes two hours if one unit takes two hours over here you can see that if one unit takes two hours so 6000 will take 12000 hours such a one more thing i want to calculate one rate also which is standard rate can you, i hope you understand standard rate will be like this that uh, you are thinking that 1 lakh 20 thousand uh, you are thinking that 1 lakh 20 thousand is going to be your cost on very first day and for how many hours for 12 thousand hours so your standard rate is going to be 10 rupees per hour tumko samajhta hai ye on very first day you are thinking that yeah the payment will be done for 1 lakh 20 thousand hours on in very first day you are planning that you're gonna work for 12 thousand hours so the cost per hour of electricity will be 10 rupees so that is going to be written over here the electricity cost is 10 rupees per hour i hope we can uh, proceed right yes, sir. fair enough chalo so what is given actual production actually how many units we have produced 5900 now to produce 5900 sir what is the data actual overhead incurred you have incurred 122000 yes sir Actual hours worked, we have worked for 11,600, that's it. And they are saying calculate the variances. So we will do that. That is the data which was given. Now, is it possible to calculate this? Yes, it is very well possible. What you're going to do is cross multiply. Cross multiply, that we know how to do that. So 5,900 divided by 6,000 into 12,000. That is going to be 11,800. Double one, eight double zero. Double one eight double zero into ten. That is going to be one one eight triple zero. And yeah, this is going to be ten point five one seven. The rate is always uh, written with four decibels. Yeah. So that is how the thinking will be. That is how we will write it down. Yes, now uh, let's make few calculations. Let's have a look as to how the things will be calculated and all. Okay, okay, how the things will be calculated and all. That is how the calculation is. Uh, let's calculate the thing. First, guys, what you want to calculate is labor cost variance. Sir. No, labor, no, sorry, variable overhead cost. It is a power cost. Sir, for these many units, I should have incurred this much cost. For this many units, I have incurred this much cost. So, let us take the difference. The first will be variable overhead cost variance. Variable overhead cost variance. Sure. Now, when you calculate, so the formula is going to be standard cost. Yeah, so now we know that the shortcut the standard cost minus actual cost so where your cost should have been 1 lakh 18 thousand you guys have incurred 1 lakh 22 thousand you have incurred 4 thousand extra that is adverse so that is gonna be a uh, 4 thousand adverse okay fair enough so that is variable overhead cost variance okay second part once you write this that is variable overhead cost variance what is the next part the next part is going to be variable overhead rate but we never say rate the word which is used over here is expenditure it in material you use price variance in labor you use rate variance in variable overhead you use expenditure what was the expenditure expected at 10 rupees per hour that was expected and what we have incurred is something like this okay Chalo. so variable overhead rate variance Sir, what is going to be the formula, formula we know that we should have incurred this much, that is standard rate, we have incurred at this rate, actual rate, multiplied by actual hours, that is this, standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours, okay, that is going to be the answer. Now, if you calculate 10, I will write this uh, 122,000 divided by 1600 to get exact answer. multiplied by actual hours okay so i will do something like this first i will calculate this value on the calculator 
1,100,000 divided by 11,600 minus 10 into 11600 so answer is gonna be 6000 and you can check because we have paid the rate is more instead of 10 we paid something more it is gonna be adverse please uh, this is uh, if you have any doubt in this calculation wala part ki, sir, nahi samjha ye wala, just let me know because there was a fraction so I wanted an exact answer so I went for this okay Sir, still, even if you go for that 10 minus 10.5172 into 11600, still you will get that 59999.52, that is 6000 only. Third variance. Variable overhead. Generally, what do we write? We write, efficient. here we will write efficiency. Because workers, we have taken these hours. Now, this cost is dependent upon hours. For material, we have written usage. For labor, we have written efficiency. Here also efficiency. Why efficiency? Because when workers have worked for this many hours, I can say because of workers' efficiency, what is the benefit? Where workers should have taken 11,800 hours, they have taken 11,600. So this is the efficiency of the worker because of which we have got the benefit. So now let's go this variable overhead efficiency variance. When you write variable overhead efficiency variance, that is going to be, that is going to be your standard rate. Okay, uh, that is going to be standard hours minus actual hours efficiency into standard rate. Where workers should have taken guys 11800 hours. So, or they have taken 11600. My workers are efficient. And what is the benefit into standard rate is 10. So, that is 2000. And this is the benefit favorable. These are efficient workers. Okay. That is going to be the benefit. Still, if you want to make a timeline, I can just show you with the help of timeline as a cost variance has two parts. Are a variable over a rate. I just told you not to write rate. What I told you is. You should not write rate. What expenditure? Expenditure. That is rate. Expenditure. That is expenditure. That is expenditure. Yeah, so that is gonna be 4000 adverse, then 6000 adverse, and 2000 favorable. Karke. Yeah, and finally, we can say that that is the solution. And a quite small question, and we are done with this uh, concept. We are done with this question, okay, guys. So uh, let's understand one concept that is fixed overhead. Wala, okay, so you can just give the heading as fixed overhead variances, fixed factory overhead variances yes sir Achha, anybody can tell me the fixed factory overhead ka example if i just ask you sir example rent rent yeah rent that is one common example uh, one more thing i can say supervisor salary oh, i hope that is justifiable supervisor salary is nothing but per annum it is decided that you are gonna get let us say that 5 lakh 6 lakh 8 lakh or 10 lakh whatever is your package you are going to get that so let us say 10 lakh rupees is package so if 10 lakh per annum is a package it is a fixed cost now because irrespective of the output you will have to make that payment karke. so fixed cost is this okay that is a fixed factory over uh, that is a supervisor salary no matter how many units you produce still that rent and supervisor salary will remain same supervisor salary will remain same now let me give you one basic example, then we will proceed with this. So let me give you an ekdam chhotu sa concept ka example, chhotu sa example. So I am going for one concept question before we actually start with the questions. Concept question. Chalo. Uh, let us understand one concept question before you start with this. Let me write this data. You will always write this particulars budget actual. Then you will write absorption or yeah, recovery rate. Recovery rate. 
अच्छा इवन इफ यू डो नॉट राइट एज ऑफ नो दैट इज ओके जस्ट पे अटेंशन आई विल गिव यू द टाइम टू राइट दैट इज ओके यू जस्ट पे अटेंशन एज टू वट इज हैपनिंग ओके दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ अंडरस्टैंड लेट इज से दैट अपन ने वी स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस ऑफ सैंडविच तो अपन ने वी स्टार्ट अ बिजनेस ऑफ मेकिंग सैंडविचेस विल सी वेदर इट इज देयर और नॉट तो यो Yeah, so we started this business. We started making sandwiches, guys. Uh, and yeah, upon the upon sandwich we check out. So now let us say I'm specifically not talking with reference to material cost, labor cost, overhead cost, variable wala. I'm just specifically talking with reference to fixed cost. Example will be rent in this case. Rent. Acha. Let us say that that shop is there, uh, uh, maybe somewhere, and we will have to pay some rent. Or let us say if you don't have to pay the rent because it is roadside, so. Maybe we will have to pay some charges to the BMC person. Okay, some charges will be there. Let us say a rent, and your rent is nothing but your overhead. Overheads. If I talk about the overheads, O O, then output. That is in units. Acha. Oh, now only we have discussed output can be expressed in terms of units or it can be expressed in terms of Hours. Hours. Okay, चलो ठीक है. Now overheads. Let us say this data will be given in the question. Let us see that your expense was hundred rupees per day. So your rent is hundred rupees per day. Instead of month, let us go for uh uh ये yeah, this. Let us go for this. Ah uh, per day only. Hundred rupees is your ah uh, expense. Now tell me, when do we decide the selling price? That is the first question. When do we decide the selling price on first day or on last day? On first day. अच्छा इफ यू डिसाइड द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑन फर्स्ट डे टू डिसाइड द सेलिंग प्राइस ऑन फर्स्ट डे आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड सपोज इफ आई टेल यू द सेलिंग प्राइस यू वांट टू डिसाइड ऑन द फर्स्ट डे व्हाट ऑल रिक्वायरमेंट्स यू हैव टू डिसाइड द सेलिंग प्राइस यू हैव टू रिक्वायरमेंट्स व्हाट डू यू वांट यू नीड कॉस्ट ऑन द फर्स्ट डे कॉस्ट टू बी इनकर्ड फॉर वन यूनिट एंड यू नीड अ प्रॉफिट आल्सो so you need profit per unit and you need cost per unit chalo profit per unit is something when you can say i need 2 rupees ka profit karke theek hai but sir cost ke liye i can say cost has two parts again variable and fix variable is incurred in per unit but i hope you understand you need fixed cost per unit but you know that how do we incur the fixed cost fixed cost is incurred in totality or it is incurred on unit basis fixed cost rent totality so we incur that in totality now sir let us say that your variable cost is let us see that your variable cost is let us see that your variable cost is uh, we can take any damn example let us that it is 12 rupees uh, material uh, plus labor 12 plus 5 that is that is 17 which is material and labor okay now the shop uh, which you have there i can say that This is per unit cost. Okay, now the shop which is there, I can say that my total rent is. Ah, uh, uh, let us say that hundred rupees per day. Okay, and how many units you gonna sell? What is gonna be your output? You are going to sell fifty units. So what will you say, sir? My rent per day is hundred. Generally, I sell fifty units in a day. So accordingly, sir, my rent is gonna be two rupees per unit. देखो ना वॉट आई एम सेंग इज फिक्स ओवर हेड पेड इन टोटल एट इन टोटैलिटी इन टोटल या तो चलो इन टोटल फिक्स ओवर हेड रिकवर्ड इन पर यूनिट इट इज लाइक दिस यू विल मेक द पेमेंट ऑफ रेंट एज टू रुपीज पर यूनिट और आई कैन से रेंट इज पेड एज हंड्रेड रुपीज पर डे इन टोटल But rent is recovered as rupees two per unit. Is this clear? Because yes. see, you cannot tell one customer to pay entire rent. You will have to divide. You will say every sandwich will give me two rupees current. So this is a recovery, correct? And this two rupees current recovery is written over here. And once this is added, seventeen plus two, nineteen becomes your cost. Let us say that you need to earn profit of three rupees, and that total becomes twenty one, correct? Or twenty two, correct? That selling price is decided. As in, when one customer comes, he will give you twenty-two rupees for that sandwich. So just one example is written. Acha, tell me, this twenty-two rupees. If I just segregate between two parts, I can say other and fixed overhead. Other and fixed overhead. 
सो आउट ऑफ दिस ट्वेंटी टू रुपीज ट्वेंटी इज फॉर दैट प्रॉफिट एंड अदर कॉस्ट करके बट दैट टू रुपीज इज फॉर रेंट करके एज एन मैन वन कस्टमर कम्स यू आर रिकवरिंग टू रुपीज एज अ रेंट दिस ट्वेंटी टू इंक्लूड्स टू रुपीज एज अ रेंट अच्छा तो आई होप दिस एंटायर कैलकुलेशन इज अंडरस्टूड तो हियर आई कैन से दैट टू रुपीज इज दिस इज नोन एज वन यूनिट का रेंट वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टू वन यूनिट इज इक्वल टू रुपीज टू ओवर हियर दैट इज हाउ इट इज कैलकुलेटेड हियर वी हैव एक्सपेक्टेड वी कैन एस एल फिफ्टी यूनिट्स करके बजट सो आई कैन से एज एन वेन द रिकवरी रेट इज कैलकुलेटेड रिकवरी रेट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड बेस्ड ऑन बजट रिकवरी रेट इज ऑलवेज कैलकुलेटेड बेस्ड ऑन बजट रिमेंबर दिस Yes, sir. Now, tell me, we have not got. Let us say that if I give you one year's data, you made a plan that you gonna uh, produce one lakh units. Is it possible that you will produce one lakh units only, or there is a possibility that it can? Uh, there is a variation. Is it possible that the variance will be there? Yes. Sir. Yeah, it is very well possible. Sir, variance will be there. Okay, chalo. ठीक है. तो I thought that we will sell fifty units, but sir, actually we were able the customer came and we could sell 53 units okay chalo theek hai so that is a difference in volume now one more thing if i make a estimate let us say i am uh, i am going to pay supervisor 1 lakh 20000 per annum let us say that is fixed cost overhead ka cost okay one year ka data budget is it necessary that at the end of the year i am going to pay him 1 lakh 20000 or there is a possibility in between he will say sir i have got one another offer from some another company xyz company so if you can pay me that much i will stay here otherwise i will leave the organization so i hope you understand there is a possibility that 1 lakh 20000 cost which was expected on very first day it can deviate and it can become 1 lakh 50 also just because it has changed will you say this as a variable just because it has changed will you say this as a variable yes or no tell me just because it has changed instead of 1 lakh 20 you know we have to pay 1 lakh 50 is it variable because of this no no understand the cost changes because of the change in the quantity is a variable cost it is like material for one unit you require 10 rupee ka material for two units you require 20 rupees ka material so the change is because of units then it is a variable cost it means if you vary the units cost will also vary but sir every cost can change because of inflation this reason is what it is not because of units this reason is because of inflation or we can say because of the demand made by that supervisor karke so i hope you understand even whatever budget you made for a fixed cost even it can change yes it can very well change let us say that now you were thinking that you will spend 100 rupees you guys spent 110 karke okay chalo now i i am interested in calculating the variances now i am interested in calculating the variances So let me just calculate the variances. Let's see as to uh, what all variances will come. The first variance is going to be guys, fixed overhead cost variance. First one variance which is going to be fixed. I am not going to write any formula. A pure logic I will discuss with you. Fixed overhead cost variance. Tell me what is your recovery? How much amount you must have recovered from customer? This is just a logic. We gonna write the formulas. But yeah, first logical discussion. Tell me what is going to be your recovery? That is recovered overhead. How much money you must have recovered from your customer? One zero six. One zero six. How come? Because as in when you sell one unit, you recover actually that selling price was twenty two. But out of twenty two, two rupees was recovered with reference to rent. And how many units you have actually sold? Fifty three. So you can say it is two into fifty three. That is nothing but one zero six is recovered overhead. Yes. Sir, how did you get this? So what multiplied by what? So I can say. I can say that uh, this is recovery rate per unit. It is RR, huh? Into actual units, actual output. Okay. Now tell me what are actual overheads that you have paid? This is something which came inside your pocket. If this is your pocket, one zero six, you guys have recovered. It is like because you have sold fifty three units, so as and when customer came, they gave us selling price in that two rupees was of rent. So yeah, you have recovered one zero six rent. What is the amount that you have paid actually at the end of the year or at the end of the day? One zero one one zero, na? That is something which is actual over it. Tell me, 
you have paid more or you have paid less more one zero six is recovered. This came in your pocket. One zero one one zero you paid. So four rupees extra. That is gonna be adverse. Is it clear logically that four rupees is adverse? Why? Because you paid more amount. Yes, sir. Sir, this four rupees. Yeah. Now, now, now this four rupees is going to be. Uh, let me just uh, take this to the next page. That will make more sense. So yeah. Chalo. Now, if I ask you, if I ask you, this variance, this difference is because of two reasons. This four rupees adverse which came, this is a fixed solid cost variance. It is because of two reasons. Either my estimation of overhead must have gone wrong, or my estimation of units must have gone wrong. So first, let us say overheads. That is fixed overheads expenditure variance. Now this is also known as fixed overheads budget variance. Budget, my budget has gone wrong of expenditure. Achha. So again, if I just tell you, your expenditure ka budget uh, or that expenditure wala part has gone wrong by what amount? 10 rupees. But that is adverse or favorable. You are expecting to pay 100, but sir, you paid 110. Is it adverse or favorable? Hello. Adverse. Adverse. Sir, you paid more. Sir, what is the formula? Standard overhead or to be very precise, budgeted overhead. Minus actual overhead. Where you should have paid 100, you guys have paid 110. So, 10 rupees extra you have paid. That is adverse. Yes, sir. That is clear. Now, the estimation of uh, this must have gone wrong. Over its estimation is gone wrong. The second estimation which can go wrong is of output. So now the third variance is going to be fixed overhead volume variance. Volume because units are also known as volume. That is volume is nothing but units. So that is a volume variance. What should be your volume and what is your volume? So budgeted units. How many units you were expecting to sell minus how many units you have actually sold into recovery rate per unit you will understand where you are supposed to sell now think logically huh where you are expecting to sell 50 you have sold 53 first of all is this adverse or is this favorable where you are thinking that you will sell 50 sir now don't think plus and minus think logically okay Sir, I was expecting to sell 50, but sir, customer came and I sold 53. It is good news. And for every unit, you have recovered, you recovered 2 rupees rent. So, this 3 extra units give you extra rent of 3 into 2. That is 6 rupees favorable. So, now you can see that at the end, there is a loss. There is a loss of this uh, 4 adverse. And this loss is because of 2 reasons. First, my expenditure estimation have gone wrong. So there is a loss of 100 or uh, 10 rupees that expenditure has gone wrong. But sir, still, because I have sold more units, I have recovered 6 rupees extra. So at the end, I have incurred a loss of only 4 rupees. That is what I can say. Uh, achha, first of all, fixed overheads are dependent upon true or false. Tell me, fixed overheads are dependent upon units, true or false. When you incur them, not recovery, I'm saying payment. Payment of fixed overheads depends upon units. Yes, no, no. Nah. It is in totality. Can I say that payment of fixed rates depends upon a period? That's why, see, it is not dependent upon units. So I haven't revised that as a standard curve. If 50 units I have spent this much, so sir, for 53 units, what is this the amount that I should have spent? You cannot say like that because, sir, even you make 53 units, still that payment should be done for 100 only. You cannot just revise accordingly because this cost is not dependent upon units, sir. Okay, so that is how the structure is. There is no standard in between. This is made on the first day, this is on the last day, and you will directly compare these two. Yeah. Would you like to write this or it is okay? Even if you do not write, it is up to you. Do you want to write this? Yes, Okay, so please uh, just complete this part, okay? do this guys let's start with this question after understanding the concept so yeah uh, concept uh, yeah we don't want this uh, flexible yeah we just need zudu application so let's have a look so 
एस वी लिमिटेड हैज फर्निश द फॉलोइंग डेटा बजट एंड द एक्चुअल ओके ओके इवन बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट दे आर आस्किंग दे आर आस्किंग फॉर टोटल वेरियंसेज दैट इज ओवर हेड वेरियंस कॉस्ट वेरियंस एक्सपेंडिचर वेरियंस एंड वॉल्यूम वेरियंस तो आई नो दैट टू कैलकुलेट दिस वेरियंसेज आई विल हैव टू मेक अ टेबल नाउ दीज आर फिक्स ओवर हेड वेरियंसेज फिक्स ओवर हेड so to calculate this answer i will have to make a table so guys always first we make a table working note number 1 table of x overhead acha as and when you make a table you know the format ki first you will write particulars then you will write budget then you will write actual then you will write recovery rate ओके चलो तो या हैविंग सेट दैट यू नीड टू बाई हार्ट दैट यू नीड टू मेक दिस स्ट्रक्चर द लॉजिक वी हैव अंडरस्टूड नाउ लेट्स गो विद दिस लेट अस जस्ट स्प्लिट द स्क्रीन एंड ट्राई टू जस्ट एनालाइज दिस मच डेटा सर नंबर ऑफ वर्किंग डेज दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन इज यूजलेस दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन विल बी यूजफुल वैन यू कैलकुलेट कैलेंडर वेरियंसेज बट सर आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस वाई सर बिकॉज दैट कैलेंडर वेरियंस दे आर नॉट आस्किंग फॉर इट इज अ एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन यू विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ दैट वेरियंस विल बी कैलकुलेटेड कैलेंडर हैव सम पेशेंट्स अच्छा यूनिट्स का डेटा इज देयर ओके ठीक है तो चलो नाउ दैट डेटा डेट्स का डेटा इज नॉट रेलेवेंट फॉर मी एज ऑफ नाउ प्रोडक्शन इन यूनिट्स तो या आई वाज प्लानिंग टू प्रोड्यूस ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड यूनिट्स गाइस एंड आई हैव प्रोड्यूस ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड यूनिट्स ओके दैट इज डन आई वॉज प्लानिंग टू इनकर कितना थर्टी थाउजेंड आई हैव इनकर थर्टी वन थाउजेंड थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड आई हैव इनकर थर्टी वन थाउजेंड ओके सो दैट इज दिस रेट थर्टी एंड थर्टी वन थाउजेंड now if you uh, just see ahead uh, that is 30 31 acha there is one uh, print budgeted fix over at rate is one uh, it is actually not one uh, there is a typing error please just rectify that is 1.50 wo galti se one ho gaya it is 1.5 karke okay 1.5 now even if it is not given i hope you understand we would have calculated that how you will calculate uh, if recovery rate is to be calculated you going to do something like this Sir, your cost is thirty thousand. You need to recover this cost by producing on very first day. You are thinking you are gonna produce twenty thousand units. So you made a plan as and when you sell one unit, thirty thousand divided by twenty thousand. You are gonna receive one point five rupees for every unit. Yeah, that was something which was decided. Yes, sir, that is understood. Let's proceed ahead. Acha sir. In July twenty two zero x two, the actual hours worked are. Acha. Again, this data is not relevant. It is. relevant for efficiency this extra data is there okay but as of now because my focus is upon these three variances i am not ignoring this data you will understand this when in the next lecture i will explain that total variance where i will give you around seven variances of fixed overhead now to we have learned only three again there are four more variances which are there but that data is not relevant because that variance is not asked they have asked for total variance so again this data is ignored by me because for me as of now it is not relevant acha now i will calculate one by one once this information is there now i will calculate one by one pehla fix overheads acha i will write somewhere if you want fixed overheads ko i will write foh to fixed are yaar theek hai to fix overhead cost variance So, if you say fix overhead cost variance, please anybody if you can tell the answer on the chat box, I would be happy. Let's see how many people can answer. Little bit has been explained. Let's see how many of you can answer this now. So, or as I when I sell one unit, I recover one point five rupees. I have sold how many units? What is the amount that I have paid? Yeah, version of it that is right answer. Arshi, that is right answer. I can say you need to go like this. 
ऐसा जाने का ऐसा दैट इज द रूट दैट इज द रूट ध्रुवी नहीं मे बी सम कैलकुलेशन एर विल सी सी एज ए ध्रुवी वी मेड दैट चेंज दैट सी यूर ऑब्जॉर्बन रेट इज वन पॉइंट फाइव नाउ यू विल से दैट एज एन वेन यू सेल वन यूनिट गाई इज प्रियम नहीं यू यू रिकवर कितना वन पॉइंट फाइव एज एन वेन यू सेल वन यूनिट सो द फॉर्मेट विल बी लाइक दिस रिकवरी रेट पर यूनिट मल्टीप्लाइड बाई एक्चुअल यूनिट्स और एक्चुअल आउटपुट लेट मी राइट यू विल गेट रिकवर्ड ओवर हेड हाउ मच यू हैव रिकवर्ड वंस यू रिकवर दिस मच ओवर हेड वॉट इज यूर एक्चुअल ओवर हेड एक्चुअल ओवर हेड वॉट यू हैव पेड देन यू विल इट विल गिव यू द डिफरेंस सो एज ए वेन यू सेल वन यूनिट गाइज यू रिकवर कितना वन पॉइंट फाइव यू हैव सोल्ड हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड सो 1.5 into 22,000. So 33,000 is something which came in your pocket. As in when you sell one unit, you recover 1.5. You have sold 22,000. So 22,000 into 1.5, you have recovered 33,000. What is the amount that is paid by you at the end? You paid 31,000. So I can say recovery is higher. You have recovered 33, paid only 31. So 2,000 is a favorable answer. Logically, recovery is recovery is higher. It is good for the company. You need to go like this: one point five into two thousand twenty-two thousand minus thirty-one thousand. That is what we have done: one point five into twenty-two thousand then minus thirty-one thousand. Acha, now I have got benefit of two thousand. I would like to know the reason, sir. Why there is a benefit of two thousand? There can be two reasons: either my estimation of overhead must have gone wrong, or my estimation of output, that is units, must have gone wrong. Let's check that because of what. First of all, can I proceed? Are you comfortable with this? Hello. ओके चलो नाउ आई नीड आंसर प्लीज इन द चैट बॉक्स दैट इज फिक्स ओवरहेड एक्सपेंडिचर वेरिएंस इफ यू कैलकुलेट फिक्स ओवरहेड एक्सपेंडिचर दैट इज बजट वेरिएंस वेरी इजी वेरी इजी या आरजी वेदांत दैट इज राइट आंसर वेरी इजी यू नीड टू गिव मी द आंसर ओके यप तो रिदिमा निशी अद्वैत ओके ध्रुवी वेदांत ओके फेर इनफ वैष्णव एवरी वन राइट आंसर नाउ व्हाट इज द फॉर्मूला सर बजेटेड ओवरहेड माइनस एक्चुअल ओवरहेड बजेटेड ओवरहेड माइनस एक्चुअल ओवरहेड दैट इज आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग टू इनकर थर्टी थाउजेंड I have incurred thirty-one thousand, one thousand extra. I have incurred, which is adverse, not good for company. Expected this much. Incurred thirty-one, thirty ka thirty-one. So that does yeah, one thousand extra you have incurred, which is not good for the company. Now company wants to know that was the one difference. Another difference is because of units. That is volume. So we say fix overhead volume variance. Let us calculate fixed overhead volume variance. Sir, how will you do it? Easy. Budgeted units or budgeted output. You are expecting to sell this many units or this much output minus actual output multiplied by recovery rate per unit. Sir, you were expecting to sell how many units, sir? I was expecting to sell twenty thousand units, sir. How many units you have sold? Twenty-two thousand. Good or bad? Good for the company, sir. You sold more units, and for every unit you recover one point five. So twenty thousand minus twenty-two thousand into one point five. That is going to be three thousand favorable. Logically, logically, huh? Don't go plus minus. Think logically. It is favorable, sir. We have recovered more twenty-two thousand instead of twenty. We sold twenty-two. It is good for the company, sir. So it is a favorable karke. Yeah. And if you cross check, you can tally the things, and it will tally. Yes, it will tally. Okay, it will tally. Let me just cross check and tally the things. Yeah, many people find this difficult. Ah, huh? fix over the other part. I hope you are thinking it is. It is quite logical. So I can just give you that idea that first cost variance, it has two parts. Expenditure.
efficiency. Sorry. अच्छा 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 सॉरी 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 वो हैबिट है ना वो सॉरी वो क्या हाँ ठीक है वॉल्यूम 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 आई मिस्टेक वी आर नॉट गोइंग फॉर फिक्स वेरिएबल वर्ड वी आर गोइंग फॉर फिक्स वर्ड सो टू थाउजेंड फेवरेबल देन हियर इट इज वन थाउजेंड का लॉस इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस एंड थ्री थाउजेंड का बेनिफिट इज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस या so that is how the solution is so that is our variance which is this and we are done with this question quite easy basic question okay we are done with this question done okay guys uh let's start with this uh today what we will do is fix overhead ka concept question so just give the heading fix overheads acha sir fixed factory overhead can you give any example already we have taken example so can you just tell me one example rent supervisor salary. supervisor salary yes so that is only that i will write rent supervisor salary theek hai so that is the example acha as and when we solve this question as and when we solve this question always you will make the table so first you will have to make the table and then solution will be done so first you will have to make the table and accordingly we will proceed with the solution so how to make the table what kind of the, how the table will look like so please make the table with me first we will write particulars after particulars yeah you can have some space over here thoda sa particulars then there is a budget then there is a actual then there is a recovery rate That is R R. अच्छा अच्छा Now I will write overheads. So we did this last time, ha? Ah, now we are going for extended version. That was a small small question. Okay, overheads. Output, which is in units. Then uh, days. Now this is extended version. You can see hours paid. Then you will write idle hours. Then you will write hours worked. Please write down this much with me. And then I will explain hours worked. Then again output in units. Output. Okay. so now your absorption rate will be one unit x is equal to one day is equal to one hour is equal to please write down this much and we will try to understand everything this is one of the complicated thing so i need your 100% attention undivided attention okay so let's get started first of all sir now you need to tell me sir when do we make the budget i would like to know when do we make the budget first day or last day first day first day yeah so that let us say a uh, one month or one year ka data is given one month ka data is given the budget was made on the first day and on the last day you have got this actual data okay acha as in when you calculate this recovery rate it is based on what budget or actual recovery rate budget based on budget on very first day you want to decide the selling price so you decide the recovery rate of fixed over it so it is always based on budget Now let's calculate one by one. First of all, first of all, what is what is your fixed overhead? So let us assume that this is overheads. These are fixed overheads. Now when I am writing, these are fixed overheads only. So when I am writing, let us say that you thought your cost will be one lakh rupee, and you thought that you are going to produce twenty five thousand. Can you tell me what will be your recovery rate? Your estimation was that guys, my cost for one month will be one lakh rupees, and we are going to produce and sell twenty five thousand. So for every unit, what what is the amount that you will recover? You are going to pay one lakh rupees, four rupees, four rupees. How did you get that? So one lakh divided by twenty five thousand. How did you get this? Just in case you want to know, so that is nothing but uh one lakh divided by this twenty five thousand. चलो यहाँ पे I will write it down. That is how you got it. Just to have an idea, one lakh divided by twenty five k. 
that is how you got it sure now if you just talk about this now this was the estimation which was made on false day guys but is it necessary it will match with actuals no actually let us say that we have incurred 1 lakh 20 thousand and actually we have produced and sold 26 thousand units now tell me based on these based on this data which is in front of you how many variances can be calculated we did this uh, based on the data which is available with you how many variances are possible you can calculate one two three four how many variances three variances right now first variance i need answer from your side i would like to see as to how many people did that revision what is your fixed overhead cost variance i would like to know that fixed overhead cost variance the first variance solution give me the answer fixed overhead cost variance first one What is going to be your fixed or cost variance? Vaishnavi, uh, that is right answer. But yeah, but uh, you should always, uh, RC, that is right. Vedant, nahi. some mistake is there. Check. Fixed overhead cost variance, I would like to know. So, first of all, what will I do? Sir, I will see that. What is the amount that I have recovered? See, you have to go like this. You should go like this. You will see that, yeah, many people have given right answer as well. Okay, Krish. Okay. Uh, Krish, that should be adverse. You will understand how. Karke. Dhruvi, yes, sir, that is right. Karke. Achha, I, I, okay, that is uh, okay. Nishi, nahi, Nishi kuch jada hi bada answer aage, that is not the answer. Understand what is your recovery rate? You will write that, huh? you will write like this. You will say, What is your recovery rate? So, you will write recovery rate per unit multiplied by actual output. You will get recovered overhead. And from that you will subtract actual overhead. And then you are going to get the difference either over recovery or under, under recovery. Let's see that. Now what I am going to say that as in when you sell one unit guys you recover 4 rupees. That is decided on very first day. Sir how many units you have sold? Actually you guys have sold 26,000 units. So I can say that if you guys have sold 26,000 units. You guys must have recovered 1 lakh 4000. Sir, we have recovered 1 lakh 4000. This is something which came in pocket. Recovered overhead. This much we have recovered. We have decided on first day. We will recover 4 rupees. As and when I sell 1 unit, I have sold 26,000 units. So I have recovered 1 lakh 4000. Sir, what is the amount that you have paid? Sir, you have paid 1 lakh 20,000 to minus 1 lakh 20,000. Logically thinking, sir, 14 came, 120 I paid, so sir, I paid 16,000 extra, that's why that is the adverse. Plus minus, just leave that. Think logically. 1,4,000 came in my pocket, I have paid 1,20,000, I have paid 16,000 extra, so the answer is adverse. Yeah. I would like to know the reason. Why this fixed uh, uh, overhead uh, cost variance is adverse, correct? I would like to, I am interested in knowing the reason, sir, this answer there are two reasons either this actual output must have changed see either this must have changed that is output must have changed or overhead must have changed so there are two reasons let us check this overheads that is expenditure expenditure has changed by so you need to give me the answer anyone what is gonna be your fixed overhead expenditure variance what was the expenditure thought of and what you have incurred guys you are thinking that you want to incur one lakh rupees yeah exactly everyone right answer you thinking you are thinking that one lakh gonna be your cost but sir actually you paid one lakh twenty sir that estimation went wrong and because of that uh, 20,000 you paid extra. So 20,000 is your adverse variance. Shall fix overhead expenditure variance. Fix overhead expenditure. That is we can say budget variance. Achha, now when I write this, the formula is very easy. You will say budgeted overhead. Budgeted expenditure, budgeted overhead I will say, yeah, 
I will say budgeted overhead minus actual overhead. That is, I was thinking that I am gonna spend one lakh rupees minus I have spent one lakh twenty thousand. So twenty thousand extra I have spent. That is gonna be adverse. Yeah. This is one estimation which went wrong. So the another estimation which is went wrong is units wala. I thought I will sell 24, but I 25. I have sold 26. Karke. So what is the variance? Okay, Nishi, that is right. Vaishnavi, that is right. Uh, Dhruvi, that is Dhruvi. Dhruvi, it should be adverse logic. Are sorry, 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 sorry. Nishi and Vaishnavi, that is wrong. Uh, Dhruvi and Vedant, that is right. It should be favorable, na? Where guys you are thinking that you are going to sell 25,000 units, sir. how many units you have sold? Sir, we have sold 26,000 units. So is it good or it is bad for the company? Instead of 25, you sold 26. It is good for the company, sir. More money will be recovered because of this. Are pakka clear? Hota hai? Okay, hello. Yes, sir. Fair enough. So now, we are going to go for a volume variance. Third variance is going to be the volume variance. That is fixed overhead volume variance. Now when you say fixed or volume variance, or what is going to be the formula, you, you are going to say budgeted volume, that is budgeted output. Minus actual output. Into recovery rate. Per output. That is per unit. Because that data is in units, now output ka data. So now I can say that where you are thinking it is like this line now or uh, this was the variance now this is the variance it is like this 25 minus 26 into 4 25 minus 26 into 4 so 25,000 minus 26,000 into 4 so sir where I was expecting to sell 25 I sold 26 I sold 1000 extra sir I have recovered 4000 extra that is favorable and you can cross check also you can cross check also it will tally so sir there is a loss of 20,000 there is a benefit of 4,000 if you just net off the net loss is only 16,000 now I don't think this is something which is a value addition it is something which we did in the previous lecture also hello you remember this we did this much yeah now now something extra sir as and when you make a plan let us say you make a target that you need to finish eight subjects let us say you make as and when you make a plan in your life let us say now you made a plan key now you want to study you are very serious you have seen one of motivated lecture and yeah motivational lecture and you are saying like now you are motivated key. now we gonna do it correctly now in this case in this case what you will do when you make a plan the first and foremost thing which you consider before you make a plan is what before making a plan, what do you see? That how much time you have, right? How many days are there? Are we, calcul we calculate the days, now? These many days, these many subjects, one subject, how many days, or one subject, how many days, So we can say that, as in when you guys make a plan, you always make a plan of days, as to how many days we have. Okay, same way, company will make a plan that in one month, let us say that, company, will, this data will be given in the question, okay? The solution we are writing over here. Let us, and I am explaining the how the question will be framed. I, let us say company has planned that it will work for 25 days. Let us say you plan that you guys will study for 25 days. Is it necessary that you will actually land up studying for 25 days or you can study more or less? Anything can happen, right? Anything can happen. Now, in this month, which we are talking about, sir, there was more demand. And because of more demand, we told our worker to come on Sunday also. And that is why we work for 27 days. So instead of 25 days, we have worked for 27 days. Now the first question which arises in my mind. Sir, this is one of the difficult variants. Huh? I can tell you that. So please pay attention. Like, don't give your 110% I can say. Sir, what is your recovery rate per day? Recovery rate per day. Can I say like this? Sir, you thought you will spend 1 lakh rupees. You thought you will work for 25 days. It means, it means you thought that you will recover how much money in one day. If the factory opens for one day, how much money will be recovered? 4,000. 4, now you will make a plan like, you will say like this. Uh, that uh, 1 lakh divided by 25 days. So if I say 1 lakh divided by 25 days, 1 lakh need to be recovered in 25 days. So 4,000. Yeah. 
सो योर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी द फोर थाउजेंड योर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी फोर थाउजेंड अच्छा सर इज देयर एनी अदर वे टू गेट फोर थाउजेंड आई विल से यस बट आई गिव यू द इजिएस्ट वे लेट्स कॉम्प्लीकेट द थिंग्स लेट एस कॉम्प्लीकेट कैन यू टेल मी इफ इन ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड यूनिट्स कैन बी प्रोड्यूस तो इन वन डे हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स कैन बी प्रोड्यूस थाउजेंड and in one day if you can produce 1000 units and if you sell it how much money can be recovered with reference to rent at the rate of 4 4000 see i i give you that explanation in one day 4000 amount is recovered or there was a shortcut let's not complicate the things 1 lakh divided by 25 still you will get 4000 okay chal now tell me instead of 25 days we have worked for 27 days is it good for the company or bad for the company bad good for the company good for the company sir are because See, in that case, so I can say factory. If you you just shut down the factory, that is a very good option. I hope you understand that is good for the company because the more number of days you work for, more number of units will be produced and more sales, then more money will be received. Hello. Yes, sir. Otherwise, always connect with your studies. I planned for twenty five days. I studied for twenty seven days. It is good. Yes, so it is favorable. Chalo. But sir, which variance? What name you will give? I will say. Days variant, but days look very cheap. For the purpose of days, what do you refer? Calendar. So we say calendar variants. So now the fourth variants is fixed overheads calendar variants. Fixed overheads calendar variants. How will you calculate calendar variants? So now this is days with reference. This was volume. The so volume was connected with output. now these are days so days uh, calendar calendar is connected with days so budgeted days you can see the formula there is not much change there is not that much change budgeted days minus actual days actual uh, we can say that budgeted days minus actual days into But now, when this time you multiply, multiply by what? Recovery rate what? Per unit or per hour, or per day? Per day. Per day. Recovery rate per day. Yeah. You will say something like this. You made a plan to study for twenty-five days. You made a. You actually studied for you twenty-seven days. Per day, our recovery rate is thousand. So two days into two, so two thousand February. One second. What I did are that is four thousand. Not. One thousand. That is four thousand. So eight thousand favorable. Acha. So now, can I say that can be one of the reason that you produce more output instead of twenty five? You could produce twenty six. The one of the reason can be we came for more number of days. So we have calendar. The we work for more number of days as compared to the planning. Yes. Second, there is one more thing. See. as and when you make a plan the first thing which you calculate is how many days you have the second thing which you always consider is how many hours you will put in for every in every day ka okay how many hours you going to study how many hours you are going to study that is something which is well thought of first you calculate the days then you calculate the number of hours you are going to study let us see that let us see that you made a plan that you are going to study for 10 hours a day that is your capacity that you can study 10 hours a day let's say that Okay, so accordingly, if we work for twenty-five days, and let us say there is one worker, so can I say that a two-fifty hours of work we were planning that one worker will come, he will work for one day. In one day he can work for ten hours, so in twenty-five days he can work for two-fifty hours. Okay. Okay. Now, now, you made a plan that in twenty-five days you can achieve two-fifty, and what you actually Studied. You actually, uh, workers have actually came to the factory for this many hours, two sixty-five hours. They came to the factory for this many hours. Now, again, if I ask you, sir, what is gonna be my recovery rate per hour? Tell me, what is gonna be your recovery rate per hour? Four hundred. Four hundred. How will you? How will you do it, sir? I was expecting to incur one lakh rupees. I was expecting that my worker will work for two fifty hours. It means my worker when he is working for one hour, how much money we are able to recover? Four hundred rupees. How come? So we can write that thing. One lakh divided by two fifty. So if you just do that, that is gonna be four hundred. Yeah. That is gonna be four hundred. Okay, that calculation also I have uh, shown in the bracket for your understanding. Now, 
Now, sir, next part. What is next part of understand? No, 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 no. If I ask you as to whether my workers have worked above capacity or below capacity, what is going to be your answer? My workers have worked for above capacity or below capacity. Bolo. Above capacity. I will say no, it is below capacity. You are comparing these two. That they, you are saying that workers have worked for uh, achha, below capacity. How below? If someone says below, explain. Because ideally it should be 270 hours, Exactly. What was the capacity? The capacity was here you can see that 10 hours a day. The capacity was 10 hours a day. If you see because 10 hours a day. Then we ask worker, how many days you came? He said 27 days we came to the factory. Achha, to according to your capacity, you should have worked for this many hours. You should come to the factory. But sir, we used to leave early. We used to come late. Like we generally we leave early. So we can say that because of that, even though we came for 27 days, sir, but we did not achieve the 270 ka target. We worked below capacity. We came to the factory only for 265 hours. So now tell me if uh, first of all chalo, let's write it down so first of all now the variance which you are going to calculate after days in days what was your capacity first you calculate the days in whatever days you are having you will say in every day how many hours you can put in that is capacity so fixed overhead capacity variance okay, you the hmm. this one yes sir क्या था बाहर गया था क्या नहीं सर वो एक्चुअली थोड़ा लैग हो रहा था ठीक है ओके वंस डन लेट मी नो देन आई विल जस्ट स्विच टू द नेक्स्ट पेज दैट्स डन चल तो नाउ लेट्स गो विद दिस गाइस दैट इज अ फिक्स ओवरहेड कैपेसिटी वेरिएंस व्हाट वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग इज अ फिक्स ओवरहेड कैपेसिटी वेरिएंस First, I will calculate one capacity which is known as a budgeted capacity. Let us calculate that is budgeted capacity. In actual days, if you want to write in actual days. Whatever it is you came for, what was your capacity minus actual capacity achieved actual capacity. And the capacity is indicated in terms of hours because it is indicated in terms of hour into recovery rate per hour. Shallow. I will give you the working. You will always do something like this. You will always write days and then you will write hour speed. You will say like this. So, for this, this is the working of this, like this calculation. Tell me, I will say like this in 25 days, if you are planning to work for 250 hours, it is like this. So, in 27 days, you should work for how many? So, in 27 days, budgeted capacity in actual days. So, actual days are 27. In 27 days, you should have come for this many hours, 270 hours. Minus, you actually came for how many hours? 265 hours. Once you do this, you should come to know the variance will be adverse or favorable. Now, into recovery rate. Now, because this is in terms of hours, you need to write 400, which is recovery rate per hour. 270 minus 265 into 400, 20, uh, 2000. And that 2000 will be adverse or favorable. So, logically, I will say first of all, this is above capacity or below capacity. So I will say this is below capacity. And something which is below capacity that is going to be adverse. Where this much was expected from you, budgeted. And what you achieved is you came, that is you worked below capacity. Acha sir, can you give me one more example as to how did you, one more explanation as to how that 400 you got? Let us understand. Having said that, having said that, I hope. Is it clear? Can I proceed? Uh, because this is quite difficult. So if you are getting it, then it is well and good. Hello, can we proceed? Yes. Fair enough. Chalo. Sir, please give us an example as to how did you get this 400? Let's take, let's take one more example. 
let us uh, compare this with again uh, this output i can say sir hours and units sir in 250 hours if 25000 units can be produced so in one hour how many units can be produced sir one hour so sir 250 hours means 25000 units can be produced so 25000 to 50 how many units can be produced 100 it means when worker is working uh, for one hour he is producing 100 units and tell me if you sell this 100 units what is the rent which will be recovered rent is recovered at the rate of rupees 4 can i say so that is going to be 400 and you got this shortcut ke tumko samjha ye cheez hello yes sir i can see like this na because worker have worked less for less hours like if you plan that you going to study for 25 uh, 10 days in r 10 days uh, r uh, sorry 10 hours a day 10 hours a day you going to study so instead of 25 days you went to the library for 27 days so what is expected from you you should sit in the library for 270 hours but you actually sat only for 265 hours so 5 hours less working that is below capacity and what is the loss per hour you could have recovered 400 rupees and you lost this much amount karke okay Anyone has any doubt? If you want to repeat something, you can ask me. Sir, this is this is something which I did not get. Okay, okay. That is capacity needs. Now, see what we did. First of all, number of days. In in every day, in every day, you gonna come for in instead of twenty five, you came for twenty seven days. Very good, very good. In twenty five days, if that that was your capacity, but you came for twenty seven days, so this was your capacity, and you worked only for two sixty five. That is a below capacity. We are just you can see that. Now one step ahead. Whatever hours you came for, how many hours are wasted? That is fixed over idle fixed over its idle time variance. Idle time variance. I think because we are done with the labor variance, I can have an idea that you can have an idea as to what is the fixed overhead idle time variance. When you talk about fixed overhead idle time variance, I can say that sir, idle time is nothing but isa time where the worker is sitting idle. And I know I know that you guys are. you guys are aware of the reasons also so anybody you can tell me those two or three reasons or why there will be an idle time machine is not working machine breakdown that is machine is not working power, power failure or raw metal is not available okay. exactly so these are the reasons sir so see that is a abnormal idle time so abnormal is something which is not known on very first day if something is known on very first day that he will uh, there is a lunch break and also that is already taken care of and you write 250 and something which you which you already know so after that only you have written this 250 okay something which was abnormal so you said ki worker will come and work for this many hours 240 like when you calculate the net hours you consider the normal hours in labor costing we have done that ki 100 uh, worker is going to come for 10 hours let us say 12 hours out of the 2 hours will be idle time because lunch break so he is going to work for 10 hours so i am paying him for this much work 10 hours ka normal time is already considered every day wala but something which is abnormal achanak se what has happened guys achanak se there was idle hours of 7 hours 7 hours light was not there electricity was not there so guys acha 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 i should write over here actually this is the main working yeah so idle hours here i can say 250 and uh, no hours and here uh, the 7 hours ka idle time is there so i can say 265 minus 7 that is going to be 258 that is going to be 258 now i would like to know the efficiency of first of all idle time is it good or bad for the company bad for the bad for the company can you tell me because of idle hours what is the loss that company must have suffered with reference to factory overhead per hour you you can generate 400 ka recovery but sir 7 hours are wasted can i say 7 into 400 hello yes sir yeah yes. exactly so let's write that idle hours into recovery rate per hour so idle hours are sir 7 hours and recovery rate per hour is 400 so 7 into 400 that is going to be 2800 and always adverse always you just don't have to think only always adverse always it is bad for the company yeah after idle time uh, even in labor costing if you see after idle time labor variances what comes is efficiency so now after idle time fix over its efficiency variance so 
सो गाइज नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर फिक्स डिफिशियंसी वेरियंस अंडरस्टैंड एकदम मस्त है इफिशियंसी इफिशियंसी Uh, let me write over here. Uh, let me just copy this line. Uh, whatever I have written over here, I will same copy everything over here. Same, just copy twenty five thousand and twenty six thousand. Okay, even write this much also. One unit is equal to how much rupee? Is equal to rupees four. Karke this this is also copied. Now I would like to know whether my workers are efficient or they are inefficient from your side. My workers are efficient or inefficient? Tell me. I work or whether they are efficient or whether they are inefficient. They are inefficient. Ah, uh, how? Uh, let's see. Let's see. We don't know, sir. Let's understand efficiency variance. Now, how will you calculate efficiency variance? So you are going to calculate budgeted units or expected units in actual hours. In actual days, it was budgeted capacity. Now, budgeted units or standard units in actual hours. We can say. expected units in actual are worked minus actual units that is actual output budgeted uh, expected output or you can just write output also that is okay units and output both mean same actual output yahan pe okay into recovery rate units or output you can interchange don't worry recovery rate per unit sir explain chalo let us explain first let us calculate this See what I am saying is what I am saying is understand. Again, I will say hours worked, and I will write units the way I have written. You can see at the end. So, sir, what you are planning is what you are planning is, guys, you are planning that we will work for two fifty hours and we will produce two or or twenty five thousand units. So, by working for two fifty hours, we were planning that worker will produce this much output. Sir, worker actually worked for how many hours on the machinery? Workers have actually worked for two fifty eight hours. You can see that they have worked for two fifty eight hours on the machinery. So, if you plan, if they work for two fifty hours on the machinery, you expect twenty five thousand ka output. So, if actual hours worked are this much, two fifty eight, so how what is the expected output accordingly? Twenty five thousand eight hundred. Twenty five thousand eight hundred. That is what I expect. But you work for how many hours? Two fifty eight. Now, I need this much output. Let's see. What is the output? Then he gave. We will compare with that. So first of all, twenty-five thousand to two fifty-eight divided by two. Yeah, that is around twenty-five thousand eight hundred. That is expected output. What is the output that you gave? You gave, I think, twenty-six thousand. Uh, let me check. Yeah, you gave twenty-six thousand. So you gave twenty-six thousand ka output. So let's write twenty-six thousand. Multiplied by because these are data. This data is in units. You are calculating units. So recovery rate per unit that is four rupees. Twenty five eight hundred minus twenty six thousand into four. You gonna get eight hundred. But adverse or favorable? Tell me. My workers are if he favorable, favorable. Favorable. Why? Because you are expecting this much, and he gave more. Na, so he is efficient. You can say that you are expecting twenty five eight hundred, but that guy gave you twenty six thousand. That is favorable. So yeah. Uh, here I can say that. Hundred. Just two hundred. Sorry. That's for solving. Barabar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a uh, efficient worker is efficient worker is efficient the reason more units are produced karke okay so here i can write it as favorable karke because he has produced more than what was expected produce more than expected if you want to write the reason the reason why you are saying that he is efficient produce more than expectation actual production is actual production is more than expected that's why it is favorable efficient that worker whatever i was expecting he has given me more than that that's why worker is efficient so it is favorable sir is there any shortcut to get these answers yes first of all many people have must must have seen also that yeah that is that is how the answer can be done but see this is the solution 
we have calculated seven variances this is a master question which is covering all the variances okay which is a master question now let's do one thing let us revise everything one by one okay let us revise everything one by one first of all let us make one tally wala answer also let us make one tally wala answer also let us make a diagram if you just talk about the diagram how many variances are there guys the first variance is cost variance cost variance will have two part expenditure then there is a volume and volume variance will have four parts a uh, calendar capacity then idle time and then efficiency guys yeah that is how it will be divided so yeah there are parts No. Now let, let me write the variances first. The first variance is 16,000 16, adverse. Let me write that 16,000 adverse. Let's check. It is because of two reasons. So let's check those two reasons. Uh, uh, Vaishnavi, I did not get you as to what you want to say. Uh, did I write? Have I, have I written something wrong? No. I was wrong. अच्छा वैष्णवी क्या नहीं समझा ये वाला दिस वन और बोलो हाँ तो व्हाट आई हैव रिटन वही तो लिखा है ना कहीं से बट ट्वेंटी वो कैसे आएंगे आई कैन से दैट इन टू फिफ्टी आवर्स ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड यूनिट अभी भी समझा कि नहीं हाँ बट नाउ द पॉइंट इज क्लियर और आई नीड टू एक्सप्लेन बोलो Yes, clear. ठीक है. Now, चल. Now, if I just talk about the expenditure variance, sir, कितना आया expenditure variance is my expenditure variance is fixed over the expenditure of twenty thousand adverse, sir, twenty thousand adverse. You can see twenty thousand adverse. Then this is four thousand favorable. Yeah, after four thousand favorable, then I can say that it is uh, eight thousand adverse. Sorry, eight thousand favorable. Then after eight thousand favorable, two thousand adverse, two thousand adverse, two thousand eight hundred adverse, eight hundred favorable. Let's check whether it tallies or not. So eight thousand plus eight hundred minus two thousand minus two thousand eight hundred. Yeah, it tallies. Yeah, so everything tallies. That is how the things. Uh, these are the seven variances. Sir, it is very difficult. How will we remember these? Let us remember. First of all. Are we done with this? Then I will give you the shortcut now. How to do this? It was a logical explanation. Now let's go for a shortcut. Yes. Hello, everyone. Yes, writing. Writing. Okay. So please finish. Then I will start. Once done, let me know. Then we will start. Okay. Done. Done. Okay. Chal. Now what I am saying is, understand. Uh, understand what I am saying is, sir. Is there any shortcut? Yes, there is a shortcut. Understand. This is the first variance. Let us say. Now it is something extra which we are writing. Understand. We are done with the solution now. Understand this. This is first variance. Let us say here it is the first variance, second variance, third variance, fourth variance, fifth variance, sixth variance, seventh variance. These are seven variances. First two variance and then four to uh, three to seven. First two variances plus means favorable, normal minus means adverse. But from here it is reverse. Plus means adverse, minus means favorable. I can give you the logic also. See, first of all understand. If I just talk about cost, you are budgeting ten rupees. You will spend, but you have actually spent twelve rupees. So tell me, variance will be adverse or favorable? Minus two. It is adverse or favorable? You are expecting to incur ten. You are expecting to incur ten rupees, but you have spent twelve rupees. So is it adverse or favorable? Adverse. Adverse. But if I come to the sales, you are expecting to generate sales of ten rupees revenue. Now it is revenue. 
तो सर आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट सेल्स मैन विल सेल इट फॉर टेन रुपीज बट द सेल्स मैन सोल्ड दैट प्रोडक्ट फॉर ट्वेल्व रुपीज नाउ अगेन इट इज इन निगेटिव बट सर दिस टाइम इट इज नॉट अ कॉस्ट डेबिट साइड नहीं इट इज रेवेन्यू साइड सर इन सेट ऑफ टेन वी सोल्ड ट्वेल्व रुपीज के मैं तो इट इज फेवरेबल और एडवर्स फेवरेबल तो सी द माइनस कैन बी एडवर्स इट इज दिस माइनस मीन्स एडवर्स जनरली दीज आर कॉस्ट फर्स्ट टू आर कॉस्ट then there is a recovery volume and all karke to here the sign is ulta it is a recovery we should have recovered this much we have recovered for a higher amount karke so you just remember that from the third i have explained everything logically now i am giving you the techniques that first to first two variances positive means favorable negative means adverse but from third variance onwards you can reverse the signs now let's calculate these things on the calculator okay first variance you will go like this कैलसे पे सब लोग अभी बैठने का फटाफट कैलसे पे बैठने का कैलकुलेट करो कैलसे पे ओके फर्स्ट वेरियंस इज लाइक दिस मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू माइनस वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड चलो तो फोर इंटू फोर इंटू ट्वेंटी सिक्स थाउजेंड माइनस वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड हाउ मच यू गेट सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड माइनस में दैट इज एडवर्स राइट तो यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस आंसर इज गाना सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड एडवर्स डन ओके चलो ना फर्स्ट वेरियंस इज डन ओवर हियर दैट इज हाउ इट इज डन फर्स्ट वेरियंस Now let's go with the second variance. Second variance is like this. That is the expenditure variance. You are expecting to uh, expenditure overheads. You are expecting to spend one lakh. You spend one lakh twenty. That's it. So you spend twenty thousand extra. So twenty thousand minus. You will see. Twenty thousand minus is nothing but guys adverse. So you can see twenty thousand minus. Are is it clear? Hello everyone. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. Now. Third variance. You can see, I say, I say, I say, आगे जाने का. If you go ahead like this, that is going to be difference of these two. And once you come here, you need to multiply. Once you, once on, once you are on this boundary, you need to multiply. Okay. Once you change this from this side, when you go, you need to multiply. So that is going to be twenty-five thousand minus twenty-six thousand into four. So that is going to be twenty-five thousand minus twenty-six thousand into four. That is going to be four thousand. And four thousand what? Four thousand favorable. Why? Because whatever answer you have got, it was in negative. And logically, because instead of twenty-five thousand, you have sold twenty-six thousand. It is very good for the company. You have sold more. Okay. Now again, when you go for a days variance, days are indicated where in calendar. So now you won't say days variance. Again, for output, you won't say output variance. Output is something but a volume, the volume variance. And here it is going to be days variance, which is going to be indicated in calendar. So calendar variance will be there. How you going to calculate like this? Twenty-five minus twenty-seven into four thousand. Twenty-five minus twenty-seven into four thousand. So that is gonna be two into four. Then two difference is two into four thousand. That is gonna be eight thousand. Answer is positive or negative? Negative. That is it is favorable. I I I hope that uh, see this took lot of time for me when I first time when I made this. You will see you will never see this format anywhere else. It took lot of effort to make this format like so that answer can be calculated so easily. करके भाई साहब okay now let us go for the capacity capacity is fifth sir you should be very careful with this variances fifth variances and seventh variances because for that matter there is a bracket that you will keep understand now how how will you calculate the variance now take the calculator again in 25 days if your capacity is 250 hours so in 27 days what is your capacity just cross multiply that is do something like this 250 into 27 divided by 25. 250 into 27 divided by 25. Whatever answer you got on your calculator, now subtract it from 265 and then multiply by 400. तुमको समझा how you will have to travel in this table? हाँ. So you will get that answer whether it is positive or negative. So first of all, let me just travel like this, this, then this. 250 into 27 divided by 25. Whatever answer I got, minus 265. Into four hundred, so I have got two thousand. That two positive, two thousand positive means adverse. So you can see that two thousand adverse. Yes. Sir. Now, now there is idle time variance. For idle time, there is nothing over here. So you will have to go like this. There is nothing. So I can directly say that zero minus seven. That is minus seven. That is adverse. We can say so directly that is seven into four hundred. So seven into four hundred. That is going to be two thousand eight hundred. So you can see two thousand eight hundred. Advance efficiency again. See now you will understand why I have copied this over here for the seventh variance. It is efficiency. So again you will travel like this. You can cross multiply. So for fifth and seventh, that is the capacity and efficiency. You should cross multiply the things. Please, uh, that is twenty five thousand into two fifty eight divided by two fifty 
you will get one answer minus 26,000 into 4 you will get one answer 800 in negative negative means favorable and logically we have explained is this very much clear you have got some confidence as to how to do this if I solve next question you can you will be able to tell me the answers right hello yeah so we are done with this we are done with this part which is one of the difficult part in standard costing people see a final lekin bhai, they don't know how to calculate this karke. they just rectify everything okay okay even the more analysis can be done uh, I can give you actually I can spend as much time as uh, possible like like chalo, let's give you an analysis otherwise let's okay that's okay chalo, we are done with this. let's not analyze in too much detail that is sufficient for the uh, for us karke. okay so we are done with this question Achha, uh, one, one short thing chalo. Let, let's do this one part ek, ek, ek hi part karte, zyada detail mein nahi. instead of 25,000 we have sold 26,000 can I see that you have a uh, produced and sold 1000 units extra yes sir I have sold 1000 units extra I am interested in knowing the reason I have sold 1000 units extra I am interested in knowing the reason karke. Uh, how it is possible so that that was because of either days hours that is capacity idle hours or hours work karke. one by one if you want to calculate I can give you that explanation also just try to do, do this instead of 25,000 guys you have sold 26,000 I can say that you have sold 1000 units extra more units you have sold I would like to know the reason tell me because of days how many units uh, you sold more produce more instead of 25 you came uh, you uh, uh, chalo kar lete. tell me in one day what is your production in uh, 25 days if you can produce in uh, 25 days uh, in tw 25 days may if you can produce uh, this much I can write like this days and units just for your understanding in 25 days if you can produce uh, 25,000 units you can check that so sir if you have worked for two extra days how many extra units you must have produced can I say it is 2000 yes, yes so I can say that 2000 positive because you work 2000 extra or uh, two days extra you have produced 2000 extra units Achha. so let's talk about the capacity if I just talk about the capacity, understand in 25 hours and units, in 20, uh, in 250 hours, you can produce 25,000 units. You can check that. In 250 hours, you can produce 25,000 units. Sir, in 27 days, if you came from, what was your capacity? In 25 days, your capacity was 250. So, 27 days ka capacity, kitna I can say. So, 27 ka, uh, capacity should be this much. Uh, 270 hours but you studied only you you came to the factory only for 265 hours can I say five hours are less where you should have put in 270 hours you have put in only 265 hours that is five hours below capacity hello you are getting this or uh, thoda slow bolu samaj rahe? Yes, sir. so can I say if five hours uh, you have put in less so how many less units you have produced in 250 hours expectation is that you can produce 25,000 so in five hours how many units can be produced so 5 into 25,000 divided by 250 that is 500 units less less we have produced because we have worked below capacity I will come to know about the reasons now let us say idle hours again that uh, thing was there into 50 hours if 25,000 units can be produced so if 7 hours are wasted uh, because electricity was not there how many less units were produced because of this 7 hours so I can say uh, 7 into 25,000 divided by 250 so 700 less units are produced and because of efficiency of the worker how many units are produced if I want to check again I, I can check that it's like this if in 250 hours the target was to produce 25,000 units so in 258 hours what was the target he can produce how many so in 250 hours if I tell him to produce 25,000 units he has worked on the machinery for 258 hours so I was expecting 25,800 and he has produced 26,000 has he produced 200 units extra Yes. yes so now if I want to calculate this I wanted to know the reason if I have produced 100 units extra what is the reason so because my workers came to the factory for more number of days and because my workers are efficient so therefore the production is higher by 2200 but sir 
even the worker came to the factory for more number of days but they were not working up to the capacity which was 10 hours a day they were working only for 8 hours or 9 hours a day sometimes so yeah because of that there is a this loss and because uh, the electricity was not there so 700 less units are produced so 22,000 minus 500 minus 700 that 22,200 minus 500 minus 700 so therefore we could produce only 1000 extra instead of 25,000 we produce 26,000 that is only 1000 extra units are produced now what I can say my workers are good my workers are coming for more number of days where is the problem once you identify the problem you will try to improve upon that problem you can see the problem is where with reference to idle time we will try to improve always upon this uh, why there is idle time why the reason is raw material is not available change the supplier or give him the warning why you did not send the raw material who is responsible for that then if the electricity was not there what is the problem can we buy the generator and all karke? or if maybe the machine uh, was break machine breakdown was there so are we actually conducting the breakdown matlab, are we conducting the maintenance of the machinery on the periodic basis or not everything will be checked and even we will keep a watch that worker should work on time they should not leave early karke. so accordingly we can even remove this part karke, so that is how the analysis done which is something which I explained at CA final level and how it is done, who is responsible and all in detail calculation. Here to still we are going for a calculation only we can see the detail thing who is responsible for this purchase production manager then we will ask the questions then he will give the opinions mail will be drafted like purchase manager will draft the mail to the CEO then what reply will come everything is done at final level that how the mail and all thing is done but yeah still we are doing some basic stuff maybe it is advanced at your level I agree but yeah see final level there is much more thing yeah but I hope that solves the purpose as to whatever we did you understand now uh, I can say we conclude this discussion which took okay let's start with this question as to what is given in this question sir the following information was obtained from the records of a manufacturing unit uh, using a standard costing system so simple eh? information is given with reference to one unit that is a factory where we follow standard costing some data is there standard and actual or you can say budget also sometimes that is okay the data is given standard and actual so what is given production working days machine hours fix overhead variable overhead achha, 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 achha. So for a variable overhead, we make a different kind of a table. Okay, then we are required to calculate the following overhead variances. Pella variable we will calculate, then we will calculate the fixed uh, variances. So pella, let us calculate the variable overhead variances. So let let us give the heading as variable overhead variances. So let's make the table for that matter. Working note number one. Table. Now guys, when you make a table, it is for variable overhead. There are two overheads, so I am specifying. Let us specify it is variable overhead. Sir, what kind of table you make? Now, please, this time uh, I am making some change in the table. Understand this. That is how you will make the table. The table is made like this for variable overhead. Four rows I need. Four rows always. Three equal columns you can make. That's okay. For variable overhead, you will always make this table. that is budget uh, standard actual actually it should be written as a budget but that is okay it should not be written as a standard but if it is written by ICA that's okay but uh, it should be written as a budget okay you will understand how because it is something which is made on first day it should be written as a budget okay take now what is given let us understand HRC do you know the full form of H and R? Yeah, H means R's and uh, R bullet to rate, C bullet to cost. Okay, HRC, HRC. Please write down a basic table. The table which we made on for very first question. Okay. So on very first day, what was my planning? And here we write output. So now understand. What was the planning on first day? Sir, I was planning to produce 4000 units, sir. And sir, when you were planning to produce 4,000 units, uh, what was your expense you were planning? You thought that you will incur 120,000 for that matter. Yes, sir. And how many uh, hours you will work for 8,000 hours? So on the very first day, this was the planning. That sir, we will produce 4,000 units, sir. Sir, to produce a 4,000 units, sir, sir, we will incur 120,000 and we will work for 8,000 hours. Can you tell me the budgeted rate on very first day? Budgeted rate on very first day? Hello? Yeah. 15 rupees Chalo. so let us calculate the budgeted rate if uh, budgeted rate 120,000 divided by 8,000 sir that is gonna be 15 
चलो नाउ आई विल स्टार्ट आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन टू यू ओके नाउ नाउ वट इज माई एक्चुअल आउटपुट वट इज माई एक्चुअल आउटपुट इज थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड विच विल बी रिटर्न ओवर यू फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड वॉट शुड बी माई कॉस्ट एंड फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट इज वन लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड वी हैव वर्क फॉर हाउ मेनी आवर्स सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड वॉट इज माई रेट दैट आई विल गेट ओवर हियर द रेट विच आई विल गेट ओवर हियर इज ओके so the rate uh, which uh, you will get over here is uh, nothing but this kya bolte hai isko sir 15.384 ha 15.3 15.3845 karke aur i will use this uh, because if it is in fraction so i'm going to use this 120000 divided by 7800 that is something which i will use while calculating the variance 3 और ये कैसे आएगा तो यू नो दैट हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट दिस दैट फॉर फोर थाउजेंड यूनिट इफ यू आर प्लानिंग टू टेक एट थाउजेंड आवर्स तो फॉर थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड यूनिट हाउ मेनी आवर्स शुड बी टेकन दैट इज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन so 3800 that is going to be 7600 kisi ko koi doubt hai just let me know to 7600 into 15 that is going to be double one four double zero चलो तो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द वेरियंसेस लेट एस कैलकुलेट द वेरियंसेस तो हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट द वेरियंसेस नाउ लेट्स कम ओवर हियर इफ यू जस्ट कैलकुलेट द वेरियंसेस सर व्हाट विल यू डू द फर्स्ट वेरियंस इज वेरिएबल ओवरहेड कॉस्ट वेरियंस मोक्षा कैन यू गिव मी द आंसर वेरिएबल ओवरहेड कॉस्ट वेरियंस का सिक्स थाउजेंड एडवर्स या That is going to be standard cost minus actual cost. Where you should have spent eleven thousand four hundred, you have spent uh, sorry, uh, one lakh fourteen thousand. You have spent one lakh twenty thousand. So you have spent six thousand extra. That is six thousand adverse. Sir, I want to know the reason why there is a difference. So difference can be because of two reasons. That is one can be variable overhead, expenditure variance. when you calculate variable overhead expenditure variance sir what is the formula sir standard rate minus actual rate multiplied by actual hours actual hours so we have to like that so that is going to be uh, the 15 wala rate should be there but the rate is this 120000 divided by 7800 to get the exact answer i am writing this You can write out four decimal wala answer also. Still, you will get near by answer. It is like this. Your difference multiply by this. So now you gonna get three thousand as your answer. Three thousand extra you have paid. That is adverse. Acha. Once you get this, uh, can I see that now? Agar if I want to calculate the next variance, which is third variance. That is gonna be a variable overhead of efficiency variance. How will you calculate that? You will say, sir, this much hours they should have taken. They have taken this much hours. Standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate. That is this. Hours hours ka difference into this rate. 
सर सेवन थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड आवर्स दे शुड हैव टेकन दे हैव टेकन सेवन थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड आवर्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज फिफ्टी थ्री थाउजेंड एट वर्स या यू कैन मेक अ डायग्राम सो दैट यू विल अंडरस्टैंड देर इज अ कॉस्ट वेरियंस कॉस्ट वेरियंस एज टू पार्ट्स एक्सपेंडिचर एंड एफिशंसी That is six thousand adverts, three thousand adverts, three thousand adverts. Yeah, and that is how you, we get the answer. Correct. Yeah. So we are done with first table. That is variable. Bala. Sir, now we will switch to which part? We will switch to fix overhead. Bala part. Sir, variable is done. अरे इज इट क्लियर बिकॉज आई थिंक वी डिड ओनली वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ वेरिएबल ओवर हेड तो कुछ ऐसा डाउट है और इट इज सिमिलर टू मटेरियल एंड लेबर तो दैट इज इजी हेलो डन डन ठीक है चलो सर नाउ व्हाट नाउ लेट्स स्विच टू फिक्स ओवर नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू सी योर कॉन्फिडेंस ओके व्हाट यू विल डू तो नाउ लेट्स सी वर्किंग आउट नंबर 2 नाउ अगेन यू विल मेक द टेबल सर बट दिस टेबल इज गोना बी फिक्स्ड ओवरहेड का टेबल अच्छा वेन यू मेक योर टेबल सर व्हाट आर द कॉलम्स दैट यू मेक तो चलो नाउ फ्रॉम हियर यू विल स्टार्ट पर्टिकुलर्स देन यू मेक वन मोर कॉलम बजट देन यू मेक वन मोर कॉलम एक्चुअल देन यू शुड ऑलवेज राइट रिकवरी रेट लाइक दिस रिकवरी एंड रेट शुड बी ओवर हियर टू दैट वी विल से आर आर एज अ शॉर्टकट ओके Even before I read the question, I can make my format. Even before I read the question, first I will write overheads, then I will write output in units. So either you write output or you write units. That is okay. Then you can say output. Ah, uh, then you can say ah uh, a days. How many days it will take to achieve? And in every day you will work for how many hours? So you will make the payment for how many hours? That is hours paid. Out of these hours, there are some idle hours, so that will be subtracted. If you subtract idle hours, what you gonna get is hours worked. And again, you will copy the second row. That is output. Output. Again, that is in units. That is how the format will look like. Here, you will write one unit. Is equal to how much rupees one day? Is equal to rupees one hour? Is equal to rupees? Yeah. So this is my format. Or uh, I haven't like uh, we haven't read the question, but this is the format uh, which we made. Now let's we haven't read the question. Now let's start with the uh, reading of the part, reading part of the question. I hope so. You also made this format. You should by heart this format. Okay. Now let's start. Sir, sir, sir. Whatever data is given, again, just clean this and one by one we will write. First production, that is output is given, four thousand and three thousand eight hundred. This is this. Sir, then what is given? Working days, twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Then machine hours are given, eight thousand and seven thousand eight hundred. So eight thousand and seven thousand eight hundred. Then fixed overheads are given, four lakh. This over here, four lakh and three lakh ninety thousand. That's it. And this was the variable. So please ignore that. We just need a fixed variable. Ka ignore karo. Now this much data was given. Now nothing is said about idle hours. So please do not assume anything. If nothing is said, there are no idle hours. If there are idle hours, question will specify. You don't assume at your end, okay? If nothing is given, that is going to be eight thousand. No variance. That is seven thousand eight hundred. And please copy this. Four thousand. In three thousand eight hundred, for your understanding, please copy this part. Acha, in one unit is equal to. It's not rupee again. So what I did is I just copied this row. Acha, now uh, if I ask you what is your absorption rate of one unit, I would like to know how many people can get this answer. Uh, I need answer in chat box. What is your absorption rate per unit? Please recover the rate per unit. Yeah, that is gonna be four lakh divided by four hundred. That is gonna be one thousand. One thousand, na, Baba. Look, I made something wrong. What? Ha ha. Hundred, 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 hundred. Sorry. Hundred. That is gonna be this based on budget. 
it is always calculated based on budget based on this so if you calculate that is going to be 4 lakh divided by 4000 that is 100 then 4 lakh divided by 20 that is going to be 20000 then 4 lakh divided by 8000 that is going to be 50 and this 100 will be copied which is nothing but a second row only that is copied over here now so that is the data now we will calculate variances one by one see there is no need to write down the formulas okay or like it is preferable if you write down the formulas in examination still okay uh, but generally they don't write the formulas many of the time so that is okay even if you don't write down but yeah it is preferable if you write down the formulas i am going to uh uh, uh let's do this so uh, kya karte formula likhte ya fir without formula one question is written with the formulas detail mein likhte hai likhte hai likhte hai likhte hai chalo to let us write that one by one so sir, now the first variance is fixed overhead cost variance. So I am expecting answer from you in the chat box. For every variance, you have to give me the answer now. So that I will come to that sir, tum soch paate ho. you guys can think. Adverse variable will be like the next one. I will give you the answer. Okay, so Vaishnavi, no, no, sorry. Archie, right answer. Ridhima, uh, Vaishnavi, okay, Nishi, right answer. Uh, Vedant, uh, right answer, uh, Krish, right answer, Edvet, right answer. Chalo, the answer is right. Uh, how? So, you should go like this. This is something which is recovered. And then, this is something which is paid. So, this is first variance. Chalo. So, this, it is like this. Then, formulas can be written later on. First, you will write 100 multiplied by 3800. That is the amount which is recovered, guys. That is the amount which is recovered. So you have recovered 3,80,000 uh, and what you have paid actually is this 3,90,000. So you have paid extra. So I can say that minus 3,90,000. So your answer is going to be 10,000 adverse because you paid more. Now let's write the formula. What 100 indicates? 100 indicates recovery rate. What per unit multiplied by actual output. 3800 is actual output so actual output by doing this what you have got recovered overhead this much amount you have recovered what is actually you have paid that is actual overhead so guys you have actually paid 390 you paid more that's why it is adverse karke. yes sir so i hope there is a control over the first variance now again the second variance very easy variance okay very very easy area uh, very very easy variance so please tell me the answer for the second variance why uh, 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 that is right why it is a favorable second uh, uh, second variance favorable but uh, adverse favorable so mix match kar to tum log. Uh, expenditure variance baba second variance so this is it will start from here now every story will start from here the first variance is like this this now the second variance you are expecting to spend 4 lakh and you spend 3 lakh 90 you spend less very good you spent less so, chalo, the second variance, I don't have space, so chalo, I will have to just make copy this table for my calculations. So, I will just keep it, I will bring it to this over here, next page pair for my reference. Now, let us calculate the second variance. That is, fixed overhead expenditure variance. Expenditure is a budget, budget variance. What was your budget which went wrong of expenditure variance? Sir, you are planning, you are planning to spend 4 lakh, you spend 390, that is a budgeted overhead minus actual overhead. Chalo, the formula can be budgeted overhead minus actual overhead. Budgeted overhead minus actual overhead. So, sir, that is going to be 4 lakh minus 3 lakh 90,000. 4 lakh minus 3 lakh 90,000 so that is gonna be 10,000 you have spent less that is a favorable answer or nahi samatta jada to simple hai you just plus minus my ye do ye and everything so sorry first two and from output onwards from output onwards so yaha pe plus means favorable minus means adverse then yaha pe ulta plus means adverse minus means favorable okay now uh, uh, I need third answer from your side. That is a volume variance. Ka, please. Uh, Nishi, that is uh, right uh, Vedanta. 
निशी एक सेकंड आपका आंसर किधर से ले गया अभी ठीक है अरे एड्रेस फेवरेबली भी भेजा करो फिर एक तो समझ में नहीं आता तुमको किसको सही बोलो किसको रॉन्ग बोलो अभी आई विल चेक फ्रॉम नाउ ओके अभी से अपन चेक करते हैं नाउ आई विल चेक द फर्स्ट आंसर आई एम चेकिंग इज लेट एस से वैष्णवी वैष्णवी दैट इज अरे यार वैष्णवी एडवर्स फेवरेबल अगेन मिस्टेक ना फोर की जगह पर यू यू सोल्ड थ्री यू सोल्ड लेस ना बैड ध्रुवी राइट आंसर अर्पित राइट आंसर भावी का राइट आंसर अर्पित ध्रुवी वैष्णवी ओके ठीक है एडवेट दैट इज राइट आंसर हां बोलो द ईयर द फर्स्ट वेरिएंट इज 10000 एडवर्स वी आर गेटिंग एक्सपेंडिचर वेरिएंट का 10000 एडवर्स तो एक सेकंड एक्सपेंडिचर इज 10000 फेवरेबल ना ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है यू स्पेंड लेस राइट यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टू सेंड यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टू स्पेंड फोर लैक एंड यू स्पेंड ओनली थ्री नाइन इट इज फेवरेबल ओके ओके फेयर इन नाउ फिक्स ओवरहेड वॉल्यूम वेरिएंस दैट इज विद रेफरेंस टू यूनिट्स हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग टू सेल दैट इज बजेटेड वॉल्यूम बजेटेड वॉल्यूम मीन बजेटेड यूनिट्स और बजेटेड आउटपुट वट एवर यू कैन से बोथ मीन सेम माइनस एक्चुअल आउटपुट यू हैव एक्चुअली स्पेंड हाउ मेनी यू हैव एक्चुअली प्रोड्यूस हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स मल्टीप्लाइड बाई रिकवरी रेट आई विल ऑलवेज राइट आर आर पर आउटपुट दैट इज पर यूनिट तो चलो लेट स्टार्ट यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग ये दिस वन फोर लैक फोर थाउजेंड यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग यू हैव एक्चुअली सोल्ड ओनली थ्री थाउजेंड हंड्रेड वेरी बैड यू स्पेंड यू हैव सोल्ड लेस यूनिट्स दैट इज हाउ यू नीड टू स्पीक द लैंग्वेज You were expecting to sell four thousand, but sir, you sold only three thousand eight hundred, and recovery rate is hundred rupees. So now, that is sir twenty thousand. You 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 sold less now. That is adverse. Otherwise, if you don't understand this logic, just check your answer was it positive. So because it was positive, it was uh, adverse from this. Okay, now the volume variance has parts. Now that is a fixed overhead after volume. Now the next variance, if you don't remember, you have to check here. डेज इन डेज बोलेगा तो वॉल्यूम इज डन ना नो डेज डेज वेर डू यू सी डेज इन कैलेंडर तो सर फिक्स ओवर हेड कैलेंडर वेरियंस कैलेंडर सर फिक्स ओवर हेड कैलेंडर वेरियंस लेट इज कैलकुलेट फिक्स ओवर हेड कैलेंडर वेरियंस दैट इज गना बी इफ यू कैलकुलेट फिक्स ओवर हेड कैलेंडर वेरियंस तो फॉर्मुला इज गोइंग टू बी कैलेंडर मीन्स डेज तो बजेटेड डेज नाउ वॉल्यूम मीन्स आउटपुट तो नाउ कैलेंडर मीन्स डेज बजेटेड डेज Minus actual days into recovery rate because the difference is of days into recovery rate per day. Recovery rate per day. So, sir, you are expecting to work for twenty days. Just connect with your studies. You are planning to study for twenty days. You you studied for twenty one days. Very good. You studied extra into twenty thousand recovery rate per day. So it's going to be twenty thousand favorable. ओके लॉजिकली यू कैन कनेक्ट विद योर स्टडीज की यू स्टडीड मोर करके और यू कैन सी द आंसर वॉज नेगेटिव एंड नेगेटिव मीन्स आंसर वॉज नेगेटिव मीन्स फेवरेबल वॉट एवर यू थिंक यू जस्ट नीड टू गेट द राइट आंसर चलो नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू सी फिफ्थ वेरियंस इज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट ओके तो कपैसिटी वेरियंस का आंसर आई नीड फ्रॉम योर साइड कपैसिटी तो निशी दैट इज राइट आंसर प्रियम दैट इज राइट आंसर देन वेदांत दैट इज राइट आंसर अर्पित दैट इज राइट आंसर खुशी दैट इज राइट आंसर आई एम जस्ट सिंग ओनली राइट आंसर ओके वॉट एवर राइट आंसर आई कैन सी आई एम सिंग दोज आर राइट आंसर अद्रवी दैट इज राइट आंसर क्रिश दैट इज राइट आंसर ओके इट मीन्स यू हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट यू कैन डू लेट्स राइट फिक्स ओवर हेड कैपेसिटी वीरियंस How you gonna calculate fixed rate capacity variance? You gonna say budgeted capacity, budgeted capacity in actual days. Whatever days you came for, what was your capacity minus actual capacity? Into recovery rate per hour because now the data is in hours. 
फर्स्ट लेट एस कैलकुलेट बजटेड कैपेसिटी तो इट इज कैलकुलेटेड लाइक दिस डेज आर्स पेड तो या वी डू समथिंग लाइक दिस दैट इन ट्वेंटी डेज If your capacity that workers can work for eight thousand hours, so sir, worker came to the factory for twenty one days. So in those actual days, how many hours they could have worked for? In twenty days, if I make a plan according to their capacity, they can study for eight thousand. They can work for eight thousand hours. So accordingly, eight thousand into twenty one divided by twenty, eight thousand four hundred is your answer. These many hours. That is your budgeted capacity. Whatever days they came from. they could have worked for this many hours that is your capacity and they actually worked only for 7800 just ask yourself is it above capacity or below capacity it is yeah. be below ha that is going to be adverse then into the rate is 50 you just cross multiplied you see, you can see that this cross multiplication once you answer you get this minus 7800 into 50 that is going to be 30000 adverse below capacity na to 30000 adverse yes sir understood let's proceed with the next part idle time sir idle time to is not there okay to idle time variance is not there so it is not there sixth variance to idle time variance is then fixed over its efficiency mm -hmm. please send your answers for efficiency variance okay i will chat तो निशी वेदांत अरे अलग अलग आंसर से सबके तो यार मेरे को निकालना पड़ेगा ऐसा अलग अलग मत बोलो रुको एक सेकेंड लेट मी कैलकुलेट दैन या हाँ सो नाउ आई हैव गॉट द आंसर नाउ आई कैन चेक हाँ तो निशी दैट इज ऑल्सो ओके तो निशी दैट इज राइट वेदांत दैट इज राइट प्रियम नहीं आरची नहीं अर्पित राइट आंसर खुशी राइट आंसर बोलो आई नीड मोर राइट आंसर ध्रुवी दैट इज राइट आंसर और रिधिमा या द ओनली थिंग इज इट इज एडवर्स रिधिमा इट इज फेवरेबल नहीं इट इज एडवर्स वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ ना सर वॉट आर द फॉर्मुलाज दैट शुड बी रिटर्न फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हियर इट वॉज बजेट कैपेसिटी हियर आई कैन से एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट एफिशियंसी ना आउटपुट यू कैन से एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट कितना एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट यू वॉन्ट एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट और यूनिट्स in actual hours in hours worked or actual hours worked that is theek hai actual hours worked so whatever hours they have worked for what was my expected output from there and what is the output they have they have given me that is minus actual output because this is output which is in units so recovery rate will be of per unit let us calculate this we'll always say now the last part which is uh, hours worked and output or units you can say so what was planned on very first day so the plan was like this You need to uh, work for eight hours and eight thousand hours, and in eight thousand hours you need to produce four thousand. करके. So I was. It was told on very first day, guys, work for eight thousand hours on the machinery, and I need four thousand count. But then I asked them, how many hours you guys were work? How you have worked on the fact? Uh, you have worked on the machinery. So they said, sir, we work for seven thousand eight hundred hours. So in seven thousand eight hundred hours, what is the output that can be produced then? so this is the output that can be produced 3900 units that is expected if in 8000 hours this much can be produced 4000 so in 7800 this much expected output is there sir what is the output they have given they have given 3800 so what was my expectation my expectation was 3900 they have given 3800 they are bloody inefficient i was expecting 3900 they have given me only 3800 and recovery rate per hour is So the per hour rate is hundred rupees. You can see this hundred rupees. 
so 3900 minus 3800 into 100 that is going to be 10,000 and because they have given me less number of units so they are that is adverse yeah that is adverse or you can go that mechanically plus minus wala sign to bhi chalenga yeah so these are the variants i hope now this is one of the easiest variants for after investing a little bit more time you must be comfortable with this yeah uh, if you want you can just make that diagram uh uh efficiency uh, uh, yeah you can just make that thing cost if you just want okay uh, i can make it somewhere there is no space okay uh, let, let me make here cost variance then there is a expenditure then there is a volume that volume is divided into few parts that is calendar capacity and efficiency okay what is your cost variance so your cost variance is 10,000 adverse that is gonna be 10,000 adverse here it is 10,000 favorable here it is 20,000 adverse it will tell you you can see 20,000 adverse 10,000 cup benefit is there so net is 10,000 adverse only then calendar is 20,000 favorable then it is uh, 30,000 adverse and efficiency is 10,000 adverse so total adverse is 40,000 from the 20,000 if you subtract which is favorable so net adverse is 20,000 so yeah that is how the table is no and we are done with this question we are done with this question this question is solved in 30 minutes This question is solved in 30 minutes. We are done with this question. Anyone has any doubt, just let me know. I hope you understand. You must be comfortable that once the table is prepared, all the variances can be calculated with the help of calculator. If thoda dimag rahengana, first variance is like this. So. Second variance is like this. So. Third variance units wala is this. Calendar wala is this. So. Kali capacity ke just cross multiply. Then go like this. Adult time is like this, which is not. Okay, guys. So let's start with the question. That is question number 14. Let's see as to what the data is given in the question, sir. The company has a normal capacity of 120 machineries. Okay, first of all, they are asking for expenditure, uh, volume and total fixed over it. So once they ask you these three variances, what kind of format is expected? So let us make the format first. What format you want? Working out number one, the table of fixed overhead. Only three variances. So how many rows uh, to particulars you will write? You will write budget, you will write actual, you will write recovery rate. Is there any requirement uh, to write uh, after overheads? What comes is that is fixed overheads obviously. What comes is units or you can say output or units. Is there any requirement to write days? Hello? Yes or no? No, because they are not asking for calendar variance, right? First three variances can be done with these two rows. Only two rows are sufficient. Okay, RG that is right. PM9. Okay, now understand. Let's see the what data is given in the question. Achha, one more thing what you write is one unit is equal to how many rupees? Let's see what data is given. A company has a, a normal capacity of 120 machines working 8 hours per day. Uh, for 25 days in a month so data is given for a one month in one month i can see we work for eight hours in 25 days okay and there are 120 machineries okay i hope you understand if one machinery works for eight hours so let us calculate this uh first of all i would uh actually i did not get this data let's read ahead what is given uh the standard the fixed orders budgeted are one lakh forty four thousand so data is for one month period is same it is a period cost so period is same for one month you are expecting to incur 1,44,000 in one month what has happened let's check 
the standard time required to manufacture one unit is four hours this is something which is very important to produce one unit you require four hours so let us calculate that let us calculate budgeted units budgeted output working word number two we will calculate budgeted output in units so first of all we will calculate the number of hours so hours will be calculated a number of hours budgeted hours so first of all how many hours we are going to work for so it is very simple guys uh, we have uh, we are going to work for 8 hours a day 8 hours a day and we are going to work for 25 days in a month so in one month we are going to work for this many hours and how many machines are there 20 machines are there you can see the first row so the work will be done for how many hours 8 into 25 into 120 machineries so 24,000 hours the work will be done for 24,000 hours yes sir but sir they are saying that b now directly you could have done divide by 4 or now you need budgeted units how many units you are planning or budgeted output so i can say that in simple words uh, the one unit takes four hours you can see the one unit takes four hours so one unit if take four hours it is given for one unit four hours ka time is given or i can write like this one unit One unit four hours accordingly if we gonna work for 24,000 hours how many units we can produce if four hours one unit is produced accordingly but this is a budget key in uh, for in four hours we produce one unit so 24,000 hours we can produce 6,000 units that is your budgeted unit so you are planning this much output because you are planning to work for how many hours 24,000 it means you are planning to actually uh, produce this much output 6,000 accordingly your absorption rate will be calculated 144,000 divided by 6,000 that is going to be 24 just for your information that is going to be 144,000 divided by 6,000 okay now they must have given some actual data this was a budgeted data which was given in the question yeah this was the budgeted data which was given now in April what has actually happened the company has actually worked for uh, the company has actually worked for how many uh, we can see that uh, 24 days 80 uh, hours per day and produce this much unit so see we have worked for if you just see we have worked for how many days take second whatever days we have worked for that doesn't matter actually why it doesn't matter what matters to me is what is my actual fix over it that is 142,000 and how many units at then you have produced 1350 see that is a matter when when you want to calculate that efficiency and all karke, calend capacity efficiency but if you don't want this how many days we worked for then how many machine hours and all at the end we got this much output 530 see this is which is written 5305 karke. Ha, if they ask you to calculate sir calendar they ask you to calendar any other variances like a capacity and we, we we would have done that but they are asking only for these three variances so this much data is sufficient for me so i have ignored the other data the rest data is ignored by me now i feel that variances can be easily calculated the first variance Six overhead cost variance now at least for this question uh, even if I do not write the chalo, leaky the formula that is not a big deal any which ways uh, no that is not a big deal so I can say that you need to go like this if you go like this you recover 24 rupees for from every unit we have sold how many units 5305 so how much amount you have recovered from the customers so you recover 24 rupees into 5305 so you must have recovered 1,27,320 rupees and what you have actually paid from your pocket is 1,42,000 so have you paid extra let's check yes you paid extra that is 14680 is paid extra that is gonna be the adverse now if you want to write the form bolo sorry we are not asked about fixed uh, overhead cost variance. They have asked, na, Baba. See, this is what total fixed rate variance. Total is nothing but that is the total variance, na, cost variance. It means. Okay. It is like the cost variance has two parts. 
expenditure and so it is a total variance okay acha okay. otherwise we can write this is also known as total variance okay. for better understand total total fixed overhead variance that is another name chalo theek hai so that is a fixed overhead cost variance sir formula formula is going to be rr recovery rate per unit how many units you have produced that is actual units or actual output whatever you say then this much amount you have recovered that is recovered overhead now how much amount you have paid that is actual overhead the only important thing in standard costing is to make the tables once you learn how to make the tables the rest job is very easy very easy now that is a fixed overhead cost variance now we going to calculate acha shit we should have calculated in the order in which they have asked but that's okay now chalo now let's follow this order fixed overhead uh, expenditure variance once you do this suppose in examination na then at the end you can give the answers uh, the way they have uh, asked in that order okay now let me calculate fixed overhead expenditure variance that is going to be budgeted expenditure i was thinking to spend this much that is budgeted expenditure and i have spent how much that is minus actual expenditure are yaar i don't write expenditure what i write is overhead so again budgeted overhead minus actual overhead so yeah you are budgeting this 144000 and you have spent 142 only that is good you have spent 2000 less that is going to be 2000 favorable yeah now having done that uh, if you just go to the next variance which is a third variance that is fixed overheads that is fixed overheads volume variance volume is nothing but units and when you say volume that is nothing but a uh, yeah you can see that budgeted units you are planning budgeted output or budgeted units whatever you say you are planning to sell this much output budgeted then actual output actual volume that is actual output multiply because the output is in units multiplied by recovery rate per unit so you are expecting to sell this much 6000 you have sold 5305 6000 minus 5305 multiplied by recovery rate is 24 so that is going to be 16680 uh kya jayega to adverse ek second ha kam becha hai to adverse yes and uh, i can give the answers uh, in the order they have uh, like asked so the first wo log kya pooch rahe expenditure variance the first which they are asking for is expenditure then they are asking volume to so expenditure to so expense variance then they are asking for volume variance then total overhead variance that is going to be 2000 favorable 16 16 800 adverse and then 14 680 adverse yes and that is my final solution so if sometimes uh, you can say uh, some something like this comes that you haven't followed that their order you can write it and these are the final answers karke and finally we can say that we are done with this anyone has any doubt please the doubts are most welcome otherwise this is the solution which is there chalo uh, i can say that this question took how much time so if you want to know uh, this question took exactly 12 minutes now 12 minutes so done with this
Uh, let's check what is given in this question that is question number 15 sir it is written the following data has been collected from the cost accounts uh, of a unit unit is nothing but a factory huh? we always see unit as a factory that unit one unit two is a factory so we have collected some data from a factory computing the various uh, for computing various uh, various fixed solid variances so we would like to calculate various fixed solid various may which one expenditure volume and fixed solid cost variance these three variances we would like to calculate Achha, sir if these three variances you want to calculate then you need to always make one table for three these three variances working out number one table sir before you make the table here how will you make the table here it is going to be particulars then it is going to be budget then yeah it is going to be actual particulars budget and actual when you say particulars budget and actual then here what is going to come is recovery rate yes sir when you say recovery rate here we go there is one unit is equal to one unit is equal to how many rupees okay now overheads and units overheads and then here it is output that is in units okay this data will be there i just need this data then i can calculate the variances if something is not there i will make another working note shallow let's read the question okay sir number of budgeted working days so we were planning again the data is for one month we were planning that we gonna work for 25 days budgeted man hours per day budgeted man hours per day in the sense sir let us see that one worker is working for 10 hours this is one worker one man this is one man one man can work for 10 hours but sir is it necessary there are only uh, one, there is only one man nine uh, there is a possibility there are many workers there is a possibility there are there are 600 workers so can i see that if one worker is working for 10 hours so there are 600 workers in one day then we can work for this many hours so it is already done that is uh, hours into uh, workers which is already done karke. Achha. and there are this is per day okay and there are 25 days okay uh, then output budgeted per man hour in units is one per man hour it means per man hour is it means one hour so if worker is working for one hour what is output which is budgeted one unit if worker is working for one hour one unit is expected okay so chalo, uh, then then fix overheads uh, cost as budgeted what is the cost that you have budgeted 150,000 you have budgeted a cost of 150,000 now let us come to working note number two after table then you're gonna write is what budgeted output I am directly writing instead of A and B. Uh, I hope you will understand that. Directly I can say that 25 days we are going to work in man hours. How many? 6000 man hours every day. That is hours per day and into. So 6000 per uh, hours per day. So 25 days make how much? And into 1. Why 1? Because it is for every, once you get hours, for in every hour you produce 1 unit. So if you are planning for this, so 1 unit per hour, 1 unit per hour. 1 unit per hour you are planning for this many hours into 1 ठीक है तो you are actually getting 1 lakh 50 thousand hours और sorry 1 lakh 50 thousand units this many units you are planning for okay you are planning for this many units now actual number of working days actual man hours per day Achha, now we need actual output also working out number three actual output let us write actual output so we actually uh, work for how many days 27 and every day the actual work is done for how many hours 6300 man hours per day 6300 hours per day we worked for and then multiplied by actual output per man hour if we work for one hour we produce 0.9 so whatever hours we have 
you have just produced 0 0.9 per unit per units per hour unit per hour per hour so for every hour we have produced 0 0.9 so whatever hours we have, we have produced into 0 0.9, 27 into 6300 into 0 0.9. Is this understood or I, I need to explain in detail with cross multiplication or if this is understood? Hello? Yes, sir. Understood. Understood, understood. Fair enough. Any, anyone has any doubt, you can ask me, okay? Uh, 153090, 153090. So yeah, this much is your expected output and actual peak solid income is 156. So yeah, that is how the table will be. That is how your table will look like. Now, sir, I need to calculate absorption rate, which is very simple. Absorption rate is dependent upon what? Budget. Please calculate accordingly. 1 rupee. 1 lakh 50 thousand divided by 1 lakh 50 thousand, you're gonna get 1 karke. Sir, once this working is done, they are asking for three vari variances. Calculate them one by one, one below another. The way they are asking, the first, what they have asked for is, uh, yeah expenditure so first you can write expenditure that is okay like even if you write first that that is okay first expenditure variance so fix overhead expenditure variance Achha, when you say fix out expenditure variance uh, now i'm not writing the formulas okay that would be too much i'm directly writing that you are expecting to spend one lakh fifty thousand and you have spent 1,56,000. You have spent 6,000 extra as an expenditure. So that is going to be adverse. You spent more. Second, fix overhead. I think that is volume. The second one is the volume variance. Yeah. So what is the volume that you are trying to achieve and what volume you have achieved? That is this. You are planning for 1,50,000 units. And you have actually produced 153090 uh, multiplied by 1. That is this. That is going to be 3090 adverse. Sorry, favorable. You produce more, na? that is favorable. Then third one, fix overhead cost variance. Total, total fix overhead. You can write total fix overhead cost variance either you can add these two above variances or i can show the calculation like this or uh, two in, uh, one into this so one into one five three zero this much this many units we have sold so this much amount we have recovered this is recovered minus how many you have paid 156 you paid this much one lakh fifty six thousand so 1 into 1530 so yeah so this much amount you have uh, 15030 is recovered and what 153090 and what you have paid is 156 to 202910 so this much you have uh, paid more now that is sorry that is paid more so that is adverse This is your answer. Still, if you want to cross verify, it can be done. There is a cost variance, which has two parts, expenditure and volume. So just cross verification. So what is going to be your cost variance which is 2910 adverse let us check here it was 6000 adverse here it is 3090 favorable yeah so 6000 uh, minus 3090 yeah that is 2910 that's easy once you make the table now everything is easy anyone has any doubt with reference to this question please ask if any doubt is there with reference to this please ask yes okay, sir can you please explain this actual output or budgeted output whatever yeah so finally we can say uh, yeah we did this question uh, we are done with this question we are done uh, that took around uh, okay uh, quite important like quite different questions so question number 18 let us read sir there is one company parasynthetic uses standard costing okay there is one company which is using standard costing and in its manufacturing uh, of its product star 95 mask okay? that is n95 star 95 whatever mask is there the details are as given below. 
अच्छा इफ नथिंग इज गिवन दिस इज विच डेटा स्टैंडर्ड डेटा और एक्चुअल डेटा स्टैंडर्ड डेटा फिर इट इज रिटर्न ड्यूरिंग द मंथ ऑफ ऑगस्ट टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स ऑफ स्टार नाइन्टी फाइव मास्क वर मैन्युफैक्चर्ड यू कैन सी मैन्युफैक्चर्ड ड्यूरिंग इट मीन दिस इज एक्चुअल डेटा नाउ एक्चुअली वी हैव प्रोड्यूस दिस मच दिस इज एक्चुअल आउटपुट दिस इज एक्चुअल आउटपुट and the details for this is this is actual data so you can see first standard data now let's do one thing there are three things material labor and overheads now so let us make the table accordingly let us make the table working note number 1 let us make the table sir there are there are there are three material labor and overheads three elements how to make the table first of all you just need to you need three rows always three rows So these are three rows. Once you get three rows, in this question there are three types of uh, three items: metal, labor, and overhead. So I will leave three lines in between. You can now you can table up to like three equal parts can be met. Otherwise, I can go for a shortcut also. That first column will have only two columns. Then the rest two things. It will be divided like this. so that is how you will make the table here you can write budget here you can write standard here you can write action then you can write type type ke baad either it can be quantity or hours it can be quantity or hours it can be quantity or hours it can be price or rate it can be price or rate and then it can be cost ओके क्वांटिटी और आवर्स क्यू इज क्वांटिटी एच फॉर आवर्स ओके सो या नाउ लेट्स सी लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द डेटा ओके इफ आई रिफर द क्वेश्चन ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे इट इज गिवन दैट टू मैन्युफैक्चर दिस स्टार 95 मास्क इट इज नथिंग बट वन यूनिट दैट इज वन मास्क आउटपुट टू मैन्युफैक्चर दिस वन यूनिट दैट इज वन मास्क व्हाट डू वी रिक्वायर वी रिक्वायर मटेरियल वी रिक्वायर लेबर we require variable overhead so to manufacture this one unit uh, we require a material or uh, we require a labor or uh, we require a overhead kitna kitna sir to 1.5 meter ka 0.5 meter ka material is required and the rate is 60 rupees per meter it it can be written or you can make the columns here also but again writing that rate ka column here then copying here so i i have just eliminated that column now 0.5 ke baad uh 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 नहीं अभी तक निशी आंसर इज राइट बट दैट इज आवर्स हा बट दैट आंसर इज राइट निशी वेदांत नहीं ओके ना पॉइंट फाइव देन वन आवर इज रिक्वायर्ड एंड द स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज ट्वेंटी रुपीज अगेन वेरिएबल का भी वन आवर एंड द स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज टेन रुपीज करके ठीक है ना वट इज एक्चुअली हैपन एक्चुअली गाइज वी हैव प्रोड्यूस टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स टोट फॉर टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स वॉट शुड बी माई कॉस्ट एंड फॉर टेन थाउजेंड यूनिट्स वॉट इज माई कॉस्ट दैट इज वॉट विल कम पैर This is your actual output. Now, what data is given in the question for that matter? Direct material used are five thousand seven hundred meters at the rate of rupees fifty-eight. That is going to be a uh, three lakh thirty thousand six hundred. Then, variable direct labor cost directly we know the cost. We don't have any bifurcation. We just have this much amount. That cost is two lakh twenty-four thousand. Four hundred, two lakh twenty-four thousand four hundred, and this is gonna be one lakh twelve thousand two hundred. That is gonna be variable over the incurred. Correct? Yeah. So this is going to be your value. This is going to be your value. Now after this, once you write this much, variable overhead, efficiency variance is given. Okay, this data is not there. Okay. Okay. So if you calculate one of this, if you calculate this, it can be taken as a balance. so yeah at least we can cross multiply and we can finish this so let's just cross multiply and just uh, calculate these things that is for one unit that we can easily do this like point cross multiply these things 10000 into 2.5 equal to 5000 meter ka cloth will be required one unit ke liye one hour to 10000 units ke liye 10000 hours 10000 hours so these are three elements material labor and overhead krish that is right answer these are three elements so please calculate this answers also that is sir 5000 into 60 3 lakh rupee then 10000 into 20 that is going to be 2 lakh rupees 
then 10,000 into 10 that is gonna be 1 lakh rupee a cost yeah this table is made and sir in the question one more thing is given that variable over efficiency variance is given which is 2000 adverse and variable over it are based on direct labor hours so that is given that variable over are based on labor hours it means these hours will be same 10,000 10,000 these hours will be same now I would like to calculate what I would like to calculate is efficiency variance is given whatever data they have given use that data and calculate the answer now I don't know what answer will come but they have given us one variance so we will calculate accordingly let us write working note number two working note number two what answer will come I don't know let's leave that line whatever answer will come but I know that one variance is given let us utilize that the balance something will be missing in that and that will be our answer so yeah uh, the answer here it is going to be variable overhead efficiency variance variable overhead efficiency variance is equal to the formula will be standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate that we know we know this formula that is this efficiency now so this formula Acha, there is one thing missing that is this we can calculate this what is the variance variance is 2000 adverse variance is 2000 adverse what are your standard hours 10,000 minus we don't know actual hours multiplied by standard rate is 10 Achha, because it is 20,000 adverse I hope you all know I hope you all know that generally plus means favorable as in when you calculate all variances except for fixed that is different otherwise generally plus means favorable minus means adverse so it is 2000 negative 2000 negative divided by 10 adverse means negative is equal to 10,000 minus actual hours and so it is going to be 2000 divided by 10 that is minus 200 is equal to 10,000 minus actual hours so now guys if you solve actual hours is equal to Ten thousand plus two hundred. Ten thousand two hundred. Hours. This is going to be your answer. But actual hours are ten thousand two hundred. So now what we have got is actual hours. And once you get these hours, it will be written over here 10,200 and these are same that if worker works for 10,200 hours, uh, what is your labor cost? Because like if worker works for one hour, you will have to make the payment to the worker and you have to make the payment for electricity also. So th that do both the cost, worker ka cost and that electricity ka cost which is overhead. Both depends upon those hours only. If worker works, that cost will be incurred. Now once you get this, uh, I, I, I think that the rest part is easy. Now the rates can be easily calculated if I ask you. How will you calculate the rest? I don't think it is that difficult. How will you calculate? So you know that rate will be calculated is nothing but cost divided by this 22 4400 10,200. It is gonna be 22. It is gonna be 11. Yeah. Divided. yeah. Now, can we calculate what they are asking for is at the end? Find out the missing data. We did that. Relevant variances relevant variances so can you tell me in the material how many variances are possible three or five three are much time why three variances tell me the reason there is only one material. exactly there is only one material even in the labor only three variances are possible that cost uh, then the, there is a rate wala part then there is a efficiency then same variable maybe three variances are possible so let us calculate these variances one by one. Pella material ka nikal data. Let us calculate material variances. To pella material variances.
मटल वेरियंस है तो पहला ए मटल कॉस्ट वेरियंस आई एम नॉट राइटिंग द फॉर्मूला नाउ और आई कैन डू द शॉर्टकट ऑल्सो इट इज लाइक दिस मटेरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस एंड आई विल मेक द ग्राफ अकॉर्डिंगली आई कैन से दैट मटेरियल का कॉस्ट शुड भी थ्री लैख रुपीज बट वी हैव एक्चुअली स्पेंड इज थ्री लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड सो सो थर्टी थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एक्स्ट्रा वी हैव स्पेंड विच इज एडवर्स सर दिस कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन्स यू कैन राइट वन बिलो अनदर बट चलो जस्ट टू सेव द स्पेस just to see, just i just need this answer on the one page so i'm going for this otherwise that's okay you can write one below another now there is a material price variance what is going to be the price you can see this should be the price the payment is done at this rate and for this many hours so that is Sixty minus fifty-eight multiplied by fifty-five thousand seven hundred. That is going to be eleven four hundred, and the positive value. That's why it is favorable there. तुमको याद आ रहा है ये चीज या refer करवाना पड़ेगा? Hello, do you remember everything? Yeah. फेयर इनफ तो चलो कंप्लीट करते हैं मटेरियल यूसेज ये वाला पार्ट मटेरियल दिस वन इज मटेरियल यूसेज वेरिएंस व्हेन यू से मटेरियल यूसेज वेरिएंस इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ फाइव ये दिस दैट इज 5000 माइनस 5700 इनटू 65000 वी शुड हैव यूज्ड वी हैव यूज्ड 5700 मोर यूसेज वेरी बैड Into standard rate, which is sixty. Production manager, yeah, seven hundred into sixty adverse. That is forty-two thousand adverse. You can check this tally. It will tally. There is a loss. There is a benefit. So net loss is this much. Yeah. So the net loss is this much. Now, after material variances, the second part is going to be labor variances. Labor variances. There are three variances. Uh, let's calculate those. Uh, so that is going to be uh, again A. Labor cost variances or cost variance. Let's calculate labor cost variance. What is the cost that you should have incurred? Two lakh rupees. What you have incurred is two lakh twenty four thousand four hundred. Two lakh minus two lakh twenty four four hundred. Two lakh minus two lakh twenty four thousand four hundred. That is twenty four thousand four hundred. More you have spent, which is adverse. Yeah, you would like to know the reason, sir. Why did I spend more? Because of rate or because of inefficiency? Efficiency. Let's calculate this into two parts. Ah, uh, that is going to be. Labor rate variance. When you say rate variance, ah, uh, twenty rupees you should pay. You you had paid twenty two. So twenty minus twenty two into two thousand two hundred. Twenty minus twenty two. To two thousand two hundred. Wait a second. Ten thousand two hundred. Sorry, ten thousand two hundred. प्लीज डू दिस एट यूर एंड अभी भी तुमको अगर जरूरत पड़ रही है तो बहुत टेंशन वाली बात है टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एट वर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ आस्किंग यू आई एम राइटिंग बट यू शुड बी एबल टू सॉल्व ईच एंड एवरी थिंग ओके दिस इज क्वाइट ईजी वॉट आई एम डूइंग दिस ओके दैट इज अ बेसिक थिंग नो सी लेबर एफिशंसी वेरियंस Now, if you calculate labor efficiency variance, that is going to be or uh, the efficiency, na? So ten thousand, they have taken more hours. This that is ten thousand minus ten thousand two hundred into twenty. Ten thousand minus ten thousand two hundred into 
और ट्वेंटी ठीक है फोर थाउजेंड एडवर्स वी कैन क्रॉस चेक दिस इज एडवर्स दिस इज एडवर्स एट दिस दिस इज टोटल लॉस या सो यू आर डन विद द मटेरियल कॉस्ट वेरिएंसेस देन मटेरियल लेबर वेरिएंसेस नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द थर्ड दैट इज वेरिएबल ओवरड वेरिएंसेस सो दिस इज डन द फर्स्ट वन वाज मटेरियल द सेकंड वन वाज लेबर नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर द थर्ड That is a variable overhead. चलो तो third variance के ऊपर आते हैं variable overhead. अच्छा sir, when you say variable overhead variances, again there are three parts. A variable overhead cost variance. When you say variable overhead cost variance, you should have spent this much one lakh. You spent one lakh twelve thousand twelve hundred. But you should have spent one lakh. You have spent one lakh twelve thousand two hundred. So twelve thousand twelve hundred at worst. Whatever more amount you spent, it is because of two reasons. एक तो एक्सपेंडिचर दैट इज वेरिएबल ओवरहेड एक्सपेंडिचर वेरिएंस देर इज अ वेरिएबल ओवरहेड एफिशिएंसी वेरिएंस ओके चल लेट्स कैलकुलेट एक्सपेंडिचर That is a rate card difference. So ten ka eleven you paid into ten thousand two hundred. Ten eleven. Ten minus eleven into ten thousand two hundred. So ten thousand two hundred adverse. Then sir, then sir over here. Ten thousand. Let's calculate this. No, all relevant. Correct. So now the diagram is made. So I'm doing it. Ten thousand minus ten thousand two hundred. इंटू दैट इज गी टेन तो कर लेते हैं लेट्स टू दिस दैट इज गी टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड एडवर्स यस इट टैलीज वी कैन चेक एंड फाइनली वी डिड दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज वॉट वी कैन से क्वाइट ईजी द ओनली थिंग विच वॉज डिफिकल्ट इन दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू कैलकुलेट दैट एक्चुअल आवर्स वन दैट इज डन द रेस्ट थिंग वॉज क्वाइट ईजी Nothing complicated at all. Okay, nothing complicated. So that was the thing. Uh, I hope you did that. Baki kisi ka? The previous page one second. Acha, just okay. Fair enough. Here we go. Yes, sir. Done. Yeah, and how much time it took? So just to give you an idea, so that took nineteen minutes to solve this question. ओके गाइज लेट एस रिवाइज एस टू वॉट वी डिड टेन नाउ सर आई कैन से दैट ऑन वेरी फर्स्ट डे वी गाइज गेट वन प्रॉफिट विच इज स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉफिट ऑन द लास्ट डे वी गेट वन एक्चुअल प्रॉफिट इन द स्टैंडर्ड प्रॉफिट एंड एक्चुअल प्रॉफिट देर इज अ डिफरेंस दैट इज नॉट नेट प्रॉफिट का डिफरेंस दैट डिफरेंस इज नथिंग बट अ वेरियंस सो नेट प्रॉफिट वेरियंस दिस नेट प्रॉफिट वेरियंस कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ यू रीजन्स दैट कैन बी बिकॉज ऑफ लेट एस ए टू ब्रॉड रीजन्स इट कैन बी आइर बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज इन कॉस्ट और इट कैन बी आइर बिकॉज ऑफ चेंज इन सेल्स करके अच्छा सर इफ यू टॉक अबाउट चेंज इन कॉस्ट वॉट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ कॉस्ट विच कैन चेंज तो हियर इफ यू जस्ट टॉक अबाउट चेंज आई कैन जस्ट डिवाइड इन टू फोर मोर पार्ट्स सर द फर्स्ट वन इज द मटीरियल कॉस्ट वेरियंस दैट इज मटीरियल वेरियंस गाइज देन देर इज अ लेबर वेरियंस देन देर इज अ वेरिएबल ओवर हेड वेरियंसेज एंड देन देर इज अ फिक्स ओवर हेड वेरियंसेज करके ठीक है Now, if you just talk about this also again uh, the cost variance, material variances. So, what are the types? so in material we can say that there is a material cost variance then in material there is a cost variance then material price variance then material usage variance then there is a mix variance and there is a yield variance which is also known as sub usage 
so these are the parts of cost variances acha sir if you just talk about labor variances to again labor variance that is a labor cost variance it has three parts the one will be rate in between there can be idle time if it is the idle time variance then there is a efficiency variance then sir efficiency variance is again divided into two parts mix variance and yield variance that is sub efficiency also so these are the parts of we can say that labor cost variances you can see acha sir if you just talk about the variable overhead variance again so variable overhead variance i can say that it is a cost variance yeah variable overhead variance it is a cost variance again the cost variance will have two parts expenditure and efficiency so these are the two parts of your uh, labor uh, sorry variable overhead cost variance we can say okay these are the two parts of variable overhead cost variance okay now having said that uh, if you just want to give you an idea about these three variances if you just want to give you an idea about these three variances so you just need to make one table before you solve this questions you need to make a table like this the first column will be the budget column then there is another column which is standard column guys then there is another column known as actual yeah then you need to leave one line to write the actual output you need to leave one line to write the output the one line will be left to write down the output once you write down the output then there can be a material there can be labor see always remember then uh, there are uh, here it can be material here it can be labor or it can be variable overhead okay you need to remember if it is material then you will write here as a uh, here the one column is type after type what comes is like a quantity then here it is quantity price cost quantity price cost acha but sir if you talk about the labor variances sir in the labor variance there are hours so we can say hours rate cost hours rate cost Hours rate cost, hours rate cost. अच्छा, so this is a one page summary I can say which we made. And there are there are hours rate cost करके, okay? Now, uh, this is all about your uh, three these three variances. Now let us talk about this fixed portion. अच्छा, if you just talk about the fixed variances, sir, before you start with this fixed overhead variances, what you need to remember what is the kind of format or what is the kind of table which is prepared. So here we always write if you just talk about the table. a fix overhead so here there is a table that you will have to prepare for fix overheads that is going to be budget particulars then there is going to be budget there is actually actual and what you going to write is recovery rate acha then what do you write is overheads that is fix overheads then you will write units nothing it is nothing but output units or output whatever you say days hours paid only the last hours worked again you will copy the second row which is of units okay then having said that having said that what do you have to calculate is absorption rate so what you will say one unit is equal to how many rupees One day is equal to how many rupees? Then one hour is equal to how many rupees? करके ठीक है. And as in when you calculate the absorption rate, tell me which which thing is taken as a base, budget or actual? Absorption rates are calculated or recovery rates are calculated based on which value? Budget. 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 So you just need to consider the budget things. That will be based upon the budget. So please remember this. That is going to be based upon the budget. Yep. That is nothing but if you see overheads divided by units, you will get units carried. Then overheads divided by days, you will get days carried. Then overheads divided by hours, you will get hours carried. Okay. Now, having said that, once you get this answer, you need to calculate the variances. How many variances are there? There are seven variances. First variance, second variance, third variance, fourth variance, 
here i consider here is the first variance second variance third variance fourth variance fifth variance sixth variance seventh variances acha if you want to name them so the first variance is going to be the cost variance and because it is expenditure so this overhead is nothing but this is first one is cost the second one is expenditure this is second one which is expenditure then third one is units units is nothing but a volume then days is nothing but you can say calendar because days are there in the calendar variance then based on hours you gonna calculate the capacity then there is a idle time variance and then based on hours worked you gonna calculate the efficiency so you just need to remember one thing that is worth these two that is when you calculate capacity variance and when you calculate efficiency variance you guys will have to cross multiply the things and then you will get the answers okay so you're going to cross multiply the things and then you have to proceed accordingly that unit rate can be copied over here okay now sir what about adverse and favorable the logic has been discussed but still uh, still if you you just want to have some more clarity so i'm going to say first two variances then next we the, then the rest variances generally plus means favorable minus means adverse but for this from volume onwards a plus is adverse and minus is favorable so that is how the table will be so this is a one page summary i hope it will solve the purpose day before examination as to yeah that is what we can conclude for these three for these three when you say budget and actual so generally what we say here over here all variances whatever variances you calculate here it is plus means favorable minus means adverse but for volume wala part from volume onwards acha if you just want to bifurcate the things like how the things are being bifurcated so just to give you an idea uh, the cost variance will have two parts expenditure and volume and volume will have four parts so here it is calendar we can say then capacity then your yeah, idle time and then efficiency yeah so that was that is the summary i hope it will serve the purpose if you want maybe i will say share the one page summary with you uh, on the whatsapp karke just to give you an idea if at all you think that you want to refer this i will send this through whatsapp hello yes sir fair enough if you want that something can be added your uh, suggestions are most welcome bolo what can be added in this standard costing so that is how you need to make the summary for each and every chapter this is a one page summary this is known as one page summary it means day before examination guys you gonna look for this even in this things a uh, few more things can be added like this when you calculate this hours so you need to remember that there is one more there is one more data which you need to write that is hours paid minus idle hours is equal to hours worked even one more table is prepared karke acha then uh then again i can say that for this part and then that is too much then again for this part so here for this part i can write something only if two or more raw material did you understand this that mix and yield will be calculated mix and yield will be calculated only when there are two or more types of raw materials or labors hello yes sir yeah fair enough i haven't written the formulas uh, for the formula purpose you just need to remember one thing that is this uh yeah you just need to remember this uh, the, the the format will be like this the first cost cost ka difference then the rate rate ka difference one step back that is this rate rate ka difference one step back then r dollars ka difference or quantity, then one step back karke that is how the things are and here you know for uh, the first variance you need to go like this the first variance the first variance is like here you have to travel like this for the first variance then the second variance onwards it is this these two differences then there is a difference of this units then days and then hours and all karke yeah that is of the summaries and yeah finally we can say within 10 minutes we have just summarized the chapter with the 
written notes also so that is a summary which is done okay so guys let's start with question number 16 and let's see as to what data is given uh, sir before uh, even i give you some explain uh, before even we do that i would like to give you some idea sir what idea you want to give understand understand first of all if i just talk about overhead variances overhead variances now understand this you know this overhead variances so there are two types of overheads it can be fixed and it can be variable please write with me sir if you just talk about overhead variances these are divided into two parts variable overheads sir these are divided into two parts the one is variable overhead so i can write variable overhead and the another one is the fix overhead so after variable overhead we can say fix overhead yeah and if we just talk about the variances what are the different types of variances which are calculated to so understand this so here i say it is a cost variance cost variance is again divided into expenditure and then efficiency acha here the cost variance has two parts again expenditure and volume variance okay i'm not subdividing again volume has few parts that you know there are four parts of the volume but yeah if i just divide like this you understand this okay now one more thing which is taken care of is if i just ask you to calculate over there is also expense see expenditure is expenditure variance is here also expenditure variance is here also so if i just take the total of this total overhead expenditure variance total overhead expenditure variance i hope you understand that if i just tell you calculate overhead expenditure variance it means it is variable ka plus a uh, fix ka overhead wala expenditure dono ka total then it is going to get the total overhead expenditure so yeah i i gave you one idea uh, just one idea about this sir acha so if in the question it is given like see you can see the question what is the requirement of the question sir calculate what overhead variances they haven't specified variable or fix they just said calculate overhead variances i said okay now they are saying production volume variance tell me when they say volume variance is it variable wala or fix wala volume comes in which overhead fix. fixed wala so obviously it is going to be fixed overhead then yeah if they say volume so that is going to be fixed overhead only so yeah that is going to be the fixed overhead only the reason is uh, volume comes in that you can see that volume variance yeah here you can see the volume variance is here only volume variance yeah but if you just talk about the overhead expenditure variance now you can see when you say expenditure so expenditure variance comes in which overhead both na both that is variable overhead also and uh, fixed overhead also so theek hai chalo now let's read the data it means you need to calculate the production volume variance what question is asking is this is the first requirement of the question this is the first requirement of the question to be very frank to be give you to give you an idea the first requirement is to calculate the volume the second requirement is to calculate the expenditure that is expense variance and nothing is specified that is a total expenditure variance so these are the guys two requirements of the question this and this yes sir very much clear now let's read the data acha let us calculate the volume variance what i feel is uh based on the data which is given in the question maybe i feel that 80% of you guys can do this production volume variance let us make a data if you want to know the volume variance we always make a table we always make a table so let us make working note number 1 it is not a part of solution this is just for your understanding whatever is written sir it is for your understanding a working note number 1 let us make a table table for what fix overhead because they are asking for volume variance no let us make a table even if you do not make a table that is okay uh, just because i have a habit i am making this table particulars then there is a budget then there is actual and there is a recovery rate then there is a recovery rate acha ji sir done now here it is overheads fixed overheads which are fixed and then units you can say or output whatever so units 
whatever you write that is quite okay either you can write units or output that is okay units there is one unit is equal to how many rupees one unit is equal to how many rupees let us read the data given in the question so what is given in the question is a variable overhead rate per unit Achha, i will look into this later on as of now i am focusing upon the fix xyz company has established the following standards for a particular overhead or for a factory overhead so standards are given Variable I am not interested as of now. I am interested in fix overhead. So sir, fix overhead per month is 1 lakh rupees. So fix overhead 1 lakh rupees. Budgeted. Because what written was standard. It is a budget which was made. So we were thinking that the data is for 1 month. So in 1 month we were planning that my cost is going to be 1 lakh rupees. Or, or 10,000. 1 lakh rupees. I am going to incur. What has happened? Capacity of the plant is 20,000 units per month. So if 20,000 capacity is there and nothing is mentioned, so we must be planning to produce 20,000 only. So we must be planning to produce 20,000 only. I feel that we can easily get the absorption rate. I was planning that I'm going to incur 1 lakh rupee in this month and I'm going to produce 20,000. So in that case, 5 rupee will be your absorption rate. That is nothing but 1 lakh divided by 20,000. Yes, sir. Now, now the actual data is given actual data for the month are as follows what has happened let's see actual overheads incur array ray actual overheads incur be very careful when you say actual overheads incurred they haven't specified whether these are fixed or variable so these are what variable okay. plus both variable plus fixer Achha. They haven't specified, okay, it is a fixed overhead incurred, it is variable overhead incurred, they haven't specified. The way they have specified over here, you can see it was specified. But here they just said, in totality, we paid 3 lakh rupees. Okay, sir. Okay, now, actual output. Sir, how many units we have produced? Sir, we have produced 15,000 units. Achha, theek hai. So this data, you cannot write 3 lakh over here. Remember, the, the fixed overhead is not 3 lakh. That is a total variable plus fixer. Now, chalo, theek hai na, that data is not there. Even I don't require that data. Tell me, can you calculate volume variance? They are asking only for volume. Can you calculate that? If yes, I need answer in chat box with adverse or favorable. Vedant, right answer. Vedant, right answer. Are bejo bhai, easy ekdam, isa calcify Send it to me. It is quite easy. You can get the answer on the calculator. Khushi that is adverse na. Where you should have sold 20,000, you have sold 15,000 na. You need to write adverse favorable. Okay, Priyam, Advet, uh, yeah, yeah. Then Priyam, yeah, again. Upar Vyarchi, Krish, uh, Advet, Priyam, okay, then. Uh, Nishi, uh, Nishi, nahi, nahi. Nishi, aisa kaisa mistake ho sakta hai. Yeah, okay. Calcium use karo dhruvi. That is right answer. Nishi, yeah. Again, one zero extra this time. Okay, but okay. Arpit, nahi. Arpit, how can you make this mistake? You just need to multiply by 5 also, na? You have to multiply the difference of volume. Multiply the difference of volume. Sorry, sir. Ah, I, I don't expect this mistake. This is very easy. Wala part. Okay, now. Chalo. Let us go for the first variance. That is volume variance. Let us calculate this. First variance. That is production volume variance. Production volume is nothing but fixed overhead volume. So production volume they are saying. So I have written that time only. Production volume variance. Let us calculate. Let's calculate. How will you calculate? You will have to write the formula. Chalo, let us write the formula. That is standard or budgeted overhead minus actual budgeted units or budgeted output. Whatever you write that is okay. Budgeted units or output that's okay minus uh, actual units or actual output that's quite okay okay into recovery rate per unit rr is nothing but recovery rate okay rr 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 is nothing but recovery rate so sir you were expecting to sell 20000 you sold 15000 very bad you sold 5000 units less sir. you need to speak this language when you write okay sir you should have sold 20000 that was a plan you sold only 15000 there is a loss I repeat, though, that is 25,000 ka loss is that, that is 25,000 adverse. Yes, sir, this is understood. This is understood. There is no problem in this, sir. But, sir, now how to calculate the expenditure variance? That is the trick. Now, we are done with the volume. Would you like to try this? 
कैन यू गिव मी दिस आंसर इफ आई वेट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स हेलो चलो तो आई विल वेट फॉर टू थ्री मिनट्स प्लीज कैलकुलेट दिस आंसर सेकेंड वाले पार्ट का आई नीड टोटल वेरियंस टोटल थ्री लैख रुपीज यू नो नाउ द बजेट एंड ऑल यू नीड टू थिंक हाउ यू विल डू आई विल आस्क द प्रोसेस ऑल्सो दैट हाउ यू डेडिट करके ओके तो जरा ध्यान से ओके लेट्स हैव अ लुक एस टू या निशे यू गिव द राइट आंसर अगेन सो देर आर मीनिंग लाइक निशे अर्पित एंड आर्ची दैट इज राइट आंसर निशे कैन यू एक्सप्लेन द प्रोसेस एस टू हाउ डिड यू गेट दैट आंसर स्टैंडर्ड रेट वॉज टेन रुपीज एक्चुअली वी हैव इनक टेन रुपीज ओनली राइट देर इज अम्शन दे नो Even though the answer is right, but you you made a assumption. Now then, it is wrong. How can we assume that that if you were expecting to earn ten rupees and you incurred at the same rate only, right? That is one assumption which you made in that case. So we can also understand seven point five variable. Sorry. Unit. Sorry, sorry. The variable over the unit we can cross multiply by that seven point five now. How come? What divide by what? What will you like? How will you get it? Twenty thousand ka, ten to fifteen thousand ka. Twenty thousand ka. Variable over it is ten. Then. Fifteen thousand. Arey nine 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 nine. This is per unit na. Understand this. Understand this. Suppose suppose electricity ka rate it is okay. As in when you make one unit electricity ka you have to pay ten rupees per unit basis pe. Just because you made fifteen thousand, that doesn't mean now your rate per unit will be seven point five. It is a variable cost, right? Or some just like if you buy something from supplier, that is now how we work, now. Suppose if I tell you that you uh, produce ten thousand, in that case you are saying you will have to pay only five rupees per unit. No, no, that is not a fixed cost. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay, fair enough. Chalo. Any other answer? We don't have to assume anything. Without assumption, you are going to get the answer. With assumption, also you are getting the answer, which is right answer. But I need answer without any assumption. Anybody else has any different explanation? There are many right answers like Arpit, Archi, then Krish. If you want to explain, if you want to say something, you can. Bolo. Bolo. No assumption. I want. I don't want any assumption in that case. Answer is right. I agree. But why to make any assumption without assumption? If it can be done, then unnecessary assumptions you don't have to make. चलो. इसका variable जो overhead होगा वो तो zero ही रहेगा ना variable expenditure overhead for variable y zero y zero. Is there any possibility that you thought you will incur ten rupees and you will have to incur eleven? Is there any possibility? Yes or no? Yes, na there is a possibility, na that we yes, may end. So then, then you are making assumption, right? That ten karke, then that is wrong, na you are you made a assumption, right? Then yes, sir. Fair enough. So, chalo. Now, how to do this? Understand. That is where the catch is. Even though your answers were right, but now let us understand the process. Let us make working note number two, guys. Let us make working note number two. Now, understand the beauty of standard costing. Now. Variable overhead expenditure variance. Just write down variable overhead expenditure variance. How I will process the solution? Let us understand variable overhead expenditure variance. Now, if you talk about variable overhead expenditure variance, do we know the formula for this? Yes, sir. Standard. Actually, I will ask someone so that I will come to know that you guys are paying attention or not. Ah, uh, actually, uh, Dhruvi. वो पहला नाम वही मतलब चलो बोलो ध्रुवी व्हाट इज द एक्सपेंडिचर वेरिएंस का फॉर्मूला सर दिस माइनस दिस इनटू दिस ध्रुवी आई होप यू आर देयर हाँ बोलो याद नहीं आ रहा इट 
into actual hours are when you do this like see when we calculate this difference it is like this rate rate ka difference and when you come one step back that is actual hours now so rate rate ka difference into actual hours correct so into actual hours standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours yeah it is case mein actual quantity lena padega nahi 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 wait no having done this having done this can i say that uh, we can do something like this ki a formula ko open let's open the bracket so what is going to happen then in that case it is going to be then the formula will be like this standard rate multiplied by actual hours uh acha ha sorry 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 बराबर मैंने वो नहीं देखा द डेट ऑफ आर्स इज नॉट गिवन इंस्टेड द डेट ऑफ यूनिट्स इज अवेलेबल विथ अस आर्स का डेटा ही नहीं है तो हाउ कैन यू राइट चलो एक छोटा सा चेंज कर दो जस्ट मेक वन स्मॉल चेंज इंस्टेड ऑफ आर्स यू कैन राइट द क्वांटिटी दैट इज एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी सो द एक्चुअल यूनिट्स देन इफ यू अगेन ओपन द ब्रैकेट तो इट इज गना बी माइनस एक्चुअल रेट तो इट इज गई गाइस एक्चुअल रेट इनटू एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी ये क्या हो जाएगा एक्चुअल रेट इनटू एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी हो जाएगा या दैट इज गना बी दिस नाउ नाउ हैविंग डन दिस इफ आई आस्क यू डू आई हैव दिस कैन आई कैलकुलेट दिस एंड यहां पे दिस तो दैट इज अंडरस्टैंड दिस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कैन आई डू आई हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड रेट एंड एक्चुअल यूनिट्स यस आई हैव द इंफॉर्मेशन आई नो द स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज टेन multiplied by do i have the information of actual units sir yes sir 15000 units sir so 10 into 15000 acha i don't have any data about this because i don't have which rate uh, even though i have actual quantity that is actual units i have but uh, i don't have what i don't have actual rate that variable over it is incurred at what rate so but can i see that actual units into actual rate is nothing but actual variable overhead that is nothing but actual variable overhead if you understand that is nothing but actual variable overhead okay so this formula will be like this now the, the end up we will end up saying that ki 150000 minus actual variable overhead you are going to get this you are going to get expenditure variance tumko yahan tak samjha did you get this hello yes sir fair enough so if anyone has any doubt what is bracket open and all to so just ask me okay now chalo after this working out number 2 was on variable overhead expenditure now let us make working out number 3 that is fixed overhead expenditure fixed overhead expenditure acha now when you say fixed overhead expenditure variance do we have that information so first of all what is the formula of expenditure variance so budgeted overhead i will specify budgeted fixed overhead minus actual fixed overhead actual fixed overheads acha i have information i have information about budgeted i made a budget of this that i will incur 1 lakh rupees that was a budgeted fixed overhead i have this information do i have information of actual fixed overheads no i don't have information of actual fixed overheads okay now i can get my answer now understand let us combine these two working notes i at the end i want what expenditure variance i have written because there was a variable overhead expenditure also there was a fixed overhead expenditure also whatever i could write i have written now let us combine them because what question is asking for is the total total expenditure variance question is asking for so let us do that in this case if i write now total overhead please understand this is total overhead expenditure variance when you say total overhead expenditure variance uh, what is the formula which can be written so we can say that total budgeted overhead total budgeted overhead that is variable overhead plus fixed overhead then total actual overhead again variable overhead plus fixed overhead difference of these two you will get expenditure variance okay 
आर यू अवेयर ऑफ द फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी आर यू अवेयर ऑफ द दिस टोटल एक्चुअल ओवर हेड आई डोंट हैव द बाइफरिकेशन आई डोंट नो सी आई डोंट नो दिस आई डोंट नो वट इज एक्चुअल वेरिएबल ओवर हेड एक सेकेंड लेट मी राइट दैट इट वॉज एक्चुअल वेरिएबल ओवर हेड सो आई डोंट नो एक्चुअल वेरिएबल ओवर हेड हाँ बट अगेन वो नीचे था तो एक्चुअल वेरिएबल ओवर हेड एक्चुअल फिक्स ओवर हेड आई डोंट हैव द बाइफरिकेशन बट आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड आई नो दैट इन टोटलिटी आई हैव इनकर थ्री लाख रुपीज एक्चुअल ओवर हेड आई नो द टोटल नो बाइफरिकेशन बट दट इज टोटल आई नो दैट इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट नाउ वॉट इज बजेटेड ओवर हेड सो यू कैन सी द राइट हैंड साइड नाउ हियर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड सॉरी हियर इट इज वेरिएबल वाला वन लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड फिक्स वाला वन लैख सो फिक्स वाला इज वन लैख सो नाउ टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड माइनस थ्री लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एडवर्स यू स्पेंड दिस अभी समझा तुमको क्या हुआ करके आई जस्ट एडिट दीज टू हेलो आई कैन से काफी अच्छा क्वेश्चन था मतलब दैट वॉज क्वाइट गुड दैट इज वाई वॉज सिंग भाई ये क्वेश्चन थोड़ा ऐसा तुमको लगेगा काफी सही था इट वॉज क्वाइट गुड ओके so that is the solution uh, the, this is a variable part and then this is a fixed part we don't know the bifurcation actual wala but i know the total and they are asking only for total you can see they are not asking for variable expenditure fixed expenditure they are asking overhead expenditure variance overhead expense variance expenses nothing but expenditure variance and here is the solution anyone has any doubts in their mind please ask yeah so we are done with this question 20 minutes that ओके गाइस लेट अस रीड दिस क्वेश्चन दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 17 व्हिच इज देयर क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 लेट्स रीड फ्रॉम द इंस्टीट्यूट चलो इंस्टीट्यूट का या तो चलो लेट्स रीड फ्रॉम हियर इटसेल्फ एंड वी विल मैच द आंसर्स द ओवरहेड एक्सपेंस बजट फॉर अ फैक्ट्री प्रोड्यूसिंग 200 यूनिट्स पर मंथ इज एज फॉलो तो दिस इज अ बजट तो वी मेड अ बजट दैट वी गना प्रोड्यूस 200 यूनिट्स यस एंड इन दैट केस व्हाट इज गना बी योर फिक्स कॉस्ट दिस इज पर यूनिट कॉस्ट ना can you tell me if this is your per unit cost so what was the your expected cost in that case 3000 per unit you were expecting and you were expecting to produce 2000 200 units so can i say uh, you were expecting to incur 6 lakh rupees as a fixed overhead yes sir yes sir because fixed overhead is always incurring totality so i have written that now now there is a variable overhead also which is given per unit again it is a standard rate ha huh? because see the data is of budget and there is a total data that total data not relevant but okay data is given for total now the comp the factory has actually produce 100 units in a particular month so we have produce only 100 units karke in a month karke chalo theek hai and uh, the details of overheads actually incurred have been provided by account department karke so actually what has happened actually actually we have produced 100 units and actually we have incurred this much actually incurred we have this much this is again total overhead just take the total how many overheads we have incurred uh, what is the amount that we have incurred so guys we have incurred 11 lakh 50000 is this only variable or this is variable plus fix variable variable plus fix you can see this because these are semi variable everything some part is variable some part is fix these are semi variable calculate what volume variance and expenditure variance first of all chalo let us do one thing let us do one thing what we will do is sir sir in this question na standard rate is given in the question with reference to variable overhead what sir actual rate is not given let us assume let us assume as see so let us write one assumption assumption solution as per icai solution as per icai let us write budgeted variable overhead rate is same as actual variable overhead rate okay Now let us make the table variable overhead का अच्छा या तो फिर if I just ask you as to how the calculations will be done तो let us calculate the first variance like it is up to you uh, first let us calculate this first this once this assumption is made now now we can easily calculate this let us make 
वर्किंग नोट ना अच्छा वन मोर थिंग विच वी कैन डू इज वॉट इज एक्चुअल ओवर हेड इन कॉड तो वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन ना वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन एक्चुअल ओवर हेड इन कॉड टेल मी एक्चुअल ओवर हेड आर इन कॉड फॉर हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स एक्चुअल ओवर हेड आर इन कॉड फॉर हाउ मेनी यूनिट हंड्रेड यूनिट एक्चुअल ओवर हेड इन कॉड we have encoded actual overheads for 100 units that is how you will present this in the examination okay this solution which is given to you now so theek hai so now 100 units so can i say that if i say actual overheads encoded the total comes to uh, 1150000 let us subtract variable overhead encoded actual variable overhead actual overheads now let us subtract actual variable load how many uh, what is going to be your answer 100 units multiplied by actual rate is same and as budgeted that is going to be 1500 samajh mein aata hai ye cheez hello hmm you can write this that the budgeted rate was 1500 rupees and you have actually incurred 1500 only so 100 into 1500 that is 11 lakh 50000 you must have incurred Because you must have actually incurred eleven lakh fifty thousand. What is going to be this? Actual fix overhead ten lakh. Okay, that that is the way they did. Okay, now understand. Let us make another table. Working note number two table. Table for fix overhead. Let us make table for fix overhead. Sir, what will you write, sir? Sir, you will write particulars, then you will write budget, then you will write actual, then you will write recovery rate. So here you will write overheads, which are fixed. and here you will write units so sir how many over what is the amount that you were expecting to incur on very first day so you were expecting to incur 6 lakh rupees how come just to give you an, an idea how did you get this so that is nothing but 300 you were thinking that your absorption rate was this 300 into the plan was made for 200 units so you were thinking to spend this 6 lakh rupees and how many units you were expecting to produce 200 so what was your absorption rate one unit is equal to rupees you can see that is 200 so 3000 was absorption rate something which was done on very first day what has actually happened what has actually happened can i say that actually you have incurred 10 lakh rupees from here actual fixed overheads 10 lakh rupees and actually you have produced how many units 100 Can you calculate production variance uh, and uh, expenditure variance? Uh, yes, sir. Let us calculate first production variance. Production volume variance. The name which is given by institute is production volume. That is fixed overhead volume variance. I am not writing the formula, but you understand that is going to be two hundred units. You should have sold. We should have. You have actually sold hundred ka volume into three thousand. So sir, two hundred minus hundred into three thousand. That is going to be three lakh rupees, and that is you have sold less number of units. That is adverse. So the first answer is going to be this. Hello. Ah, uh, pakka pakka clear hai? Ya any doubt because I changed the method. Hello. Yes. Clear. ठीक है. चलो. Now let us go for the. Fix overhead expenditure variance. If you just talk about the fix overhead expenditure variance, it is going to be this six lakh. You should have incurred. You have incurred a ten lakh rupees. So four lakh adverse over here. You have spent more. Acha sir, after this what? this is adverse you can see this next sir now there is a variable wala part you need expenditure variance the expenditure variance comes in variable part also so 
is uh, I hope you understand that is going to be nil only working on, uh, if I just calculate third variance then variable overhead expenditure variance what is going to be the formula you will see the formula is expenditure is nothing but standard rate the re expenditure should be done at this rate expenditure is done at what rate that is expenditure variance into actual units because data is given for units otherwise we should have written actual hours yeah the standard rate and we have assumed that we have assumed only that the budgeted rate which is standard rate is equal to the actual rate so there is no difference in this so 1500 you are thinking that you will spend you can see this 1500 and you have spent 1500 only and multiplied by doesn't matter how many units actually units are like 100 and still the answer remains nil. so now if i ask you total overhead variance total overhead expenditure variance is equal to 4 lakh adverts plus nil is equal to 4 lakh adverts anyone has any doubt tell me let us check from the institute's cost solution okay done with this just let me know yes then we can Yes, sir. Yes. Let, let's check. Let us check from the ICAI solution. Yeah, so the first variance which we calculated is uh, volume. You can see the first variance is volume, which is 3 lakh adverse. Yeah, it can be seen in our solution. Yes. Then the second variance they have calculated variable average, which is nil, because the rate is assumed as same. And then here it is a budget minus actual that fixed rate wala part. At the end, it is 4 lakh adverse. Karke. That is overhead expenditure variance. Karke. Yes, so that is how it can be done. That you first calculate this variance huh? so that is it is quite easy actually the institute has given a very easy solution by assuming something but see what I feel is see if you have assumed you need to understand what you have assumed is budgeted rate is same as actual rate on the other hand what can be assumed you would have assumed like this also now that actual overhead is same as a budgeted fixed overhead let's not complicate otherwise this is the solution you want me to solve this as per another method here that is okay this is something which you need to follow this is the solution which you will follow Chalo. the solution which was given to, uh, to you earlier that was uh, with reference to this earlier question was with reference to uh, the without assumption that was actually more appropriate but just because ICAI has written assumption so I will respect them Ki, hai, chalo. you can assume karke. so that is the solution okay so let us understand uh, this this is the question again i will repeat everything understand there was a data which was given with reference to one unit the data was given with reference to one unit uh, that this many quantities required at the rate of this rate karke. so i have written that you can see that uh, this many quantities are required for one unit uh, and this is a standard rate it was written it is a standard rate karke. then three hours at the rate of rupees eight so that is written three hours at the rate of rupees eight years what is your actual output that is six thousand I have written for 6000 output what is the cost that you have incurred that was given in the question that is this so yeah I have written this you can see and what is the cost uh, they have actually incurred for labor is this what what they have said let me read that again they were saying that sir out of 17500 hours 2500 hours are paid at the rate of rupees 12 you can see this and the balance hours when I say balance hours that is nothing but for the remaining hour that is 15,000 hours we made a payment at the standard rate standard rate will 8 so yeah this is the table now based on this let's just fill it up so for one unit uh, we are saying that you require two units to produce this one product just cross multiply or everything will be multiplied by 6,000 you can see every, it has increased by 6,000 output has increased by 6,000 uh, every input will increase by 6,000 that is gonna be 12,000 then 3 equal to 18,000 then 15 equal to 90,000 
then 20 equal to 1 lakh 20 thousand 3 equal to 18 thousand into 8 that is 1 lakh 44 thousand you can write 1 lakh 44 thousand here 25 into 12500 into 4.5 m plus 1800 into 2.8 m plus 8800 into 1.2 m plus mrg please calculate 211600 please calculate how huh? there is a possibility i can make a error so yeah Please check and confirm at the end if the answer goes wrong then please so please just check the things whether it is proper or not everything. I will cross check. To produce one unit guys to produce one unit you require 32 rupees per material so 6000 kg 6000 into 32. Okay, uh, are you done with this uh, preparation well, part? table preparation was important now calculation is quite easy everybody can do that now if you must have if you, you are done with this then the, the rest part is quite easy done chal. now what are they asking what are they asking they are asking price variance and usage variance let's calculate price and usage variance so pehla price and then usage pehla price what is the formula standard price minus actual price into actual quantity that is this calculate the answer and tell me i need answer in chat box please do that calculate the answer and tell me what is gonna be the answer in the chat box okay let me check even i don't have the answer so i will have to calculate Actual quantity is twelve five hundred. Yeah, Advet Vedant Nishi Dhruvi RG right answer. Please always show this individual answer, sir. Otherwise, they will deduct this mark. We need to show this individual answers. 3000 favorable. This is going to be your answer. Priyam, Krish. Okay. Fair enough. Now, after price, guys, you just need to switch to the next variance. What is that? That is the usage variance. Let us calculate. Oh, now that is calculated usage variance to sir second variance that is a usage variance standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard rate that is this this quantity should have been used this is used and at this rate sure that is
स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी इज ट्वेल्व एटीन नाइनटी दिस दे शुड हैव यूज्ड व्हाट दे हैव एक्चुअली यूज्ड इज ट्वेल्व फाइव हंड्रेड एटीन थाउजेंड एटी एट ट्वेल्व फाइव हंड्रेड एटी एट एटीन थाउजेंड एटी एट फाइव हंड्रेड इंटू स्टैंडर्ड रेट हाँ द स्टैंडर्ड रेट इज फोर थ्री वन सो प्लीज कंप्लीट दिस विच केम फ्रॉम योर जस्ट फिनिश इट ऑफ एक बार देखते हैं आई थिंक दैट इज प्रॉपर यस चलो तो नाउ लेट्स डू दिस वी हैव गॉट दिस आंसर और द चैट आई डोंट हैव एनी आंसर नाउ ओके बिकॉज द मीटिंग हैज बिन री स्टार्टेड लाइक ऑन द लैपटॉप तो आई डोंट हैव एनी आंसर नाउ सो दिस इज द सेकेंड आंसर विच वी हैव गाइज नाउ ओके नाउ नाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द लेबर रेट एंड लेबर इफिशियंसी तो लेट इज गो फॉर अ लेबर रेट आई नीड लेबर रेट का वेरियंस फ्रॉम यूर साइड प्लीज लेबर रेट वेरियंस थर्ड what is going to be the labor rate variance let us calculate labor rate variance uh, that is going to be yeah arpit let me check rate that is a standard rate minus actual rate into actual hours okay Now if I see a uh, standard rate minus actual rate, so um, okay, standard rate minus actual rate. So here we go. The so standard rate is it. Actual rate is also it. So is clearly so there is no problem. But standard rate minus actual rate into this. That is eight minus twelve into two thousand five hundred. Yeah, eight minus twelve into two thousand five hundred. Only that difference will be there. So ten thousand adverse. Okay, so Arpit, Archie, Ridhima, okay, Nishi, Dhruvi, Priyam. That was right answer. Ten thousand adverse. So that is this. The last variance. The last variance, which is uh, labor efficiency variance. Yeah, labor efficiency variance. If you just talk about labor efficiency variance, that is going to be standard hours minus actual hours into standard rate. That is this. Hmm. So let's do. Let's calculate that. So that is going to be the same thing. So that is eighteen thousand hours you should have taken, and you guys have taken seventeen five hundred into eight. Yeah, four thousand favorable. Dhruvi, that was right. Four thousand favorable. Doubt? Do you have anything to say? Please, because there is a possibility you may have a doubt. So please, the doubts are most welcome. Say it. If you have any doubt, just let me know. This is your answer, and we are done and dusted with this question. Yeah. Okay. Now I will just uh, give the idea as to what was given in the question. So if you see in this question what is given. let me give you an idea what was given was this uh question number 6 a and b the total raw material is 800 and 600 so it is copied you can see over here 
that is 800 and 600 is your raw material uh, let's see here then the price was 30 so which is written over here then the 10 percent loss is there normal loss is 10 percent so when you say normal loss is 10 percent it is going to be 10 percent of input it is written 10 percent of input the total input will be this 1400 10 percent of that is gonna be 1260 which is written so for 1260 this is something which you have okay now actually you have produced 1480 that will be written for the actual output what should be your cost and what is your cost we will see that after that uh, this is given as 900 you can see this is given as 32.5 so I have written that much so whatever data was given in the question I have written and for 1260 if you require 800 units then for 1480 how many units cross multiply same goes here also and you will get these answers so now you have this data in front of you there is one more variance which is given cost variance now cost variance will be useful for what to calculate standard price how you will understand so please write down standard price of a the first thing which you will calculate see they are asking for that only if you read standard price of material a so let us write down standard price of material a So when you say standard price of material A, premium that is right, other that is right, okay. Now, how will you calculate standard price? The solution is divided into two parts. First, let us calculate this. So let us use material cost variance first of all. Material cost variance. So how to calculate material cost variance? Material cost variance is equal to standard cost minus actual cost. I know the variance. The variance is uh, 3625 favorable. 3625 favorable. Standard cost, I don't know. Do I know the actual cost? Yes. 59825 that was given in the question. You can see here that was given in the question. So now uh, we can just try to solve this thing. So that goes there. Achha, the, the favorable means plus, huh? Favorable means plus, you need to remember. In material labor and variable order favorable means plus minus means adverse so now so it goes there to so 3625 plus 59825 is equal to standard cost six three four five zero is equal to your standard cost now once you get the standard cost the uh, six three four five zero is equal to your standard cost now let us do this b i have got this what i got i got this six three four five zero now this cost is nothing but cost of a plus cost of b then you get standard cost so i can write total standard cost is equal to cost of a yeah, so standard cost of a standard cost of a plus standard cost of b as similar to standard cost how will you get standard cost standard quantity into standard price standard quantity into standard price now now uh, here you can assume uh, here you can assume then let us assume what you don't know you don't know one thing you don't know one thing is this let's assume selling price uh, standard selling price as standard price as let's assume standard price of a is equal to x per unit so this is assumed as x now let's solve this I know this at the end the cost is going to be this how many units of a are there 940 940x plus these two multiplication 705 into 30 now solve this yeah Nishi that is right Dhruvi that is right okay now minus 21150 is equal to 940x 
45 therefore standard price of a is equal to 45 for unit i don't think it was uh, that difficult like manageable tha but theek hai uh, nobody got the answer maybe theek hai so yeah that is the answer that is 45 rupees per unit guys okay any confusion any doubt you can please ask me sir i did not get this point please you have to ask me if there is a doubt yeah uh, to 45 will be your answer so once this is done i will copy this over here 45 you can check this yeah so that was the first requirement guys we did this first requirement was standard price sir so after that what is next requirement what is next requirement let us have a look uh, if you just have a look what is next requirement is this actual quantity of material b so let us write actual quantity of material b actual quantity of material b acha when you say actual quantity of material b it means what do you want is this now how will you do this there is some variance which is given material price variance is given which is this now what will you do is this just think about this and yeah now first of all yeah can you just calculate this think about it how will you do this any answers from your side please you want me to give you some hint or you want to try at your end hello we we'll try sir i will try so please try yeah i will wait I need actual quantity. No, no, no. No answer. No, no. Nobody has given right answer. Please try. Archie, right answer. No, no, no. Archie, no, no, no. Some mistake is there. Please check. और धीमान नहीं प्रियम नहीं सेम सेम सेवेंटी कई से नहीं आएगा सेवेंटी इतना कम नहीं आएगा वो आई थिंक यू गिव सम अदर आंसर आई एम आई एम व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग इज सेकंड रिक्वायरमेंट हम आई एम वेरी प्रेसाइज एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी ऑफ मटेरियल बी सो आई नीड दैट आंसर एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी ऑफ मटेरियल बी Not that difficult. Oh, cha Arpit, that is right answer. Arpit, right answer. Chalo, I have got one answer till now, which is right. That is Arpit. Let's see. Archi, nahi. Chalo. Let us start now. The, the the time is all sufficient. Let's start now. Wait. Okay, so I will wait. Karo, karo. I will wait. Uh, moksha, right answer. Two right answers. Arpit and Moksha.
ओके ध्रुवी एक सेकेंड वेदांत राइट आंसर वेदांत मोक्षा दैट इज राइट निशी राइट ध्रुवी राइट चलो ठीक है तो मेन पीपल हैव गिवन राइट आंसर नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट सर हाउ टू डू दिस इजी 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 देखो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ऑप्शंस द कॉस्ट वेरिएंस इज यूज्ड आफ्टर दैट देयर इज वन मोर वेरिएंस व्हिच इज गिवन इज प्राइस वेरिएंस कैन यू डू दिस नो व्हाट इज द फार्मूला ऑफ प्राइस वेरिएंस सर प्राइस प्राइस का डिफरेंस सो देयर इज वन मिसिंग फिगर इन दिस देन मल्टीप्लाई बाय दिस क्वांटिटी सर देयर आर टू मिसिंग फिगर्स नो यू कैन नॉट डू दिस प्राइस वेरिएंस वोंट वर्क अच्छा सर देन यूसेज वेरिएंस विल इट वर्क लेट्स सी यूसेज यूसेज का डिफरेंस into quantity are it will work because we know these two there is one missing figure only there is one missing figure we know these two also so price variance won't work so we need to find out the usage variance because see when you go for a price there is also one missing figure there is also one more missing figure i need only one missing figure then only it can be equated it can be solved with the equation now how to get the usage variance sir it is nothing but we know the cost variance we know the cost variance in the question and we know the price variance easily usage variance can be calculated so chalo let us calculate usage variance first let us calculate usage variance for so part a you will calculate usage variance material usage variance is nothing but material cost variance minus material price variance Now, what is your material cost variance? Uh, material cost variance you did it. It is six two five zero favorable. Then one seventy favorable. Six two five zero favorable. Six three six two five favorable. Minus one seventy favorable. So total benefit is this three six two five. Out of one seventy five is the benefit because of the price. The remaining benefit will be because of usage. That is going to be three four five zero favorable. If this is the benefit because of usage, now how will you proceed? You know the usage variance. Write down usage variance ka formula. Material usage variance is equal to usage variance. How do we get that? So that is easy. There are two. That is formula was standard quantity minus actual quantity into uh, quantity quantity into a standard rate. You can assume again. You can assume one thing if not if you don't know anything. That is actual quantity. Let's assume. Actual quantity of material B is equal to Y. X is already assumed, na? So now material B is is equal to Y. Actual quantity is assumed as Y. That is this A B. Do you know the standard quantity? Yes, it is this nine forty and seven zero five. Sir, that is nine forty and seven zero five. Do you know the actual quantity? Minus minus. Uh, that is nine hundred. And y into standard rate. What is the standard rate? The standard rate is forty-five and thirty. So nine forty minus nine hundred into forty-five. That is going to be eighteen hundred. Acha. Favorable. My total variance is three four five zero favorable. Take this as a balancing figure. That is going to be one six five zero favorable. That is a balancing figure. And let us solve this equation. One six five zero favorable. Let us solve this equation. Seven fifty minus. Can I switch to next page? If you guys are writing, I will wait. Otherwise, I am switching to the next page. 
okay so that is how the see you can see these questions very how to go reverse these are questions based on missing figures so some data will be given you just need to go reverse and you need to calculate the things that's it yeah so Sorry, sorry. Actual quantity of B by mistakenly I have written M. Let's assume actual quantity of B was equal to Y. ठीक है? चलो. Now, let us solve this. That is B is equal to. That is that variance is equal to nothing but this seven zero five. Minus y into thirty. Your answer is one six five zero favorable. Favorable one means plus. So now seven zero five minus y is equal to one six five zero divided by thirty. So seven zero five minus y is equal to fifty five. Then seven zero five plus fifty five is equal to y, and therefore y is equal to. अरे यार क्या किया ये मैंने रुको. हाँ 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 हाँ. क्या ये fifty five? If it comes on this side, it will be subtracted now. That is gonna be six fifty kgs. So yeah, this is going to be your second answer. That your uh, that actual quantity. Therefore, uh, bolo. There are different ways. Bolo. Ah, uh, bus. I have asked. Bus, 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 bus. There are different ways. You can get the answer. Kisko kya click ho uske upar hai waise. So your answer is going to be ah six fifty kgs. If you just talk about material B. Now, so it's okay. Now, I don't think then you will not be able to get anything. Yeah, you once you get the six fifty, now nah, then take the total six fifty into thirty two point five. You have got two one one two five. Still, if you want to show with the work, you have you will have to show with the working note. What is the actual price of a material B? What is the actual price of material actual price? That is this. Let us calculate. Now that's easy, okay? Or uh, that is quite manageable. Third part, actual price of material B. Oh, sorry, of material A. If it is not known, you can assume Y. X assume Y is assume now Z. Let's assume. Actual price of A is equal to Z per unit. So total actual cost, whatever is your total actual cost, is it made up? It is made up of two parts. Total actual cost is nothing but actual cost of A plus actual cost of B. How do you get cost? That is, actual quantity into actual price. Actual quantity into actual price. You get actual cost of A and B. Do we know the total cost? Yes, that was given. Kitna sir, yeah, forty-three. Everybody will get that. Four, five nine eight two five. Five nine eight two five. So here you have five nine eight two five. Then, uh, do we know the actual quantity? Yeah, that is nine hundred. But now it is Z. Nine hundred into Z. So nine hundred Z plus six fifteen to this. So two double one two five. So six fifteen to thirty two point five. Now you solve this.
so the actual price of uh, material a is equal to guys of 43 that is how you will write this is your answer having done this once this answer is calculated it will be written over there okay now what else they are asking for are they asking for anything else let's see these are it is a very good question actually it is very good question like many missing figures were there like to yeah uh, important for revision you can mark important for revision let us calculate revised standard quantity now you guys have to calculate the revised standard quantity what is revised standard quantity as per ICAI we must have written somewhere below what is revised standard quantity then there is a mixed variance Are pele अपने बड़ी यूज किया है ना व्हाट इज आरएसक्यू करके हेलो यस सर तो बोलो व्हाट इज आरएसक्यू बोलो ए एक आरएसक्यू बोलो आरएसक्यू अरे अपन वी यू इफ यू रिमेंबर वी आर लाइक दिस कि टोटल इनपुट इज दिस एक्चुअल इनपुट इज दिस 900 टोटल क्वांटिटी फॉर स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी के रेशियो में डिवाइड एग्जैक्टली दिस इज योर टोटल क्वांटिटी इट इज एक्चुअली इन दिस रेशियो व्हिच on very first day it was eight said to huh, 8 is to 6 so accordingly you will divide in that ratio that's it and you will get the answer so let's go fourth they were asking for what revised standard quantity of A and B So if you want to write down what is the RSQ, if you want to write down meaning for your own understanding. Whatever is your actual total quantity, if you follow the instruction which were given on very first day, which was standard mix ratio, so what is going to be the composition in that case? So that's easy. Your total quantity is how much? Total actual quantity is 1550. It should be divided in that ratio. So total actual quantity. Let's write down total actual quantity. That is one five five zero in standard ratio of eight hundred is to six hundred or eight is to six or if you want to simplify it is two is to three uh, whatever uh, one two three 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 to so four is to three whatever you say uh, you just divide that in the ratio so what is gonna be a what is gonna be b calculation one five five zero into 800 divided by uh, 8 plus 6 that is gonna be 1400 equal to then 1550 into 600 divided by 1400 equal to you can divide in your that ratio I follow shortcut so if you just go for that 886 and uh, then uh, 600 equal to 665 664 and just a portion in that ratio and just do the your calculations this is your mixed standard ratios now fifth and it is useful also for the next mixed variance so i will wait please give me the mixed variance answer final answer very very ekdam acha question tha ekdam best question mixed variance uh, please answers from your side uh, to yeah uh, 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 advait that is right answer please send your answer Mix ke baad the uh, arpit that is 210. Okay. 
अद्वैत ओके अर्पित निशी एवरी वन राइट आंसर चलो सर हाउ डू वी गेट मिक्स वेरियंस जरा थोड़ा गाइडेंस ओके चलो मटीरियल मिक्स वेरियंस मटीरियल मिक्स वेरियंस अच्छा सर वॉट इज द फॉर्म्यूला आर एस क्यू रिवाइज स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी माइनस एक्चुअल स्टैंडर्ड क्वांटिटी माइनस एक्चुअल क्वांटिटी इन द स्टैंडर्ड रेट द एंटायर फॉर्मूला इज सेम एज यूसेज द ओनली थिंग इज आर एस क्यू इज दैट एंड देर इज ए एंड देन देर इज अ बी दिस इज एट एटी सिक्स दट इज सिक्स सिक्सटी फोर And the y has a six fifty. The standard rate is forty five and thirty. So please calculate. So sir, eight eighty six minus nine hundred into forty five. That is gonna be six thirty atoms. And then sir, six sixty four minus six fifty into thirty. That is gonna be four twenty favorable. So at the end it is going to be two one zero adverse. Yeah, this is going to be your final answer. Yeah, and we are done with this question. We are done with this question. Okay, uh, let's start with this question. That is question number three, last question. Okay, let's see. Sir, the standard cost of the chemical mixture is as follows: forty percent A, sixty percent B. At the rate of rupees twenty and thirty. अच्छा लेट अस डू वन थिंग लेट अस मेक द टेबल बिकॉज वी नो दैट या तो लेट्स मेक द टेबल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल या वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन प्लीज राइट डाउन वर्किंग नोट नंबर वन टेबल व्हेन यू मेक द टेबल यू नो दैट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू यू नीड थ्री रोज तो जस्ट ड्रॉ लाइंस टू गेट थ्री रोज and because there are two chemicals you can see that two chemicals are there so according to yeah, two lines in between then one for total So that is how you will make the table. Here it is budget. Here it is uh, standard and actual. Yep. Our uh, type quantity quantity price cost quantity price cost. so yeah let's start with the question that is how the table will be made uh let's get started and let's read the question as to what all data is given in the question so that was the formation of the table let's start so the standard cost of chemical mixture is as follows okay 40% a and 60% b okay okay there is a a and there is a b and then there is a input from input you're going to get the output let's see how much output will be there Sir, so six forty is A. Let us say and sixty is B. Total is going to be hundred. But I hope you understand. The rate is twenty kg and thirty rupees per kg. Ten percent is a standard loss. Ten percent. So ten percent is going to be the loss. So the output which you are, you are going to get is that is normal loss. So output which you are going to get is ninety, which is written over here. Ninety. I hope ah uh, that solves the purpose. Okay. is expected in the production so the cost records for a period should the following data usage 90 kg of material a 110 this is the actual data cost record for the period uh, showed actual data what has happened sir we have used 90 kg sir we have used 110 kg we have used 220 kg 
सॉरी टू हंड्रेड के जी एट दी एंड एंड एट वॉट प्राइस एटीन रुपीज एंड थर्टी फोर रुपीज एंड वी हैव प्रोड्यूस वन लैक एटी टू वन एटी टू वेर इट इज रिटर्न द क्वान्टिटी प्रोड्यूस इज वन एटी टू सो नाइनटी इंटू एटीन एम प्लस वन वन जीरो इंटू थर्टी फोर एम प्लस फाइव थ्री सिक्स जीरो हेलो इज दिस क्लियर द कैलकुलेशन आई होप देर इज नो डाउट विद दिस एंड दे आर आस्किंग टू कैलकुलेट ऑल ऑल वेन आई से ऑल मीन्स ऑल वेरियंसेज यू नीड टू कैलकुलेट वट एवर वेरियंसेज आर पॉसिबल ओके यू विल कैलकुलेट बट सर प्लीज चेंज दिस रिक्वायरमेंट चेंज दिस रिक्वायरमेंट कैलकुलेट ओनली थ्री वेरियंसेज बिकॉज दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्कड बाई आई सी आई बट समटाइम्स आई फील वॉट आई सी इज डूइंग आई डोंट नो लाइक इफ आई आस्क यू एज अ पर्सन हाउ मेनी वेरियंसेज आर पॉसिबल वेन यू से ऑल थ्री और फाइव अरे बाबा लास्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू डोंट आंसर ना हाँ मिक्स एंड यील्ड इज पॉसिबल राइट बिकॉज देर आर टू और मोर मटेरियल आर देर अच्छा सी यू कैन सी दैट चार्ट विच वी मेड सर देर इज इफ यू सी द मॉडल थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री तेरह तेरह थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री यू कैन सी दिस दैट कॉस्ट वेरियंस हैज टू पार्ट मटीरियल लेबर एंड ओवर हेड्स एंड देर इज अ प्राइज सी देर इज अ कॉस्ट दैन प्राइज यूसेज यूसेज हैज टू पार्ट मिक्स एंड यील्ड then that cost has rate efficiency idle time and efficiency has two parts mix and yield then sir overhead wala part sir overhead wala part again variable overhead that is budget or which is known as this expenditure then there is a efficiency and again expenditure or which is also known as budget then there is a volume the volume there is one more variance they have forgot i hope you understand which variance can come in between idle time na baba to they have forgot but yeah that is how that is see they have asked see in your syllabus only these variances are there there is one more variance which will be calculated net profit variance can be because of what sales also na but sir if you want we will do one or two questions but these variances are not there in your syllabus in your syllabus only uh, as of now till now to they are asking cost variances you may never know they can ask sales variances also then they they started with this so sales variances nothing is mentioned in the module but still you cannot you can expect ici can can ask anything so i will solve one question of sales variances also for that matter theek hai chalo abhi ke liye i was saying this is uh, the question number 3 acha so, sorry sorry they have rectified their question they have rectified in the earlier module now what they had written this is this is copy paste of the module so earlier what they had written was calculate all material variances but now you can see i think they realized their mistakes by the time they are realizing their mistake so what these guys have done now they have specifically mentioned cost price and usage earlier what was the thing they had written calculate all variances and they have they had calculated only three variances but then they realized ki sir there are two materials there are two chemicals so in this case five variances are possible so let us change the question and now they are saying these three so you also change the question i was about to do that they have already done that we need to calculate a cost price and usage variance please write down calculate cost price and usage variance yeah having written that calculate cost price and usage variance let us try to calculate these thing cost price and usage let us try to calculate okay once this is done let us calculate these three so okay we have the table uh acha i hope you understand your life would be easy if this is 180 hello instead of 182 yes sir uh, the reason is increase in output by two times 90 ka 180 hua increase everything by two times what now what you should do tell me what you should do in this case generally what we have done we have done cross multiplication so you will get one answer 182 1 divided by then 40 equal to 60 equal to 100 equal to what is the answer that you will get 182 divided by 90 into 40 1 sorry what will you write tell me 81 hello yes sir hmm 120 1 hmm 202 right yes now let us solve this
Three six three zero. Now let's calculate the variances. Is it possible to calculate three variances easily? Yes, na Baba. Yes. 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 Now I'm I'm directly writing the cost variance directly. That five two five zero minus. This is last question. We can handle this much. If not, then क्या बोलना? One one zero adverse. Two parts. Two reasons. Price. Usage. Price बोले तो price price का difference हो. Multiplied by this. Sir. It is this. The price should be twenty and thirty. The actual price is eighteen and thirty-four multiplied by actual quantity ninety and one one zero. Please calculate at your end. Still you are copying, then. तुम्हारी बात लगी है समझो. You need to write at your end. One eighty favorable. It is like a practice question. Last one usage. How many units you should have used this many? You have used this many into this. हेलो समझता तो देखो इफ यू गेट दिस हेलो अच्छा तो देर वाज नथिंग टू डिस्कस बट या द ओनली थिंग व्हिच वाज द डिस्कशन पॉइंट वाज दिस नाउ व्हाट आईसीएआई हैज डन आई विल टेल यू व्हाट दे हैव डन I don't know what came in their mind, and they they just took the entire fraction. Like what they did is this: first of all, your and uh, our answers won't match. See, it is different. I will tell you why it is different. Uh, I can give you their solution now. I can give you their solution. What they did, to which I do not agree actually. If you want to follow something now, follow throughout. Uh, uh like uh, for all the questions. Yeah. So what they did, understand now. What they did is like this. See what they did now. Can I say, uh, if you want to get this answer, first of all, see what they did is this. What they did is this. Uh, first of all, tell me uh, to produce what they did. I am giving you their solution now, to which I do not agree. If you want to follow something, you need to follow for every like uh, every aspect. करके तो ठीक है. तो चलो. Uh, now what they have done, understand? So see, it is like this. Understand this? What they have done? A, B, C. Okay. This is forty. This is sixteen. Multiplied by this is twenty. This is thirty. What is your cost to produce this? This hundred units are there. So to produce ninety units, what is your cost? Ninety units co output देने का. What is your cost? So fourteen to twenty and plus sixteen to thirty and plus M R C. Two thousand six hundred. Uh, uh, do you understand this? Hello. Yes. Ha. Huh. That is nothing but this into this. So you will get ninety k liye cost. So that is this. Acha now they are saying that because we have produced one eighty two, what should be our standard cost directly cross multiplication? That for ninety units, if this is my cost, so two thousand six hundred into one eighty two divided by ninety. That is gonna be five two five seven point seven 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 eight. You can see this. I 
I am just uh, whatever we have written that is right. I am just telling you what they did and that is something wrong. That should not be done. If you do this, it should be done for each and every question. Okay, there is, should not be any exception. So now, can I say this is this cost? So now, in this case, if you want to calculate the variance, please calculate the first variance, cost variance. It is going to be five two five seven point seven eight. So they, they they have taken the entire fraction and all. करके यहाँ पे no rounding off directly. The total was taken. Yeah. So what is going to be your answer then? Five two five seven point seven eight minus five three six zero. That is going to be one zero two point two two. This is precise answer, exact answer. Or do you understand everything? Whatever is happening. Hello, everyone. Yes. Anyone has any doubt? Please tell me. I will explain. I am saying that for ninety units, if my expected cost is this much, my worker have produced one eighty two. Then what should be my cost? They did this. Now, only for this question, what came in their mind, I don't know. Then, if I just divide into two parts, price variance is quite okay. There is no difference in price variance. The, nothing changes in price variance. That is the difference. Difference this. Difference. Difference this. Difference. Difference this. Okay. So that was the earlier cost solution, same as earlier. Part is going to be two sixty five adverse. Acha, but when you talk about usage variance, sir. So which values comes in fraction? I hope you understand. The values which comes in fraction is the standard quantity minus actual quantity into standard rate. Okay. If you just talk about A, what is the standard quantity? How will you calculate this? Tell me how will you calculate this quantity? Forty into one eighty two divided by ninety. और समझा तुमको मैंने क्या किया ये हाउ विल यू गेट दिस तो सी देन दे हैव टेकन दैट इंटायर वैल्यू दैट 40 इनटू 182 डिवाइडेड बाय 90 देन हियर आल्सो फॉर बी 40 इनटू 182 नहीं 40 इनटू 182 डिवाइड नहीं 60 इनटू 182 डिवाइड बाय 90 व्हाट इज दिस Minus minus. Then then your actual now they haven't taken this, so they have taken this part then. Instead of eighty one and one one twenty two, one twenty one eighty one and one twenty one, they have taken this uh, things now. The rest is okay. The nothing in fraction then you can see that is this. This figure minus this into this. Sorry, this minus this. The ninety ninety minus then twenty thirty. You can see ninety hundred. Twenty thirty ninety and one. You please calculate the things. So forty into one eighty two divided by ninety minus ninety into twenty. That is one eighty two point two two adverse. Sixty into one eighty two divided by ninety minus one one zero into thirty. That is gonna be three forty favorable. तुमको समझा क्या हुआ देखो दैट इज द सॉल्यूशन व्हिच दे हैव गिवन 157 फेवरेबल एंड ऑल सी दस क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन एंड ऑल दे हैव टेकन एंटायर फ्रैक्शन मतलब उसके लिए वो जो है वो दे डिड दैट एंटायर फ्रैक्शन बट डोंट यू थिंक दैट इज द इनकंसिस्टेंसी आई हैव शोन यू दैट फॉर प्रीवियस क्वेश्चंस अगेन दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द आईसीएआई द अर्लियर क्वेश्चन वाज आल्सो फ्रॉम द आईसीआई इफ दिस इज डन इवन दैट फ्रैक्शन शुड बी केप्ट हियर ऑन हियर आल्सो ना then why the hell we took 940 then institute should have followed that trend here also i hope you are getting it karke tumko aise nahi lag raha na ki main galat bol raha ha matlab sometimes if i say institute is wrong to you should be confident ki sir barabar bol rahe karke kuch man mein doubt hai to bolo if you have any doubt tell me yes sir no ha so if the question comes in examination this this is the solution this is how you will write please because see just because i was having this solution That's why I give you the solution which is given by I C A. But we don't know, na? In examination, what question will come? You always remember either of this. Both solutions are right in which ways? Whether you round off, there is some difference. If you do not round off, you keep. Acha. Now, can I give you the practical approach? What should be done? Karke. Now, let me give you the practical approach. Let me give you the practical approach. Understand this. Here, what was written? Kgs. Okay. So, can kgs be in fraction? Tell me yes or no. Can kgs be in fraction? 
yes na yes, because 1000 kg is equal to 1000 grams we can say so it can be in fraction so it means can i say that for this practical like practical purpose i am saying practical purpose i need to take the entire decimals for this matter because kgs can be in fraction so i should not write 81 actually practical approach if i tell you we should not write 81 hello we should write whatever the answer came that is a 40 into 182 divided by 90 80.888 because it can be in fraction acha but if there are units like unit 1 unit 2 unit 3 like pen one pen two pen three third pen fourth pen it cannot be in fraction then you will round off practical purpose so chalo so i can agree why institute has taken the fraction the reason can be given by you is sir it is in kgs right are tumko samjha the reason which can be given is uh i hope you are understanding whatever i am trying to discuss with you guys yes, yeah yes, so yeah this is something uh, it is in kgs and institute has taken the fractions decimals where they have taken the reason is they have taken in the decimals the only reason was because these were kgs then in that case sir the earlier question in that case sir the earlier question let me check whether it was in kgs it was also in kgs ha to still so if that was also in kgs then 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 they should have taken fraction there also then you can see this is the inconsistency of the icai but i would suggest what you need to do is what is easy is if the question comes you need to round up simple both answers are right i'm saying institute will give you both answers as right answers but we will always round up we will conclude this that is easy right yes, ha uh, fair enough yes, so this is the solution i just gave you a rough idea as to how icai has done the reason the idea is given tomorrow if you see the module you will feel as if sir has taught us wrong institute has done this and sir did this it means sir ko aata hi nahi karke so that that conclusion can be drawn at your end so before concluding anything we have to ask sir ki sir this is how it is done what do you feel see i am not saying that every time i will be right there is always a possibility 1% chances there i might be wrong 1% even not 1% 0.111 karke but still the way icci i can see you can see that icci is also wrong sometimes to kabhi kabhi aisa ho sakta hai but kabhi kabhi i am saying this solution is done.